that because I know that was one thing right doing the off doing the off one Sadiq without having to being a pro I like the shorts they do a better job here fighting in the atmosphere maybe something like that coming up I, I was seeing that video that was cool now Miranda is from I mean she's in Colorado now but she's not that far away from here she's from mm -hmm. Virginia so it goes without saying I'm not biased at all but I think Miranda's gonna, oh, <laughs> I gonna get this done I think it's like I said, getting it to the ground, it, it, that is the style. But, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. Then we've got, let me see. Now, what do y'all think about the uh, the last fight before we go to the main fight? Mr. Nazardine and Marvov and Chris Curtis. Anything stand out for you two? Uh, the, the Chris Curtis, this, he's, he's getting right back in there. He just barely had the fight uh, a couple months ago with Gasolum. So it's going to be interesting to see. You know, it was like kind of more of a, a little bit of a war, right? Didn't they have a full three, like three rounds? Went to decision. Yeah, it was it was three rounds, but he didn't take a lot of damage, you know. Right. And and Imavov, it, he's he's strange, man, because he's not like one of those scary Dagestani guys. I don't even know if he's Dagestani, but because his name kind of fits in that criteria. Yeah. Like uh -huh. I love I love yeah. him and with the rest of yeah, them, you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when I watch him fight, you know, it's not um he doesn't bring in the level of fear that the other guys bring in. He's got that bounce though, right? Sadiq, he's got that karate bounce. He's like, he's like a Wonder Boy-ish. The way yeah. that he kind of stands out there. And that's the one thing we were kind of watching and breaking down the fights is, is, you know, Curtis throws so heavy. He's got really heavy. He's, whoom, just throw those big hooks and that could, he could maybe catch Nazardine as he's bouncing in and out. And that might be, you know, when he's bowling forward. But Nazardine, the one thing I like about him, he's got a really good movement. He moves really well, and he's, I, you know, and, but they're both coming off, like I said, a loss. So it'll be, I'll be curious to see if, you know, like, what if they'll change anything up. In who, who did Nazar? Who, who did um, Imavov lose to? Who was it, Chat? That he lost he, to Strickland. Was it Strickland? Yeah, that oh, was with Strickland. Yeah, they lost to Strickland. Oh, nice. That's and even I better. Think Strickland <laughs> is Curtis's <laughs> is training is partner. Curtis, yes, a hundred percent. So he's got the inside quote unquote scoop. So now you bring in that aspect. How would that play into your game plan, knowing that who you lost to is coaching and trains with the one you're about to fight? From from Curtis's side or Imovov's side? You know, that'd be well, we can start with Imovov's side. Yeah. Well, from from Imovov's side, as much as you know how it is with fighting, as much as you could pretend like it doesn't matter, a little bit of that is gonna be in the it's back gotta of your be, head. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, gotta gonna, be. it's gonna be back there. It's like, all right, either I gotta get some get back with this. <laughs> and you, 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 he probably got asked that question a million times during fight week, and he has to pretend like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But uh -huh. we all know it, it kind of matters. But on Curtis's side, it's a huge bonus, you know. And the kind of guy Sean Strickland is, you know, he's talking shit through the through the week, you know. Like he, he's gonna be <laughs> yeah, he's gonna so be true. amping on the fact that I've already beat you. Now now it's the time for my boys trying to beat you. So I definitely think it's an advantage for Chris Curtis for sure. And that would mm -hmm. definitely make it awkward during the week when the one who beat you is sitting there in the corner and you got to see him, at, you know, at all the functions. And it's yeah. like, man, I can't get – it's hard to get, like, to get that, oof, you know, like to get that cockiness yeah. or that swagger going when the guy who beat you is literally standing right behind him. It kind of like, yeah, yeah, nope, I'm going to have to – That same exact <laughs> situation happened with um, Brandon Allen. Yeah, because one of them beat Allen before. I think it was Strickland first, and then he was in the corner of Chris Curtis, and the whole time he's just going at the mouth at him, you know. <laughs> so, so, so it definitely plays a part. You can't be too fired up, but then again, at the same token, you know, hopefully it's a oh, it was you know the fluke, but you don't get to say anything until you're gonna have to let the actions right. The yes. actions have to speak louder than the words and something like that. But it could be, it could definitely make for a. Uh, some a, a funny moment without a doubt and that's another one um and then like on the main card anything oh. any fight stands out for you two this will go with you first and then of course um well obviously the you know the main and the co-main but uh, dude, i dude some of this i always love watching eric anders fight man he's like well he's probably one of my favorite guys to watch fights coming from his background being a football player back at bama and i always feel like his fights are super entertaining so Started us off on the, the main card. I'm going to really look forward to watching that one. <laughs> well, for, for me, obviously, the people's main event, uh -huh. Darius versus Oliver. So, all right, to be honest, how do you feel about that being a Kome? Um, You know, I could have honestly seen... I think it just makes sense because, you know, with the Nunez-Aldana fights with for the, the belt. 
yeah, yeah. I but I could I could easily have seen you know. Have we ever had that before, before, where a champion was under was under under the main event? Uh, I I don't I don't think so. It, it maybe was actually this fight, like was this a re- like did they had to replace the date with these two? Yeah, they they um it was supposed to happen a couple months back. Okay, so that would kind of be the reason why when they've already yeah. got they've already got this bantamweight title belt. And, but then we needed to get, they needed to get something underneath it. Yes. Yeah, something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, something. I can't remember what happened. I think someone got injured or something or it was like someone with a, I don't know. Someone got sick. So, something happened with either Darius or Oliver. I remember something like, more along those lines. Yeah. yeah. yeah but so, on the, um, there's a featherweight fight too, between Ige and Nate, the tra- Nate, the trainer. There it is. That's a, that's a character. There right it there. Is. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a big one though. Yeah. yeah, that would be a yeah. Character. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped Nate, for that fight. Nate Ige and, I mean, I love Nate, obviously, Sucker Punch, 100, let's go, but, you know what I mean? But Dan Ige, I, that's another one. This could be yeah. This could be a lot of fun the way those two throw down. Ige's got some heavy, heavy hands, and Nate's just got that, man, he just don't get tired. He just, yeah. man, he's he's a beast, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Dan is probably the favorite, right? Is Dan, is Ige the favorite chat? I'm not sure. Oh, yes, he is. He is the negative 260. Well, at least what I'm seeing right here. And uh-huh. then 220 for Nate Lamp. Yeah, for Nate to train. And maybe that's because of the 13 in front of his, you know, in front of his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. And then with Darius being the favorite over Charles Oliveira. Ooh, let's go. Mm-hmm. Darius is actually the favorite over, over Oliveira. I mean, I know yeah. Darius oh, is the favorite. I will next time. But man, Oliveira's. I feel like just because we saw we saw really Charles good. growing up, you know, we'll uh-huh. always remember the the younger Charles. That's yeah. why a, a lot of these fights, I, I five days. Yeah, you know, I feel yeah. like that's why he's usually the underdog. Now, here's my question: When it comes to that Charles and, and the Darius fight, could we see those two go head up on the ground, or is this going to be every time you think this could get nasty on the ground, they stand up? And I yeah, don't. Dude. Ah, you know, it, it's I, probably oh, going to be the stand up, but I would yeah. love to yeah. see that. I would love to see the grappling between the two of them, man. I, would and love I, to I feel like their jujitsu is a little bit different, too, man. Um, Oliveira, I feel like Darius is more like IBJJF rules, like uh-huh. sticking to like yeah. points and positions. Yeah. Where Charles is giving up positions and looking for submissions the whole time, you the know, the whole time, yeah, mm-hmm. the whole time he's constantly attacking um, submissions. So it's like you said, it's one of those things where I feel like kind of like Usman and and um and Kobe, where it's like, all right, we don't <laughs> let's let's just right. stick with the hands, you know. Yeah, right. we're gonna leave the wrestling out of it. But let's <laughs> yeah. or but the problem be maybe is you know, again, is if it's too late, you know, and that's the one thing. Ooh, once real quick for Jazz this is one four of last five fights, um ten three UFC um Dana White contender takedown ratio 10 to 3. Uh, Award UFC contract Dana White contender series season 5, week 3. This, you can have the other one. I got you, brother. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's the one thing. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Again, they stand up and the damage on the stand up. Then all of a sudden, now it's too late. It's too late to go to the ground, you know, yeah. or you're in a lot of trouble. So it could be a lot of fun. And then, of course, Mike Malott and Fugit. That's um yeah, it's, I'm excited. This whole man. That's called. how you pronounce his last name. Adam Fugit. <laughs> I you know the other way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, trust me, listen, listen. I'm going I went, I went I came from Nigeria to America with a name uh-huh. like Sadiq. So you can guess how, how hard that was. <laughs> how hard oh, that man. was. For, for my first year and a half, I couldn't tell the difference between Deke and Dick. So whatever uh-huh. they say first, I would just uh-huh. agree. So I can relate to Adam. <laughs> me, me, me and Adam share some common pain. <laughs> like, yep, that's what it is. It's going. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the one thing. But yeah, it's Fugit because I remember rapping with them afterwards, but it, you can change it too. I think it was cool with either when we were talking before. So I, it happens. But yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, I'm excited, man. Like you said, with Mark Andre Barrio bringing it on with Eric Anders. But to get back to this fight right here, Miranda Maverick and Jasmine Jazu the Vicious. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm in. All right, I'm going to switch this back to. This. Here we go. Miranda Maverick back to back wins second highest takedown accuracy in UFC flyweight history with 61.9%, and the Invicta FC Phoenix Series 2 flyweight champion. Currently ranked 15th in the UFC. She I'm has thinking, that ranking. 
I'm thinking Maverick is going to get it done. That's what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me not say for sure. I'm biased as hell. Try and knock me, though. I like yeah, that. Yeah, you yeah, can just try. He's, 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 he's oh, definitely going to win. No. <laughs> The age difference, so 25. And I didn't know Jack. Okay, hey, she's 34. And then the height, we got the uh, only a three and a half inch reach, but like I said, five seven to five three and a half. Keep that three half, half in inch there. reach, three and a half inches, uh, inches taller as well. I like it. I like it. We'll have to see. Were y'all watching the earlier fights too? Buffer looking solid with that. Uh, yeah, I, I watched um, the Vorak, Belbita, and the Vorak. I like that. The Vorak, he's doing all right. Let me make sure I've got my round and set. All right, I'm good. Still! And then she's got the whole, oh, this is kind of like the home thing. That's got it like, that's got to play a little more into it, right? Add a little more. She seems like she's a little more fired up for it. For sure. Is she, she's um, traditionally a grappler? Jazzy the Vicious? Yeah. I believe sure, she actually. likes to grab hell quite a bit, but, and that'll be the thing with Maverick and the stand-up aspect, right? Well, Maverick yes. is close as the favorite in all five of her UFC fights. She looks yeah, Mar- Miranda is good, man. Good. Uh-huh. The, the fight she had with um, uh, uh, the future, what's that girl's name? Macy Barber. Macy. That, yeah. that was very controversial, you know? So yeah, I feel yeah, like a, a few decisions outside of um, Aaron Blanchfield, a few of those could have gone her way. Mm-hmm. The Blanchfield girl's a savage. Oh, sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, let's see. All right, right, let's see it. Wait, they're 3-0 representing the country right now? Oh, all right. Dang, all the Canadians, huh? Right, so Maverick's got to have to try to go in there and Yeah, spot spot the show. Yep. Spot the show. Again, I like like, Maverick doing that aggression and trying to step in. I'm I'm okay with that. Circling around on the outside. Look, there you go, trying to throw that overhand. Mm Mm-hmm. But I like Jasmine's patience. She's kind of just owning the center, and I don't know. What do you think? She's just looking for. Yeah, I can't tell if it's th- just the height on Jasmine or she just stands a little taller. She looks gigantic. She looks big right, right there, yeah, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's really good movement, though. She's all over the place right now. Right, that's the one thing I like about with Miranda when she's bouncing around and she comes exploding mm-hmm. in, throwing that overhook. She landed that kick on the side, and Jasmine looks to kind of just want to just hold on and figure out if we can tie it up right here and not really throwing too much. They're locked in in yeah, the center, which is crazy. Here. Jasmine's still having on. She still, you know, when the fight starts and you're still trying to like figure out what's going on, you got to get hit in the face a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what Jasmine's still go- dealing with right now. You know, you can't, you haven't found your footing yet. That first minute, that feeling out process. Yeah. <laughs> you know that, what I mean? first, that first minute is when your body <laughs> realizes, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> oh, we were uh-huh. fighting. You got to deal with all these different emotions and trying to figure out yeah. how to get some clarity. Ooh. Good yeah. right hand good on the exit by fire. Maverick, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Solid right hand, good left elbow. I am in a pair of shorts in front of 10,000 people in a fist fight. <laughs> once, once, once you get once you get that first punch though then it kind of all right now we're back and you wake gym. up yeah yeah like now it feels mm-hmm. like training again back in and once i can get to where i can hear my coaches and stuff now i feel now i'm feeling comfortable and i'm all right the butterflies kind of wind away she went for a high kick right there but that's yeah. what like you said oh, yeah oh, oh, trying to scoop her oh. That, was a, that was a good stuff and by um jasmine but that was a great yeah. entry too i like jasmine that good a great knee there too and I like how she has her pushed up against the fence now, but that was that one thing. It just seemed like, oh. Oh, oh man. The, the, the good old women's MMA trip. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. It is cons- I saw I saw somebody, like, some type of, like, scientist break down why headlocks and trips work more for women. I don't know. They might be full of it, you know. But they said it might be something <laughs> about, like, the way, like, their weight is distributed. Uh-huh. Like, maybe, like, they're a little bit more top-heavy. That's why, like, those head and arm tosses always work for them. But huh. who knows? It, it might They might just be full of it. Could be, but Maverick's trying to look like she's yeah. trying to work her way around for an armor. Yeah. But it is either way, I'm it's what it boils or... down to is Maybe keeping those hips way. lower than the other person and trying yes. to get that throw. The Vish is doing a really good job of stacking his legs back, making it much harder for Maverick. She's got it because look at the way that Maverick has that leg. She's got the leg hooked. Yeah, she's, she's got that arm. arm. Oh, she got, got it. on that arm. Yeah, yep. Oh, it's wow. not looking good. It's not looking oh, good wow. here. I can't yeah, believe ja- Jasmine stayed in that position a little too long. Uh-huh. I was just gonna say I can't believe she didn't move out of there and try to improve that position a little bit. 
um, before that, but now she's doing it. She's got to stay heavy right here. Got the arms crossed yeah. and just make sure she doesn't pop her up. Right. If you're, if you're really hard, it's gonna be really hard for Maver Maverick to finish it like this while she's just sitting on top of her. Now, the one thing when you look at something like this is how are the judges? Cause this could be quite a bit <laughs> of time, right? That's I would sad. hope the judges are giving this to Maverick cause she's Miranda, got the arm right? bar. Yeah. But this Absolutely. is one of those things where, like, if the judge does not train jujitsu, yep, a that's what's about to go, at man. This, it's like, oh man, that girl has her knee on her face. That's yeah, exactly. Bar, you know? exactly. That's the thing with these judges, bro. <laughs> exactly. They, they don't. Some of them have no clue about grappling. She's driving that knee right down on oh, yeah. the on the collarbone. Hey, it's a good. Oh no. Maverick. So she she tried to let go off the defense to adjust her arm, and <laughs> Miranda almost pulled it up. Uh huh. She's got to make. See, she almost unhooked it right there. Yeah, she's got to be careful. She's trying to get too carried away. This is a look at. She yeah. wants to reach back and punch, but then look out. I like how she's using her leg, Jasmine. That is to keep that arm from being pulled straight. Yes. Maverick's other arm is it stuck down there? I think she used the thigh right to turn over. Now she can't get that right arm free. Now mm. I'll tell you what. A few more punches, I might start looking to give it to Jasmine too. <laughs> right, uh -huh. I'm true. true. You start punching straight down there. You could actually just pushing that leg down. That she's gonna get her arm out. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that arm yeah. is still in trouble. The arm is in trouble. She just got no room. If she could somehow get get this flatten out that fence, perfect play against the fence for Jasmine. She just got to utilize. Definitely. I what would a be strange curious. round to score. <laughs> I was going to say, I'll be curious about the score on this one. 100%. Uh -huh. so, so it says 230 ground control time, but who does that go to? A Miranda, right? That's, well, again. Yeah, that's a good question because <laughs> with Jasmine being on top, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, see, that's no, a strange thing because ground control time, if I have you on arm bar, but you're down. stacking me, who is in control? And ja it wasn't like Jasmine could throw any That's punches or do anything offensively because she was worried about if she starts to move, she could that arm could get straightened out. That's that's a tough one. That is an absolute. That is a, a tough one. I think with these judges, I think it's a no kind of a no brainer issue when it comes to she had the armbar arm bar, and Jasmine yeah. is stuck. If she wants, she could have got out of there, but she couldn't free herself. Yeah. I honestly though I don't think that's how these judges will see it. They'll be like, no. oh, the, the girl on top's yeah, doing damage. I, I, yeah, she's I think they're gonna like that's how they'll see it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, they're gonna give it to Jasmine. Jasmine got the takedown, and she's gonna get the she's gonna score the point staying on top and having her pushed against the fence. I'm with it. But then, and so at that point, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was I was gonna say it's funny though. These are the kind of fights that I've seen Miranda lose though, where like it's it's just like funny situations like this, mm -hmm. you know. Because skill for skill, she's very good. It's Ooh, just when funny things like this start happening and it falls apart. Yes, and it's like what Whiskey oh, just said is up. like that part I was going to say. Whiskey just kind of took the words. She had the armor, but she probably should have realized she didn't have it. And you, right. and you need to let go and start going for something different. Just because she was confident and had that arm bar and she wanted to finish it, she spent three minutes or yeah. whatever it was. I'm exaggerating a little bit of down there holding on to an arm but wasn't scoring. You know what I mean? In a, in a very uncomfortable position at yes. that. You're stacked, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you see she's a little slower right now because yep. that, that's yep. a very fatiguing position. You're stacked upside down, barely True. able to breathe. The girl has her knee on your neck the whole time. A hundred percent. And then like, see, but I like how she's moving her. She does seem kind of slow. Right yeah. now, and, but neither one really seemed to uh, like to really snap anything after. Again, Jasmine just kind of controls the center, and she's just plodding along. But like you said, the size just looks a lot bigger landing that jab. And Maverick's got to figure out how to get inside. And I mean, she's yeah, running, she's got more she's pep fatigued. on her step, but she's yeah. not. You can tell Maverick's fatigue. She's a little bit more sloppy for striking here too. Definitely. Miranda has some good elbow. I was just about to say she has some really good elbows. So I look, uh -huh. I would like for her to step in and look for that back elbow. She's trying to play the range game. Now, look at there we go. Now, Jasmine Vicious. Is, look at her. She's vicious. fired up. Big right hand from the head. Here. Put her up and, against the fence. And this is where fighting in your hometown with that crowd giving you uh -huh. that energy in your back matters, you know? Yep. She picked it up quick right there. I like that. And then she's got to control that head, get that head position. But I like how she plumbed and was able to back her up and score some points. Maverick's got to figure out how to try to spin off the fence. There you go and get those points back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Don't do that again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. That was, that was all right. Close, she huh? tried to throw a high kick. Close, Jasmine huh? went for the knockout yeah. right there on oh the break. Always got to do something on the break, right? Yeah. 
that is funny. That's one of the things I'm I'm teaching to the younger guys and the amateur guys at the gym now. We just had an incident where somebody got caught with a head kick, but it's one of those things like on the break is where it always happens. Like when both guys, one guy's gonna think, okay, we're having a deal now to take a second off. That second off, they throw their kick up there, you get caught, you're going down. That's that. That is that. Um, that is that heavy bag. I call it the heavy bag mentality. You'll yeah. punch your combination and then you'll step back with your hands down and reset. Yeah. And then you'll go back in and you'll hit the heavy bag again. And you step back and that's that problem. You get into that clinch. And then, they, yeah. like you said, you think you're just going to step back and reset. Hoof, fire yeah. it up there. You know what I mean? Just let one ride. <laughs> But now Jasmine's over there and she's got the control. Miranda's getting, yeah, she's getting controlled. Yeah, I, I, I think I, that's, that stack oh, in that first round took a lot out of her. Put it back to guard here, though. looked the same since, since, the, since she came out the corner. A lot of squeezing probably wore out the arms, you know what I mean? Holding on to mm-hmm. that one arm, had yeah. that one stuck on the underhooks underneath. And even now, she's trying to do a lot of pushing and a lot of... Jasmine's yeah, doing a really good job of just true. smothering her and she can't push away. And she's using a lot more energy right here is what you're you just talking about. She's doing a lot of pushing rather than bettering her position in an easier way. Yeah, especially the way she's sitting in half guard now. Jasmine, that is, and trying and put going cross body and looking right. to try to fire that left hand. And see, it's Digging like Miranda's that head just running chin. out of steam. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Huh? Right now, I think we're having a cardio issue because it's not like she's taking a lot of damage. It's just extreme fatigue. Yeah. Yep, yep, 100%. And then when she tries to turn in like that, then that's when Jasmine starts throwing the shots and frustrates her. So she has to go back on her back and start over. She's got to figure out how to get those underhooks underneath, push and try to get up. But over, mount. No. Yeah, now there it is. Oh, we got the mount. Gave the back. Gave the back. Jasmine's she's got, got that. Yeah, she's looking for that body triangle. But I like she's got that far wrist, the far wrist control. Jasmine does and throwing the left hand on the face, and she can still body, she can still figure for the body. Uh huh. There it is. She did it too. A minute left with the back of a body triangle, and, and the triangles on the bottom side. But to be honest, I feel like a lot of women they can take that crank. Like uh-huh. a lot of times when they have Be the safe. body triangle on the bottom side and they start hipping in, most women are able to do it just because they're a little bit more flexible than guys. Right. Right. This is a tough spot for her right here. Now she's working on that rear naked again. Ish. Jasmine let go of it and it's gonna. There's oh. Oh, nice. She, that's she a, that's even better one. That figure four around the waist. Yeah, that's an even better one. Scoring a lot of points it's right be, here. Yeah, oh, it's nice. extremely hard for her to choke. She's hitting the veteran move and but, covering her nose. She's already fatigued, and now she's covering your nose and your mouth. And oh, she's going to get back to guard. Oh, oh almost. Oh, come up the back. Nice. Come up the back. Oh, she recovered. She, she let top. go. Nice. Um, Jasmine did a good job of letting go and then was able to follow and transition onto the back. And now flattening yeah. out again. Miranda's in trouble. Yeah, she's in a lot of trouble. Three seconds. Jasmine is very do- was very dominant in every single one of those transitions, man. She was always one step ahead. Yep, absolutely. Wow, I like it. I like it. Round three, we shall see. By the way, what's going on out there? Twitch and Twitter and UFC YouTube, UFC Fight Pass, Facebook. We're live on all of them. How are y'all doing? Make sure you make your way over here if and when. You want to drop in Twitch TV slash UFC and start earning those channel points because that's what we're in here betting with. We're in here betting with the channel point. Now, if you look at the body language, Jasmine looks a lot more tired than Miranda. Right. But when, when they start working, it's uh-huh. like the exact opposite. That lactic acid, though. It's, it's not the breath, right? It's that lactic <laughs> yes, acid. It's that lactic. Lactic. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The shoulders are heavy. <laughs> yeah. Their hands don't yeah, want man. To grip. All that squeezing, right? I, like, I, I love the fact that we all did that. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what it is, hold it up. Like, you know exactly where it feels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that's the that's the part you don't get back, right? That that anaerobic gets in no. there, you just ah, yeah. it, just, it no. hurts. Yeah, it takes some time. It takes some time. And again, that might have been uh, holding on to those positions and not mm-hmm. letting go. It's like oh. Sadiq said, oh. you're getting stacked and you're trying to snatch that arm up at the same time, and it's just fatiguing, man. There we go. Okay, now now she looks like she has a little bit more pop than she did in the second. I think she'll she'll probably have that pop for about a minute or two here, and it'll yeah. come back that lactic man. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's what it is, MMA man. is a crazy sport. Yeah, I, that's the second time Miranda's done that now, man. That's a very bad habit. Uh-huh. Like she dips her head off the break and just leans to the left. Right. 
like that head kick. I don't. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, she doesn't get a head kick with the right leg. Oh yeah, see, I think Jasmine saw it because she she looked like she was about to throw throw a right head kick. Oh, <laughs> trying to make it. She just and the other problem with see she's shadow boxing out in front. Yes. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Everything. She just threw a three punch combo yeah. at a yeah. distance. She's got to figure out how to get inside and then yeah. throw. And Jasmine's kind of waiting for it. Like yeah, get well, in that's here. the thing. Anytime she gets within range, Jasmine's been peppering her for a couple different shots. So now I know it sounds a little backwards, but it's like how we were talking about with that lactic accent. Then uh-huh, I think uh-huh. there are a lot of fighters that do do that shadow boxing in the like in open air when their arms start getting fatigued. They uh-huh. kind of like it's like a way to shake out their arms okay. without yeah, really yeah, yeah. shaking it out. You I know? see. Yeah. And it's a good way sometimes like if you could if you can focus on the feints and add it, but if it's kind of a lot of people who really aren't into fainting, you can no, kind of just yeah. sit out there and you're yeah. just giving them things to look at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. So you're just kind of out there where other people will will they'll faint with the purpose, pop faint, yeah. boom, and throw. But that's another oh thing. My oh, goodness. Look, that's oh, a third one. She, she did it. She did it again. She, she did it again. She's going that's after her, bro. She's she headhunting she right now. She's tired. She knows that right now. she's done. Jasmine's gonna pick it up. Wow. Wow, she just blitzed with like eight, nine shots. Uh-huh. Wow, Jasmine's looking good, man. She's this is what I, I think. If she go look, she could keep pushing. If she still got the gas in the tank, she's getting a little vicious in there. Is what's happening, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh-huh. But I just I think she's realizing. I just don't think Miranda has. There's nothing left. You know, what I mean, I don't even know if she's got an overhand that can really that can drop her. Yeah. Just run her over. Now, this yep. is the point where you start, re- like, if you're a fighter that don't have that knockout power, that KO power, yep. the, the light is getting dimmer and dimmer. You know, my chances yeah, what can you go to? What, like, what, you what go am to? I going to do? That's a good question. If you don't have that knockout power at this point, what can you go to? Somehow Unless, you're going to have to get a takedown, yeah, but I mean, that's going to take so much energy, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jasmine is not letting yep. up, yo. Oi. Look at hey. she's really she oh, is dude. tattooing her. And Jasmine yeah, the, is the crowd's getting into it. Like you said, that energy coming from the crowd now. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Just keep coming forward, keep pushing forward. Oh wow. this would be a good time to try to you could oh man, I you could break her. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Two minutes left. Oh, good oh, left good. hand. Good nice, shot. nice shot. Maverick landed elbow. on the left. She tried to throw an elbow right there, but then ate her right by Jasmine. Oi. Yep, yeah, Jasmine's still landing him. Yeah, and I was gonna say, like, it would just brought up that crowd energy right now for Jasmine. Oh. Jasmine, Jasmine, mean in there, man, just yeah. walking her down yeah, right that, now. Her, her right oh, hand boy. hasn't missed yet. There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, there it is. No. Oh, she she tired. Was pop, Too tired. She did a good job of just knocking oh, over with the hips. Took her back. Good. Gonna throw some shots. Here. And Miranda's just, she's just cooked. Oh, oh, she oh, rolled for a leg. Oh, maybe can actually. She was going for oh, a leg. She figured, why not try? Again. No can do. Denied, though. Nice job. Jasmine made sure she got her leg out of there. Yeah. That was one of those things where I feel like Jasmine was just so much, like, pressure that Miranda mm-hmm. just was like, all right, I'm going to try to go for a takedown, you know? Right. A hundred percent. It's like someone in chat said, why wrestler? Because she doesn't have anything else to do. To She's do getting run yeah. over by Jasmine, has yeah. just picked it up and is just running her over and overwhelming her. And what we were just talking about is, you know what I mean, is what can she do? How is she going to be able to stop her? Like, she doesn't mm-hmm. have enough power in her... You know what I mean? She doesn't have enough power in her punches, so she's got yep. to try to roll for something and maybe catch something along the way because sure Jasmine's all over. Rolling for a leg lock might have actually been one of your best bets. Yeah, hey, you never know, man. You got to yeah. shoot your shot. Yeah. I mean, got to try something. Yeah, like we were saying earlier, you're not going to throw – I don't see you throwing a mighty left hand or a right hand and knocking her down or something. You know what I mean? When all out fails, roll for a takedown, my river telly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now Jasmine, that this is what I seconds. love about Jasmine. Look at that throwing big knees, oh, pressure wow. on the face. She heard she, it with she that can knee. back wow. up. She's got her up wow. against the cage, just bullying her right now. That's oh, five very, seconds. Very impressive performance by um Jasmine. I oh, like how sure. she picked it up like that. She went ham. That was very nice. She did. She went, she was like, I'm gonna finish this third round. Sometimes <laughs> people get, a, get it in coast. They know they got it. They can well, coast. She went for it still. She doesn't try to get that finish. That's wow, so, so what what's that 30 27 or 29 28 i i could uh i think it 30 27 i, I could, could even see 30 27 so i'm gonna say someone's gonna have a 29 28 yeah. someone's <laughs> gotta be the someone's gotta be the they gotta be the odd individual you know 
Yeah. You know, and the one thing I was going to say with Maverick, she looks impressive physique wise. She looks ready. Yeah. And she uh-huh. just got. Looks like she's in great she shape. She just got. Look at yeah. her. Look how tired. She's kind of just tender. She just. That wrestling side of life, holding on to that arm bar yeah. for too long. Yeah, it's exactly you know? it's exactly like you guys said. I think yeah. that arm bar was it. Because once she got up, to, to be honest, she looked a little better in the third, the beginning of the third, and she yeah. did in the beginning of the second. That arm bar took a lot out of her. A hundred percent. For all, for our video game players out there, you have you ever played Mortal Kombat, you have seen anything like that with the stamina bar. You always got to be thinking about whose stamina bar is getting drained right now. And like uh-huh. Maverick, she sat in that position and her stamina bar went down. Did it come that, back? It's bro? the white part of the stamina bar that doesn't uh-huh. come back. That, that doesn't come back. back. Yeah, the, it's the gotta gotta come back. I'm that, telling you. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the cardio about, gotta, is the white part of it. It moves, it but it's as the bar moves down that cutoff point. That's the anaerobic side of it. So that little white Man. part of the bar will move in and out of it, but it only goes so full. You know, I mean, I you only got that. like a quarter I left, you just and that's that's when you're like, then you only have a quarter to work with. You're in trouble. <laughs> I love what you just said. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, 29, 29, 28. 28. So, oh, yeah. hey, we got to give credit to the judges. A lot of times we, we uh-huh. get on the judges when they get something wrong. That's true. So we got to give that's them credit true. for scoring that first round correctly, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, that's very true. Bad, that's very not true. bad. I like it. She's feeling it. Fired up. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was a that was a real good performance. It I was. like how she did you too. I like how she did at the end. She really, she put yeah. a statement. She didn't coach. She really yeah. pressured it and pushed it. For sure. That's going to win you over some more fans, too. Like, I was saying to the edge, she looked vicious in there, bro. It's Terminator walking her down, man. That but was I, awesome. I, I wonder if forward. she comes from a wrestling background. That's a good question. Whoa, yeah, ja- Jasmine? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, about yeah, that. yeah she doesn't Jasmine come from a wrestling, wrestling background. We'd have to be international wrestling, really. They don't do much collegiate up there. Simon Fraser on the Vancouver side. I think it's, we have Simon Fraser on that side. They were international. We had to wrestle against them in junior college and stuff like that. I don't know how much they have as far as uh, co- collegiate wrestling up there. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But I do know Simon Fraser. I believe I'm saying that correctly. They had a bunch of they had a beast, all their international wrestlers. And they came in and wrestled collegiately against all of us down in, in Seattle and stuff like that. But a number next to her name most hey no complaint mm-hmm. no complaint i like it i like yeah. it what do we got so then here we are nazardine and curtis if and when if and when let's go this me a good one it's me a good one right here we've got so what is it half you're going with curtis oh let me start let me see if it changed sorry about that there it is all right so the the it is up for all of you there. This thing. And I don't know if we're... Wow. Where? Oh, I see it. Yeah, you think we have that? I think we do, huh? All right, I'm going to play a video. Be right back. I got a video for you, chat. One second. Boom. Oh, Nunez was... Oh! Oh! Aldana keeps touching her. You know, she, you see how she's doing it? She's winging yeah. these, but she's not. Oh! Oh! That'll change her yeah. career. Oh, my that goodness. Oh, my goodness. Slept her. Oh, my goodness. Wow, she got that respect, and then she capitalized on it. Oh, my Holy goodness. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. And then that follow-up right hand on the ground. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Absolutely spectacular. Oh, oh Charles is good here, my goodness. goodness. This is his move. The standing rear naked choke is so nasty. Oh, he's, he's, he's just, oh, Joe, now he's hiding the hand. Oh, now he's hiding man. the hand, Joe. Dustin's in trouble. Dustin's in real Dustin's trouble. Dustin's in real trouble. Oh, it's, it's, under under it's, it's under the neck. It's under the neck. It's under the neck. Celebrate your guy. 
And that is a signature win right there. That is how he does it. Look at him. He's so happy. Charles Oliveira, my goodness, man. He's not, he's not moving that well. Oh! oh. oh. in real trouble. Oh, my goodness. He's so far close to trying to close the show. Oh! Crowd senses something could climb oh. It's over, boys. Oh! Back in 50K EK oh. with the walk off left hook. Do not doubt this man. What a statement he made tonight. We see here a nice back step. Left hook. There it is. You just slide back, wait for the man to rush in. Back step, keep the range. Chess match on the feet as each looks for the big shot. Oh, oh, Rodriguez is down and out. Aven Zahabi returns with a bang and a first round knockout. My. I did not see that happening. Quick hands. I don't think I saw it, in fact. <laughs> Heavy me. hands. That's me. Eamon Zahabi's back in a big way, folks. First appearance since 2019. Established half guard. Right back to that downward pressure. Oh, look out for the head, head and arm triangle. Under a minute to go. Lane is hanging in right now. Well, well, that's trying it. to advance oh, position. Now he swings over into mount, and there's the tap. Proper Mike Malott in round one again. And he has burst onto the scene in the welterweight division in a big way. I mean, that was technical. That was textbook. It really was. Stayed at range, softened him up with kicks, wait for the right time. Nice, nice body kick and a big rush from Nunez. Oh, Nunez was... Oh! Huge head kick for Nunez! Oh, and then Nunez, the queen of the jungle! Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's over, it's over. He did it with a low kick. It's over. Wow. It's over, man. It's over. Just too good. Man. Brilliant. Just too good. Wow. Amanda Nunez has now beaten every former UFC women's bantamweight champion. Man. What a legacy. She is unquestionably the best. Unquestionably. Any doubt was removed tonight. Woo. Nothing but respect between these two women, too. You know what I mean? When he throws, yeah. that's the one that's thing. Bomb. He could throw some heavy shots. But Imavov, I like the way he moves and he gets up on his feet and he bounces. You know what I yeah. mean? And he kind of bounces. He gives me that Wonder Boy esque. You know what I mean? I I, I do like it. He can move, but Curtis looks like he come in there like a little bowling ball that Mike yeah. just get in there side to side, just big heavy shots when you get in, right? Don't play the range game. No and it's it's He's funny. Um, sometimes when you see guys that train together, a lot of times it means nothing. But with him and Sean Strickland, they fight at such a strange range for MMA. You know, mm -hmm. as a former fighter, you know, like with those MMA gloves. It's different. Like the range is opens up a little bit, but Sean and Chris like stand right in front yeah, of you. Yeah, they see your face. And, and, yeah, yeah, they stand right in front of you and decide to box mm -hmm. with you. You know, and it's one of those things where like if you're constantly sparring like that and your opponent is not used to it, even if they're better skilled than you, you know, not everybody's uh -huh. willing to take the risk of fighting in that range with MMA. Right. Right. Do you do you think it helps? Um, I'm evolved the fact that he just fought Strickland actually because he, he the, with how, how Curtis and Strickland both have that kind of like bully you 
Uh, I don't think so, man, because it's, it's strange. You got to fight, have um teammates that fight like that. You know, it's right, one okay. you could fight like that if you have if you're sparring and you have um big boxing gloves on. But right. once those tiny gloves come into play <laughs> and, you, and and you can no longer block everything like this. It's it's, right. it's it's one of those things where you have to have the heart to do it. You have to have the uh-huh. heart to be willing to get knocked out. Don't I it. see. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. What's he got? Most pro fights, UFC middleweight division, 40. 40, Gerald Marshall's wow, got 51. Dude. Nick Diaz, yeah, is 38. Up, way. All right. All right. Mark Murad, there, How old Murad, is Kareem? 30, 35? Hey. I like it. He's got he's five ten with the seventy five and a half inch reach and Nazardine, if this is right, he's six three with the seventy five inch reach. So that's another thing that Curtis actually has a half an inch reach advantage, even though, even he's, though he's giving ordered, up about five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know that's what I mean. Absurd. And again, that plays into when you coming in with those bolo shots, bolo yeah. shots. Mm-hmm. You know that'd be one thing that. So Webb, is he? I mean, he's Chris, built for knocking people years old out, dude. You look at him. He is built for it. A hundred percent, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's built for throwing bombs. So where where is Imava from? I'm not. It's, it's he's from. Out. Is he? He's he's in France, right? Oh, okay. So he's not. He's, one yeah, of he's those French. Russians. All right. Now, yeah. <laughs> this whole time I was like, <laughs> "What are you doing? You're supposed to be wrestling." But but now it makes sense. He's not actually Russian. <laughs> I just made yeah, it. Who is, <laughs> who is, he's from. No, but who he's is from crazy Dagestan. Striker, he's from Dagestan, Russia. Oh, he is from Dagestan. Is he? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, you're right. Republic of Dagestan, Russia. He's yeah. from, but he moved out to France, and he, he likes uh-huh. that. He, yeah. So he might have wrestling in there because you have to. All right. No, this, wait, Jens, look at look at his facial hair. The fact that he has a mustache is things are already going off, you know, like he's not fit, <laughs> he, he's not going down the traditional path. He's supposed to have no mustache and a beard and wrestle. This guy's from France and doing striking, you know. A hundred percent. There's something suspicious about this guy that I don't like. Oh, <laughs> he's did hiding. they not do did they not do Curtis before and you can read it off, but we got Nazarene Yanamov coming in with the he's won three of his last four fights. Tied second highest significant strike defense among active UFC middleweight, uh, middleweights with 63%. He's got seven first round finishes, currently ranked 12th in the UFC. But I think another thing is he can utilize his maybe his clinching and his wrestling to keep the distance away, right? To keep the distance at bay and then utilize his striking. There you go, Jen. See, I got earlier. okay, I knew it. Three of last four wins by knockout. See, that's what I'm talking about. Highest takedown defense in UFC history. Look at that. 100%, 35, 35. 100%. And he's got seven first round finishes. So this is going to have to be a range game and a get inside game, right? I don't see this breaking into a wrestling match because Curtis isn't going to let it happen. Yeah. (laughs) Now, what's what's nuts? That part of you as a fighter, I know everybody that he fights wants to be the guy that messes up that record. Uh huh. For sure. For <laughs> like, sure. Just get him with one trip, you know. <laughs> like I, I just want to mess one up. takedown to do it, right? One takedown <laughs> to say I did it. That's uh, that's pretty crazy though. Like thirty five for thirty five, and all the yeah, your fights that you've had, you never got taken down. Because that also tells you Tremendous. when he gets in close, he's Take throwing some serious heaters. He's throwing some heavy little hooks, and he's like, uh uh-uh, uh I ain't. Nope. I'm not. I'm cool with that. Cause that's what he does. He's three and one as, a, as as a UFC all, yeah. Underdog, yeah. As the UFC dog, he's three and one. He likes it. Oh, I love you it. Go. You I got less it. to lose, baby. Already counting you out. Yes, I would not count him out. Not at all. Mm-hmm. Plus, my boy Nate Pettit's in his corner, which is always my. We've been together. We, we've been co- working together since we was eighteen years old. So. I love that kid. But the movement of this guy. Yeah, yeah. I got, man, there are things about this Nazardine. He's, man, I'm sold on him. I'm sold on him, especially at 185, because think about uh-huh. the other fighters at 185 with that 6'3, that movement. He could, I, man, I'm telling you, if he shoots a takedown <laughs> and adds in the wrestling, then, then, it, then he's scary. Yeah. Uh, until until he starts wrestling, until I'm not a fan. I see some clinching, right, uh, Sadiq? If, no, right? I'm, not, I'm not a fan because <laughs> there's a lot of fraudulent things going on uh, here. Okay. <laughs> until, until I see some wrestling. Oh, I love if it. He goes from, if he goes for yeah, one takedown, then I'll. I'll become but you a see fan. what I mean? Look at his stance. Look how he keeps yeah. that upright. Yeah. Keep that upright bounce just outside of range. Kind of like Cyril Gain too. 
Oh, yes, hey, there you go. You go. nailed that. That was exact. I was like, who was someone else looks exactly like this? Who is it? That's who it was. Again, another French guy. Yeah, I that's true. This guy, there's something going on with this guy. It's suspicious. Uh -huh. You know, and that's it. Look, look how he's kicking at that knee of, of Curtis. Curtis, I'd like to see maybe start circling more. You know, and then see the playing that slapping hands again, righty versus lefty. Yeah. Curtis got to figure out how he's going to get inside. Oi. Ooh, nice. Oh. Nice. Man, and that was fast, too. That, that, heel, got, man. that was fast. Curtis that bringing a so heater with the, with the lead leg up to the face of Nazardine, just missing. And then, yes, mm -hmm. if he does want that, I left to the belly hole by Curtis. I, I'm a fan. God, Curtis looks like one of those guys that's just so freaking strong, bro. Like yeah. he's not super cut up, but you just look at him, you're like, this guy is those just... giant shoulders he has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing is, you know, is how does he close that distance? See, that's what Nazardine, he's not, he's not foolish. He's like, he's not really throwing much from out there. He just keeps kind of kicking at that lead knee a little bit with his lead leg. Now, there, the one thing about Chris Curtis, though, he, he is one of those fighters that will eventually get frustrated, you know. And what Imavov is doing right now is very smart. Just point fighting, uh -huh. you know, touch, touch, yeah. touch. Uh, hopefully, Chris Curtis will make a mistake and he can Maybe bait him in, huh? It. Maybe get him to start headhunting a little bit, catch him. You know, and that's the one thing is you look at the footwork, righty versus lefty, and the Mavov's not even trying to circle outside that. You see, Curtis is winning in that game and allowing and being able to circle on the outside. Hey, somebody in the chat says Mavov and Cyril Gain train together in Dagestan. <laughs> oh, hey, all right, all right. Hey, that makes sense. <laughs> I love it. I love it's, biz it. it's bizarro world here. A whole lot of a whole lot of inconsistencies. That'd be all right. Oh, look oh, how that quick, quick that right man. hand that was. was snappy though, right there, dude. That was by snappy. Imabov. And that's the one thing, right? If Curtis kind of just goes in and gives him the range, he just sits there. Now, remember what we Boy. were talking about, about the oh, range. He's oh, going for oh, it. oh, here we go. He here we go. He got it. He got it. He flinched his way. He, he wow. flinched he his way it. into the rest and got wow. the takedown. He got it. We kind of cursed him at the end of this game. Now I'm angry again. I don't like this guy. <laughs> he, uh -huh. he just messed up Chris's undefeated um takedown record. Yeah, dude. And he keeps lying hey. about where he's from. Look at how heavy he is on the top of that head. I like that cranking down on that head, trying to throw in that leg. Hasn't pushed up against the fence. Curtis gonna have to try to get away, but it's like we were talking about earlier though about the range that Chris fights at. But the fact that he just kept on um keep um side kicking that knee. Yeah. If Chris can't ever get into his comfortable range, you know, now he's doing something he's not used to. Well, and that's the one thing, like maybe he just kind of lulled him. It's like, I'm not going to be, I'm not shooting takedowns. I'm just going to do this. And then he just quickly, yeah. I, I See, like I, on the clinch, take the back, now throwing knees. And he's not really trying to take it to the ground ish. You know what I mean? He's just controlling the back right now, allowing Curtis to keep his head up against the fence. And you know what I mean? He's not, he isn't trying to trip him down or anything. Then, But now we've got. Hey, now now I'm a fan again. You see, my man's from Dagestan, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's won me over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody tell him about Sadiq Yusuf is a fan of him. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh. See, see you know, that's that, that right hand with that short elbow by Amavov. He's seeing everything right now. And that's the one thing mm -hmm. I like is he gets in close. He fired that right hand. Look, he Ooh. almost spun that elbow. He ducked underneath the punch of Curtis, goes in yeah. on a on a body lock. You know, Curtis might actually benefit more just from getting more wild in this fight because right now yes. I'm a lot of the technical fighter, right? Yeah. Curtis needs to almost get up in his face and make just start it ugly. Yes, okay. make it yeah, ugly. Yeah, yeah. Just start like, throwing some it, overhands. Turn it into a brawl. Turn it yep. into a brawl. That's a fact. I like it. That's a fact. Wow, now, this guy, this guy is destroying this. Muscle um, into the ground take... again. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Now he's gonna take the back. Oh, he's breaking it. That's <laughs> that's not looking good. He's fighting the hand though. Now he's got the hand. He shaved Dagestanin. Now he's gonna try to get that. Yeah. He must have heard my complaints. He did listen. <laughs> he he must have you heard got him all fired up. <laughs> he must have heard my complaints. Now he's got short time. You, so he's... He, you can tell he's got good grappling. Like how he just, from one arm to the next, constantly attacking the neck right there. Well, he's now, got the figure four in the body, and he's not forcing the rear naked choke. Now he's knowing that, you know, there's short time, and Curtis has got the ability to fight, and he's trying to keep his back flat on the camp. Yeah. There you go. And if he makes Curtis his transition over. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, Curtis yeah. with a jump knee when he got up to his feet, it, though. Looks like he wobbled him almost. Chris can always put you out. 
Uh-huh. But that this is one of those things where having a hundred percent takedown defense, that was your first time ever being on the ground. No yeah. matter what, experience True. means everything. Yeah. If you haven't experienced something before, it's always gonna feel off, you know. So we don't know how much all that grappling took out of Chris. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the biggest thing is, what does it do on his punches? If he's now worried about these takedowns, does yeah. it, and you know it does, right, Sadiq? It, it, it freezes your hands up. Like, ah, but that's like, now is not the time to let your hands freeze. It is time to throw some heavy, heavy shots and to get inside. Oh, got to make it ugly. You got to yeah. pop him. That was very impressive by Emma Voss, man. Oh, yeah. Very controlled, sure. isn't he, Vince? Yeah, he's yeah. controlled. Yeah, that, that was like what I, the ma- biggest thing I noticed is he's so calm. He's just sitting back there. He's. He's seen everything like you said. He's reading the fight and just when he fired cool. that straight right hand the first time we bought, we 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 all went, "Whoa! All right, mm-hmm. he, he got a he's got some pop too." Yeah. Imovov can punch. The fact that he got confident enough to start looking for wrist controls, especially double wrist controls, you mm-hmm. could tell like he's starting to get into like a flow state. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This he just he is in there flowing. And that's where it's up to Curtis. He's got yeah. to go in there and hit him right yeah, out yeah. of that he, flow. He, he, just rock him. he needs Sprint. to get him off his game. Look, see, there's that side to side. No, he stumbled Ooh, already. No. He might have hyperextended his knee Did you something. see it? He finally got he him with so. that kick. Yeah. That's why oh. he buckled when he jumped in. But Chris is doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, just yeah. get in there and keep uh, make uh, it ugly like he was in. saying. Look, hop, stay in front of him. Let's go explode in. Explode in. Man, it's, so, it's also scary to explode in because of that jamming. That one time that he did it while he tried to explode, yeah. you feel like your knee's going to explode. It's going to fall apart, you know? Right, right. It's, man, I'm telling you. Imava, look, he's like, he's like, yeah. a, he's like Bones Jones out there, just yeah. keep kicking to that knee and yeah. all those little things like that. Like, what's the worst you're gonna, you're gonna get in here and I'll out wrestle you when it's done. That's the one thing that Imava does, even with his height and his range. He reminds me a lot of Bones. Look at that, just constantly kicking at that knee. Yep. Oh, whoo! And then when he lets a big right hand go like and that, that just misses, jump in. You know, even when it seemed like Curtis was trying to get in there, like his movement, he was almost like he's st- yeah. slowing oh. him down. Slowing him down just by moving how he was across the cage. You know, and that's the one thing that I wish, and I, I know I say it a thousand times, is if Curtis would circle his way in to closing the distance instead of coming straight in. He's keeping his foot on the outside, so he keeps circling and close it. Circle and close, and, you know, and, and that'll help you close the distance a little better than a straight in because he is throwing, he's trying to, he's throwing that sidekick right to your knee, every th- right yeah, there. That's yeah. got to start hurting. If he could just, you know what I mean? If Curtis would just circle. And just keep that, keep a kind of just a slow circle, you know what I mean? And not for nothing, like a few seconds back there, um, Imavov did fight in the range that Chris likes. You know, it's just right. he was so he was getting hit so much that he kind of went on all defense. Yeah, hundred percent. And then he looks, notice every time he gets in close, he puts that foot right on that knee. Mm-hmm. And that's what I mean by maybe that he can build up some kind of confidence if he circles out of there. You know, and Imavov, look, he's doing a good job, but he's keeping Curtis right in front of him. If Curtis would get up on wow. his wheels and start circling, I think it would be one of the things to kind wow. of break the quote-unquote monotony. Strikes, man. Wow, yeah, yeah, he's looking good, man. He's looking He's seeing too. everything, isn't he? Yeah. Risk control. Look at that. Imavov's he's, just, he's seeing he's looking everything. Looking like he's Neo in there right now, man. He's reading this wow. like <laughs> he knows the next move before it happens. Now we got the clinch, going to push him up against the fence. And again, see, I like that. Get a dig up, big up, uh, uh, underhook on the on the left side. Get that head in there. Man, what is going on with Canada? We're seeing a oi, lot of people oi. that normally don't get tired look very, very tired, you know? Yeah, I wonder what, wonder what the elevation is, whether there's a... Oh, headbutt. We got a headbutt? Oh, that, oh, yeah, nice. yeah, I saw it. But it wasn't – Um, Chris kind of did it because he was throwing a punch at the same time. Right. And he kind of brought his head up, you know. Oh, he got sliced oh, from the oh, table. He's sucks. bleeding. Yeah, I think oh. he was throwing a left body shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ah, were both coming yeah. back. Yeah. That sucks. Ouch. Yeah, that's Ouch. really It's in a good spot, too. Accidental yeah. clash of heads, but – Oh, man. Ah, look at that thing. It's right on the side. Get in there on that eye. The clashing of heads. I mean, it'll happen. Yeah. Oh.
Oh uh, yeah, oh, they don't even have a towel in there from a man. Nothing. No one's gonna wipe it off. <laughs> Nothing. Like they're not doing anything to it. Like, can we get a towel? Can we get? Man, give me a cut, man. They gave him a hanky. <laughs> All right. Now, like, but the doctor came. Like, the doctor doesn't even have anything to wipe it off with. What are you looking at, Doc? Now, what happens if sure the fight doesn't good. continue here? Is a no, no. Contest? Accidental. They'll go to the card. Uh, right. Accidental. They'll go to the card. I'm not sure. Hey, you would think I would know these rules as a fellow hey, as a you. USB hey. fighter. <laughs> As long as I've done it, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you. You would think I would know what, what, what the rules are. You think, I'd, you think I wouldn't be too punchy and forget such things, but I think it would go to the cards. You know, you never know, but I think it would go to the scorecards if we're in round three, but we're in round two. No, so we're round two. Yeah, no. Oh, I don't know. We need to yeah. have at least, do we have to at least have two rounds before I can go to the card? I this wonder if it's a like stop. a certain time in the, through the round, too, because we're more than halfway through the second, so I wonder if that matters. Yeah. Wow. See, the doc is saying the eye's okay. Yeah, but the doc does, doctor doesn't know. Like, do we have a – where's yeah. the cut man? Can we <laughs> bring in a cut man? Literally, like, how come they can't have a cut man come in there? <laughs> that's that's a good question. That, that's <laughs> a, a, from an accidental strike sure, like that. Jim, headbutt, like, doc is a liar. It seems like you should be able to have uh, – hey, If you don't get on my face, doctor – <laughs> Your eyes okay. <laughs> the, the Curtis was a little disgusted at that, wasn't he? Yeah, what? It's like, what? You, you he the, 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 the holding the hanky like hard on the talking. eye going, what do you mean it's okay? Yeah. Look at it. I can't see shite. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's why I can't believe you can't bring in a cut man. Yeah, he can't He can't see. That's why I figured. I, I've had a, I had a fractured orbital when I fought Alex Caceres. You're going to stop it. And it went black, you know, and it looked perfectly okay, but, but it's my accidental. Whole went black. So it's accidental. You don't get your five. Wait. He wants one more minute. Like, oh, have we man. even thrown out the time? What have we done? Like, does he get? How come he doesn't get five minutes? Yeah, that's strange. And where's the cut man? They, they might stop it for him. Yeah, they're going to stop it for him. Yeah. He can't see, so he's... That's... Yeah. that's, that's <laughs> if, if I'm Chris, I'm going to be mad at that doctor. <laughs> but we'll get the answer. So because it wasn't in the third round, so it would have been... Oh. Uh, yeah. 100% accidental. Yeah, it's accidental, yeah. man. I feel like it's probably going to be a... You said it's a no Dang, contest. man. No winner, yeah. No winner, no contest. Well, dude, that sucks for both of them because it's like you never want to see that. But, like, damn, I'm a Vob was doing so I'm good, too. Was, yeah, I'm a was looking so I solid. By a lot. By That's a lot. what I mean. Like, I see why I get why Curtis is mad. But if I'm a I'm, a Bob, I'm extra mad. Like, dang. Yeah. 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 I mean, I had, Bob I might have been headed for a performance in the night. Right? Right I was cruising. For sure. For sure. That ah. sucks, man. That yeah, sucks. that does, dude. That was really good, though. Like, and Ima, like Imavov was super impressive right there. Yeah, the, the win aside, losing half your check for um something like that is man, that's painful. Yo. Is that what happens if it's a if it's a draw? They both don't get a win. Yeah, the the, the, the Dang, bonus is for is for winning the fight. It's you get a pay, man, you get your yeah. you get your show money and then your win money. And now yeah. neither get it, and you know yeah, that sucks. Hopefully they take care of them in the back, you know. But that's, no, especially especially no. especially involved, you know, mm -hmm. because I think no disrespect to Chris Curtis, uh, the Him fight was, like he was yeah yeah in, in control of that one right there. And you know, from from what I from what I hear and understand, like usually you know if something like that's going on. Like sometimes the UFC does do that, right? They kind of yeah a lot yeah a lot of times yeah. they do. Delta that's, Hedge that's, had the 170,000 on Curtis and then 150,000. Yeah, you can see. High comic, high comic. No yeah, contest. No contest, wow. No contest. So, yeah. I tell you what, if I'm Imovov, I'm fighting the ASAP. Can I get on another card ASAP? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's you know rel I mean? rel relatively clean. It didn't take much damage. If yeah. I had to guess, like with my um <laughs> with my expertise, doctor, I would guess like um Curtis probably has some type of fracture orbital because that's what happened with me when mm -hmm. I fought um Bruce Leroy. 
and it luckily mine came back like in between rounds. Oh, but really? As, yeah, as soon as it as soon as it hit, it just everything just went black, you know. But his was right. a punch, so you can't you can't even get out of it, you know. <laughs> but everything goes black, but it comes back. That's but, what he kept yelling about. I can't see. Just give me one more minute. Maybe, yeah, give me one yeah. more minute. It'll, it'll, it would have came back. It would have came back if they waited. But it's one of those things where the doctor's doing this test, and then the doctor says, you're okay. <laughs> it's like the doctor told him to man up. <laughs> you know, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man up. <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> Why don't you get five minutes in, in, a, in an accidental like that? Because it's... It, make, it makes no sense, right? It, it, I don't... Yeah, it makes if no it sense. was a it was a clash of heads, Did I guess they the call five a head minutes, butt at the end too. I think the five minutes is supposed to be a, a punishment for the other guy. So I guess if it's accidental, they can't really give a punishment. You know? Okay. If, if okay. I had to um rationalize it somehow. Okay. All points were returned, chat. All points were returned, and that's the other thing. No cut, man. That was crazy. So maybe because it was accidental. And I Do we? I mean, you say that, but you just, you never, you can never know. I don't think the guy's in there trying to get out of that fight. No. You can have something happen. There's a whole the bunch of stuff that goes on with your eye. Your eyes are really sensitive, you know? Yeah. There's so yeah. many different things that can take place where you might not be able to see properly. To, to be honest, it, there's sometimes, too, like the whole thing that happened with Aljamain for him to win his belt. In those uh -huh. situations, I'm not mad at that guy, you know? Yeah. It was like, uh -huh. if, if the rules are laid out, the person breaks the rules, that's 100%. another one that's for victory. Yeah. That's well, another that's, was victory. Well, that was it, Sadiq. And that was one thing when people were saying, oh, he was fake. It doesn't matter. The it doesn't matter. He threw that illegal yeah, lead, it doesn't, it it does doesn't matter. matter. It, doesn't, it matter doesn't matter what happens, what you do. You threw that illegal knee. That's yeah. that you give you put the power in someone else's hands. Exactly. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Sure. Let, let that have been me. Ah! <laughs> 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 How do you yell? I'm champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's another thing people don't think about. They don't realize the difference between a champion's pay and a regular person's pay. You know, oh, it's, it's like... a whole different ball game. Then you get to get three of them because we're gonna have to go back and solidify this another time later. On, and... on, on my way going down, I would say thank you, Peter. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. All right. Well, while we're waiting, I think what we go live in three minutes. Chat, I've got a oh, I got a video for you. Here you go. The greatest of all time. What Amanda Nunez has done. It's truly amazing. I'm the biggest in the game with a point to prove. She is unquestionably the best. I'm the champion here, Amanda Nunez, the lion. rise to challenge the Amanda Nunes. There is a new Bantamweight contender. It's Irene Aldana. Oh! Irene Aldana! She believes this is her time. Oh! We could have another Mexican world champion. Nobody's gonna think he just bowed for me. Amanda Nunes! The greatest women's mixed martial artist of all time. She is just next level. We are here making history again. Her boxing is crisp and clean. This is a big time challenge to Amanda's title. I'm chasing the bell. I'll be champion. So much anticipation for this fight. Charles Oliveira is the most technical guy in the game. Most submissions and finishes in UFC history. Benil Doryush. He's on a tremendous win streak. I'm going to take him out and set myself up for that belt. The UFC has landed in Vancouver. The always excited fans inside of Rogers Arena. Let's go! Oy. All right, all right. Well, we got that fixed. And then it's so our first fight will be Mark Andre Berrio and Eric Anders. When we go, I think we go like literally live in a minute. It should be. We have to find out. But man, that's kind of, that was crusty for both of them. I know yeah. the clash of heads, it happens. Very unfortunate, man. And now Chris has to deal with all, all the trolls <laughs> are going to get on him for, for not continuing, even though he can only see out of one eye. <laughs> well, so he was true. throwing a pretty big fit. So hopefully people were like, all right. He, he wanted to continue. He said, just let me have a minute. But I can't see out of my effing eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on. You know, it's like, I get it. But yeah, the clash of heads, it happens. But I don't, Aldana, man. Can Aldana is out. 
Is it is tonight? Tonight is that? Can Aldana rise up? Chat. Come on, you two. Can Aldana? Hey. Can Aldana rise up you and go after the goat or what? Hey, the there's, some, or there's, some, there's something going on in the air in Mexico, man. You, you Dude, never they, know. They, they've all been, that's true, man. <laughs> Grasso taking that for Chicago, man. Speaking, yeah, Grasso did the unthinkable, right? Did you think yeah. like Shevchenko? I'm true. just, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, no one thought. Uh, uh, Pena Pena was, gonna was gonna win the first yeah, time. No one yeah. thought he had either. But let's go. <laughs> yeah. I could see it happening. That lead hook, you know what I mean? That lead hook. I, I, I oof, man. And and I feel like um Amanda is, is towards the um I'm starting to get out part of her career. You know, I won't say like she's slowing down or anything, but I think like mentally she's starting to. Like, okay, this is probably going to be my last couple of fights. Other you know? things so, going on, you know, and it's yeah. kind of scary because you don't know at what point you'll be when you'll have one foot kind of out the cage, right? Mm -hmm. And you're thinking about life and other things that you want to do and, you know, and training camps aren't as long, aren't as dedicated, you know, but she has her own, and then she has her own gym. How long has she had her own gym since she was with, with the fighting side of it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I well, you're know coaching yourself or something. <laughs> like, she does have her own gym, right? And it's pretty recent. And that's, again, you know, so then who is the coaching? But do you go back to your roots and train there? All kinds of things. But when you've been the, the baddest on the planet for that long, finding motivation in general has got to be tough, you know. But I think that's the one thing. I wish I had learned it later. I mean, earlier in my career, there's something that when you are the champ, there's something that should always motivate you. I'm just going to show you, man. I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you. You think it's easy yeah. being me? Watch this. Come here. Come here, youngster. You know, but we shall see. I'm, I'm pumped, man. I went to see Aldana in that, that, that boxing. I want to see those hands and, and just see if, like I said, if she can just push Nunez, we're going to be in, a, we'll be in for a treat because if Nunez answers back, we got, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. I feel like Nunez is gonna make one of these um uh take down take down show my black belt. I forgot who she fought where yeah. she just went yeah. completely all jujitsu oh. and and was she it made it Jermaine made it very Durand easy. Yes, no. yes, yep, Jermaine yeah, Durand Durand she, I mean all, all jujitsu. Megan Anderson too. She whipped out that jujitsu as well. Huh? But what's that gonna be gutted mm -hmm. if Darius? Um. You know what I mean? Darius loses and and misses out on his title shot. I don't think he will. I don't. I, man, come these on. These guys. Man. I mean, I I think it's close though. I think these guys are both freaking savages, man. Charles and Benil, man. Oh well, do you know They're, Charles? Charles is as deadly uh -huh. as it gets. Right. He can put you away everywhere, and you're not. The, he's the submission king for a reason. You now I will saying? I will say this though. Charles gets away with a lot of um. I, I forgot. I think it was um Eve Edwards that said um Charles is the only MMA fighter that gets an eight count because a lot of times guys drop him and they just stand there and let him get back uh -huh. up because they're so terrified of <laughs> they don't yeah, yeah, going with yeah, 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 so jujitsu, bro. They're like, I don't want to go down he, there. Man. He literally gets an eight count and gets to get back up. But bro, he, so just, he just sits Darius, there in guard. He just yeah, sits Darius, there. I think like... Darius is not gonna be afraid to go down there. Just like Makachev. That's one of the things where like. If you know the what? guys that could play on the ground with him when they knock that's him true. down, they're gonna that's answer the point. guard. I love that because yes, yes I love that's that. A, that's Makachev did point. it, and he's like, and Dar used to do the same thing. Like, oh, I'll plop, I'll go down there right yeah. now, and yeah. we might be in for something on that one. I would love it. You know, and I'm just, I'm curious, especially with the man Rafael Cordero. What are you, what are you doing? What is your game plan? You know what I mean? For for Darius, what are you teaching Darius right now to go out there? And, so I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Rafael so old school, He's dangerous. Now, dangerous. on the other hand, what what do you think? Um, Oliveira's easiest path to winning is. I think he beats like him standing up. Take, picks him yeah, apart. I think he, I think I think he wrecks him, standing, punches really and funny. kicks, and just kicks those legs out. Okay. You know what I mean? From underneath him with those flying knees, those jumping knees, and those legs. Darius, I think he just kicks Darius is a southpaw, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, and they see well, he yeah. switches. They, they they pretty much all kind of switch around a little bit, don't they? Okay, okay. That's the only thing I was fearing with um with Charles is striking because I I feel I I want to say Darius is mostly southpaw, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Well, and then again, he can change it up depending on who he's fighting. And what the, that's again, what kind of what will be the game plan? What are they going to just their approach? I always say it. People get tired of it all the time. But the first minute, man, the first 30 seconds, the first minute of the fight, Sadiq, how they move around and what they do. I'm, I'm so excited to find out. 
But all right. Oh, they're getting ready, Chad. They're getting ready. Let's go, baby. Can Sadiq and Vis see chat? I believe they can see chat. Oh yeah. Uh, let me oh, see. Yeah. I, I I actually I'm on my phone switching. How do I see it on the on the actual screen? Ooh, I um bring what, what the... are you watching on? I hey <laughs> 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 you're asking the wrong guy, fella. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, I don't want you to mess phone, around with I... it too much. I, I had I had the um YouTube open on my phone, so I was looking at the YouTube chats, but uh -huh. I don't I don't. Oh, okay, I, you can go to twitch.tv slash UFC, and you can see that chat. Mm. Dang, no love phone. for the no love for the YouTube. Guy. <laughs> Dang, James. Oh no, I'm just saying yeah. YouTube. That's because YouTube needs to come over here, Twitch TV slash UFC, so I can see the chat. I can't see the YouTube chat. But at the same token, what's up YouTube? How you doing? <laughs> UFC fight pass Facebook. And then, of course, at UFC streams on Twitter. But that's the one thing. So hopefully, YouTube, come over here and hit that follow button and 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 jump in and, and have fun. Otherwise, you got to let me know what they're saying over there on, on the right, YouTube. Let, let, let me stop clicking stuff before you guys see a black screen on there. <laughs> I'm here clicking around. That's not just going to disappear. I wish we did. I did wish we did. But um, yes, I gotta I gotta mess more that the the UFC YouTube. I love them. they all think I talk too much anyways. No, hey, the moment I said I was gonna be on this channel, oh, no. somebody said things. tell Jens to slow down and stop talking. <laughs> See, I told you the minute the minute the, the minute I no. the time. It's you gotta have See it, what though. they gotta understand is the dead. I don't want dead air. There'll be no yeah, dead air. Sometimes you got to carry it, you know? Sometimes yeah, you got to yeah, carry yeah. it, gents. Let's all three sit here and count to 10 and say nothing. Say nothing, yeah. <laughs> yeah not, to to be honest, did. though, I don't, it's, it's been a pretty um flowing conversation. It's not like, oh, yeah. It's not like it's anything bad, you know? Mm -hmm. But people, are, man, that's the internet, yo. Uh, 100%. If, if it, <laughs> every, some, everybody's going to have something bad to say on the internet. Yeah, there, there's there. always. Yep. But that has always it's been there, the one. Is man, he talks a lot. No, like what? <laughs> yeah, they said they said. That's the whole point. To slow down. That's, a, that's an asset. Jen's gonna let that's you talk on the main card. That's good as a stream streamer. You want to talk a lot? Yeah, that's why I can do it for. I can do. I can do seven hours. You know, but and I know, like you both will tell me if I'm talking over you. I'd never talk over you. You know. No, no we're solid, dude. We're solid. But I like it. All right, so stop Sadiq talking over me. <laughs> <laughs> I was nah, like, I'm just gonna hilarious. ask you a question too. You're hilarious. I'm like, so oh, Sadiq, you let oh. us know. You'll let us know what what YouTube is asking. So all you out there, Sadiq is watching the uh, yeah. the UFC YouTube chat, so he can he can kind of he can relay if you need if needs. Uh, Rene Aldana with that liver kick, that up kick to the liver, that was insane. Yeah, I remember that fight too, man. I was like, the, the other girl was winning like pretty, pretty well. Let's say it was boxing, okay? Let's say it's boxing between Nunez and Aldana. Who do you think wins if it's a boxing fight? Uh, to be honest, I feel um technically Aldana might throw a little bit straighter, but uh -huh. that's that doesn't necessarily play out in MMA sometimes. Like uh, MMA, a lot of power dictates stuff just because of how small those gloves are. So it's the advantage. It's not that big for it to be to be an issue, right? That is the one thing I just see my cousin. No, oh, I'll see you in three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Is it really in three weeks? Dang. Underdog All parlay. Right, cousin. Better get a heck of a payout for this one. Underdog parlay. How could you not though? I'm gonna let, let's go up there and let's just. One hundred dollars went almost to three thousand. You know, hey, there's not hey, really you know? much. The, the other thing is there's only a one inch difference in height and actually Nunes has a longer reach, a, a half an inch reach longer. Oh, I was hoping to have the longer, the range, the, the span of maybe of Aldana being an advantage, but no, nah, oh, wow. it's hey, not. Hey, Jens, somebody on YouTube said their first intro to the UFC was you coach on the ultimate fighter. I just realized that's actually my intro too. Was it? So that, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. You, yeah, your season. Yeah. That was the one with um Nate, Nate, and those guys, right? Nate and Manny Gambino, yeah, my yeah, winners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. season that, five. That's... Me and me and uh, BJ Penn 
We're the coaches. What yes. a full circle moment. Nice. See, now I just got some goosebumps, man. I just I just realized that. Hey, you've now, come now, full now, circle, brother. Yeah. This is full circle now, baby. Man, I that's love that's it. dope as hell. I appreciate whoever put that in the comment because I just realized that. I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back and clip thing. this part. I just, I just realized that. That was literally my introduction. I always tell people. You know, like in the movies, like um, like in the Flash, where they go back in time and they change one thing and their life is different. Yes, uh-huh. yes. I always say, I wonder what would it, what would my life be like if I just never changed the channel that day. <laughs> like if I never That's changed the channel. That's crazy to think, ain't it? You know? That's crazy to think, ain't it? Yeah, like Something that was the like one that. point in my life that I know, like, if it changed, the rest of my life would be completely different. Uh huh. Well, you know, that's kind of it's funny you say that because one of the things I've always been stuck on. People ask, like, what fight? If you could go back in your career, what fight would you change? What's there something you could do, right? Especially the losing streak at the end. And I go, unfortunately, nothing. And uh-huh. they're like, why? I go because if any one thing would have changed in my life, I wouldn't Change be sitting everything. right yep. here doing yep. this on this stream, yep. doing what I love more than anything. About to get inducted in the Hall of Fame. I'm. Yep. I'm pretty happy, you know what I mean? So, yep. but that kind of helps and the message to everybody would be, you know, like you don't have no regrets. If you really love where you're at right now, everything had a purpose and a reason, right? Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Nailed it on that. Jens, do you get the money for the subscribers? No, all subs go to support the American Cancer Society. <laughs> hey, nice. See, you guys have been ignoring YouTube for so long. <laughs> they say, shout out to Sadiq, the first person to ever respond to the YouTube chat. So, yeah, you, YouTube people hold me down, man. I, 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 I'm one of you guys. <laughs> they don't show you guys that you I love. I'm show you guys love today. It's like the good cop, bad cop. Sadiq's for me and Jens. We're going, it's back and forth, bro. It's I love, well, this. So, this, like, we'll watch Anderson. So, didn't you just make a jump? What'd you I do? Did How do we yeah. give that shout out to you on you're on the tube? Yeah, I'm over on YouTube now, baby. Just ended up making the jump. Um, you know, just uh had uh made some decisions. Figured that was the best move for me. Well, how Based does how did those on the UFC YouTube? How do they how do they find you over there? Uh yeah, if, yeah, I think I think Snooze already got it actually. He's on top of the game, man. He used to do exclamation point this. It's they got the YouTube. Ask, 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 ask me, ask me, ask me. I love it. I love it. Let's ask I'm getting it. I'm getting ready. How do we how do we find you, brother? How do we find yeah. you? Don't don't worry, I'll happily answer. <laughs> Look up super super Sadiq Yusuf. And uh-huh. whichever one looks like me, sub to that guy. All there right. You go. There you man, go. That YouTube, YouTube grind is, is like, man, it's 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 a lot harder than I thought. Like, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but like, um, I, I had a couple of herniated discs in my back in November. So I was doing nothing, you know, but my coach told me to start making content and, um, start doing more stuff like that. So I started getting on the YouTube grind. I think I'm at 8k now, but it's so slow, yo. It's so, Mm -hmm. so people will watch my stuff on Instagram and not click the YouTube. I'm like, man, go to YouTube. From talking to you right now, I'm telling you right now, you stick to it. You keep going. You're, you will, you will grow a channel for sure. Damn, you got a personality for it, hundred percent, brother. Heck yeah, yeah. Keep with it. Yeah, I'm hey, telling you. go show me some love, YouTube um, people. I'm, I'm the first person to listen to y'all comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it, man. And I have I have Jens Pover MMA on YouTube, but I just I haven't done anything. I'm like ah, I'm too busy. I'm over here, and then I've got the Twitch TV Jens Pover, and so I've been running amok on Twitch with the UFC stream and doing all this. And someday I keep telling AK Snoo like, all right, I'm gonna do something on YouTube. You know what I mean? I gotta. I want to collab with some people. Yusuf, Sadiq, Vish. I mean, I want to collab with some people. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and do something let's over do there. But I'm in. Mm-hmm. I'm in 100. percent So now we've got Anders making his way out. But yeah, Man, I, I love. I it. like. I like. I like Eric Anders. But it's always one of those things where I never know how he's gonna look in his fights. You know. Is like sometimes I feel like he's like crazy, crazy good, and then sometimes he just has a hard time showing up. You know, I like I like his southpaw style. With, I like uh, how explosive he is. You know, with Anders. Yeah, I I I, I just love watch because usually it's almost always an entertaining fight with him. Yeah, I, I find that they're usually really fun fights to watch. And I, I, I just having a, a football background. I love the fact that he came from Alabama and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go try cage fighting. I'm like, let's go, dude. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Right? right? Uh-huh. I always said I could fight, and so it's like, yeah, let's give it a whirl. You know, and that was one of the things. Oh, I got this. Is it me for last fight defeated um, Dawkins? Oh, he Dawkins by second round uh, knockout. One of ten active UFC fighters to 
play college football. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, tied third most um, knockdowns among active UFC middleweights and second highest takedown defense among active UFC middleweights. Well, of course, they had to be all like small and yeah, not even yeah I, I'm, I'm having a ball right now at these YouTube comments. They're having a <laughs> they're having a celebration that they've Let's finally go. been acknowledged. Let's go! <laughs> and, so Get I, don't him know, a bill I don't know how long you guys have been ignoring them for. <laughs> they, have to, they have to come over here. It's the only way I can see them. Oh, you're making me feel bad. All right, oh. look, YouTube, I love you. I I I love you, but you got to come to this one. That's, you gotta somebody, come to this somebody one. Somebody said we broke ground today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, let's go, dude. Oh, I love it. Hey, YouTube. Go, go sub All right. that, man. Go sub to him, dude. I love it. Oh, I love it. I got it. Awesome, oh, dude. I love it. <laughs> I said this. <laughs> this, 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 this I, dude, already, I'm, 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 we're off to a great start, bro. This is First person to come into the Twitch done. chat and say, hey, I just came over from the, the UFC YouTube, I will just, I will flip. They're like, now nah, we got Sadiq, <laughs> like, run back and forth, yeah, back yeah, and forth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Andre Barrio making his way out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Here we go, baby. Is Eric Anders, Mark, um, is Andre he from the Barriot. lab? He's got the last fight defeated, uh, Jay Marcus, by second round knockout. Um, he's got 10, 10 wins by knockout and former TKO middleweight and light heavyweight champion. Mark Andre Berriolt, ladies and gentlemen. Right? That's the thing. YouTube doesn't have the, you got to get the channel points, right? You got to get the channel points going over here so that you can start betting the channel uh, points to get to that okay, VIP. Okay. Don't worry. You got a couple of traders from your um, Twitch jumping over now, begging people to come to Twitch. Uh, we got Brian, Brian. Oh, yeah, I love Brian it. Let's get involved. From Twitch to YouTube. Ah. Yeah. All right. But hey, what about UFC Fight Pass Facebook? Where are you at? Where are you at, Facebook? And of course, Twitter. At UFC Streams on Twitter. Love and appreciation. I forgot, man. We still get 30 seconds on the predictions. But we do have UFC Fight Pass Facebook. Now, who's going to go over there? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Can, 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 they, can, they, can they leave comments? I'm going to go recruit the Facebook people. <laughs> hey, come, let's see. Let's see. I need two over there. Oh, I, I appreciate the love from Nigeria, by the way. I see a lot of people in the comments saying they're sending love from Nigeria. Oh. So I, I appreciate it. Very cool. Dino wow. Turok. <laughs> Very old. So now, does he, like, I wouldn't want to be the one to break the streak today, right? Yeah, right. I, I, I honestly thought I Miranda, Miranda was going to get it done, but they're, they're on fire. That would be the one thing. Wait, that'll be the one thing is, um, what, yeah, wait, huh? Ref? What? How tall is the ref? Hold on. I don't even see it. <laughs> so we got a who? Let's figure it out. Oh, all right. All right. I love what that this is here. I played against him in so many, in so many titles. So dope. I haven't seen. Oh, haven't been in a while. Oh, hey. yeah. No, this is this is my yeah man. It's my hey, partner. Concentrated mind. What's up, baby? Let's do it. Love it. Who do I have between the Schmo and Ariel Awani? Is that a real <laughs> fight? <laughs> is that is that a real fight? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Sadiq. Hey, 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 I, hey, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> that yeah. That's a real fight. That's hilarious. No, let's go. Let's <laughs> that, go. That is hilarious. I never seen the small fight, but I do know Helwani boxing. What if they and, did DR boxing? Helwani just he just finished somebody with a left hook today. Huh? Earlier, earlier, earlier in the night, he won. Yep. He won by yep, left you hook. You nailed it. You nailed he, it. He fought Ari Quinn Long from China. <laughs> That's yep. for, for Hasa Hobby's little brother. They were boxing? Yeah. So he fought a guy from China called Harry, um, Ari Quinn Long. I think it was like the third fight on the card. Oh, yes, Lord, yeah. Arici Long. <laughs> All right, get out of here. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, I was waiting okay, for it. Okay. No, I was waiting for it. You can see the gears and Jess' head. The gears head, were like, turning. Kind of, yeah. Wait, wait, I'm like, what? what? <laughs> okay. All right. Arici like, oh, Long. Yeah, God, yeah. Dude. You're like, man, Aaron, oh, let's go. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. We got Anders, Barry Alt, middle of the octagon, circling. Righty and lefty, righty and lefty. 
Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. So now I've got the we've got the translator over there for the YouTube for the YouTube comments. I'm getting uh, dang it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I get in there, but look at that. I do like the big kid. Big oh, kid oh, right hand by Barry O drops. Nice. Yeah, drops Barrio Sanders. Drop him off a right. Wow. Leg kick or body kick followed up by a right hand. He's trying to get past his guard right now. Now he's going to get up yeah, on all fours and try to stand up. Bombs. Wow, there's something, there's something in the air in Canada tonight, man. I'm telling there you. Is, there is. You're right. The pressure. Now he's got – I like that, though. Underhook, got the head in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Barrio's got him pushed up against the fence. Start ripping that right hand if you can, but you got Anders doing what he can. Hold on. It looks like he's got his bearings back, I would say, you too. Yeah, yeah. He does. He does. Got a good underhook. Yeah, I think it was just got one of those backlash. splash knockdowns. Maybe, maybe his feet wasn't under him correctly. Right. We'll see definitely better on the definitely a solid shot. Anders putting him up against the cage. Oh, very good, good right hand. Ooh, good good number one. Number one. Two of them. That's the one thing. Anders, he's trying nice. to punch his way into Anders a single. Get a leg. Takedown now, though. Is he gonna yeah, let's say got denied oh. quick? Oh, that elbow is still there. Oh, yeah, there yeah, you right. he's, he's trying it, he's trying it too. Look at these two holding on to the back of the head and throwing elbows against each other. I don't know if I don't know if Anders fighting. has got all his wits oh, about man. him. Anders, yeah, I I think he's so little shaken up in the head because he's not uh -huh. defending correctly. Oh, oh, big knee right oh, there. Nice, Anders, well, well, nice well, knee. Nice. All right, I take it back. He might think now. Might now, be. do you think Barrio um was breathing at all through any of those combinations? Burn um, himself out a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at this. He's grabbing the back yeah, of the now head. Now Anders going back to the elbows. Nice. Rock and sock him. Oh, I love it. Look at their boys. Nah, keep your chin down, Eric. Keep chin down. Keep your chin down. Oh, Barry Alt. Two shots Man, didn't miss shots by too. Barry Alt at the end. I like that. Big one, too. I, I'm very nice. Yeah, oh, now brawl. give him a breather for a minute. Yeah, hey. uh, oh, that was, was a another brawl, good. man. Did he run into a right hand when he tried to throw that yeah, lead uppercut of Anders? Yeah, he ran into a right hand. All right, now they're just now the jab hands chat. The jab hands are just kind of pawn, pawn. Hey, to be honest, I wouldn't be mad if Eric stayed on him right here. You know, oy, oy. that was a lot of energy. That was a lot of energy. If he can keep up this pace right there, look at that head, yeah, on the head. That, big right hand, plumb that head, fire the knees. Nice job, Anders. If he can do that, yeah. Eric just got to keep his chin down a little bit, man. Now I'm all nervous to talk. Dude, I can't unhear the YouTuber so telling well me to be quiet. Forth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't pay attention. To I know. Man. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't worry. I think we won them over by acknowledging their, their comments. I got uh -huh. it. I got it. Pummel his way in. Going to try to drop down. See, I don't know why Anders wants that takedown. Control this position right here. Get heavy on the back of that head. Throw those left hands. Oi. Uh, oh. Yeah, maybe Barrio might have... Um, might have emptied out the tank. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost like a coin flip in some of these exchanges, though. Like, yeah. just like each yeah, guy's getting good very, shots in. It's very scary. Uh huh. There you go. Wait, I control like, that I hip, like, throw the knees. I like the fact that Eric is still making them work, you know, because yes. you want to, you want his I output. Like, we're talking about with the video games, you don't want that, that bar to come back up, you know? Yeah. 100%. You yeah. Barrio just had a nice knee right there. But look, I like how they're pulling inside here, fighting for that head position, throwing knees, and then with the free arm, throwing an elbow. Oh. Oi. Ran into the jab of Barrio. Dude, Anders is so durable, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's just eating on me like it's nothing. He's durable and he looks more composed, you know? Like, True. even with all the True. action that's going on, like, he's not over breathing. Like, he's not, he doesn't look as tight as Barrio does. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was, that was good close. Knee. That was oh, a very close one. Trying to, hit, trying to hit that tackle right here. A big knee by Barrio, but it looked like it dropped him, but it was Anders trying to drop yeah, down for a, a, for a takedown ish, but it looked, it looked like he caught him bro. pretty clean with it. Body lock now. Maybe trip him. Maybe trip him. Pulls him yeah. back. Ooh. Ooh. Might end the up on the bottom. For Barrio. Wow, what a hectic pace. Uh-huh. They haven't slowed down yet. This has been impressive with all that pummeling and dirty boxing inside. Yep. I like he's got it. The who's got the better gas tank is the question. Yeah. We'll find out. Oh, who's going to recover better in between uh -huh. rounds, you know? Oh, Anders, Anders over that, that jump knee. Get wild with it. Nice. How do you, I mean, I'll be honest. How do you even score that? As uh, you know what? Very old. Like I don't. Uh, I want. I. 
It's gonna. Oh. They hate when they say this, but I want to say Anders because he was moving forward. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. But it's not the like, it's not like he, pisses people yeah, off, doesn't it? it but he was forward pushing. But it's I'm not like he was you. just moving forward. He was moving forward and. and I'm working. with you. If when it's even, whoever was moving forward being the aggressor. Yeah. Ish, right. <laughs> they hate that on on, on MMA Twitter. Oh, they can't. They can't <laughs> stand it on a lot. A lot of people they can't stand it. But again, <laughs> salesmanship. How you uh, sell it, you know, and that's the one true. thing. He looked like uh, he did a good job of recovering. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, it looked like he just had his eyes closed and he was off balance, you know. So I don't think uh, he wasn't that hurt from the punch. Can we tie? I wish pattern poppy, but that's why the the ten point someone's you. Well, you can do a nine nine if yeah, no one got a penalty taken away. If if this was boxing, they would give it to Barrio, you know, just because he knocked him down, you know. But hey. <laughs> it's not boxing. <laughs> that is true. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. All right. <clears throat> Find myself holding my breath. Like I feel like anything can happen at any moment with these two. Well, that right leg that the burial through, and then Anders trying to see Anders is trying to pressure forward a little bit and slide underneath that jab. Oh. Mm, oh see, get underneath that jab. He wants that takedown. Yeah, he does too. He yeah, for for forward. a guy that started MMA relatively late, Eric like he grapples a lot. Like he goes for takedowns a lot. Yeah, likes well, that I clinch. Mean, a lot of football stuff is like like you know, there's some different grappling things that you learn in yeah, football. Yeah, so, I guess that's you true. know, him but pushing him back. Like it, it, I was kind of thinking, he's fighting exactly like a football player, bro. He's about to push him up against a cage or wall. Like, he's, <laughs> he's yeah. of, like, <laughs> oh, what, what happened that? here? Uh... If, I, if I'm if I'm Eric, I'm not gonna take it. I feel like he um it was like a kick to the balls, but I oh, feel like he balls? he's doing better cardio wise than than Barrio. Mm. Uh, oh, he's uh, kicked the ball on his thigh. Well, well, here's the thing: Eric Anders is known for having his balls on his right thigh, so it might be one. Of those you know what, like. <laughs> You never know, huh? You yeah, never know. Yeah. yeah. It's still it's still in the area. It could move it. It could move it a hey, little bit. Hey, it's like we were saying before. If the rules say I get five minutes, I get five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day where UFC fighter decides to take a seat and just relax for the full five minutes and ignore the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna I'm gonna take my full five, forget what y'all talking about. And he's gonna lose just fans. Crosses instantly. his legs, just chilling. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> chilling. How, how to lose fans one on one? He just starts funneling like some energy, like he's in Dragon Ball Z <laughs> back there or something. All right, here we go. Here we go. Pressuring, pressuring. Andrew's still pressing forward. Yeah, yeah, being the aggressor. Nice. Both guys look fresh now. It's like the fight just started again. Righty versus lefty. Oh, nice. he, he leaned into that right off. hand of Burial. Yeah. Burial should start going for that body kick again with the combination, like the body kick oh. and right hand combo. Get a couple strikes. Yes, Good there body we go. Kick body kick, right yep, hand. Like it, it worked pretty well both times he threw it. Oh, that's actually what he dropped him with too. Yeah, he dropped yeah. him with that right at the beginning. Because Eric right leans, hand. he leans so often. It's like mm -hmm. if you body kick him, he's gonna come right back up for the right hand, or you get lucky and he leans into your body kick. Uh huh. I like look at that. He's trying to push in, and then nice. he gets a little misdirected right there, trying to go for the takedown. But Andrews trying to throw a big one too close, a lot of distance, got him pushed up against the fence. But then he's not, he's not really, see, he wants the single, he's got the single leg this time. Oh, nice. he got it. He nice. got he it. He got the takedown nice. finally. See what he does with it. Now we'll have to see what you do, because Barrio's going to do a good job of trying to turn into him. He's got the he head. Man. He's got the cradle. Out. He's got nice. a cradle heading. This is old, old school wrestling. Yes, <laughs> how, often, how often do you see cradles in, in MMA? I know. Now he's got to push on the fence. He's going to try to trip back the other way. I don't think he knows what to do with this. At this point, he's got a. He's gonna have a good controlling position right here. He's gonna get, get him back down. Oh, he gets nope. out of it. Yeah, I guess that's ready. that's one of those weird positions where I get you're kind of in control, but in yeah. MMA, 
I don't know how much you could do with a cradle, you know? Right, right. <laughs> it's only Maybe good if you knees. can flatten him out and then let Maybe go of the leg and side control, but, but he did a good job of uh, going up against yeah. the fence and popping yeah, his yeah. head up. Back, backwards. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Are we back on this replay? Oh, I, oh, I think it's the other way around. Oh, wait, it's Ainda's again. Man, if this is thigh again, that would be hilarious. No, oh, okay, okay, oh, yeah, that, that, was that was real. That was real. I was hoping it would have been a thigh. Oh, yeah. so that was literally yeah, right was down the pipe, bro. Yeah, that was real. That was real. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been hilarious if it was a thigh, though. I was hoping it was gonna be the thigh again. All right, so we got more time. Yeah, at some point, right? The, I even accidental gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take yeah. it. I'm gonna have to take yeah. it. You know, I think it's probably almost on like the third when it comes to a. I told you to control your weapons. Below the the belt shot, right? I don't yeah. know. What do you guys think? Usually, I bet I'd, I'd say probably it, on it the depends. third is when I, I look at it. I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't be mad Eric sometimes if they been do it off the first twice one, twice especially just like a eye, if it's an eye poke. Uh -huh. Like, I think an eye poke should be automatic deduction every time because that affects the rest of the fight, no matter what, what's going right. on. Right, right. Like, the cup shot, maybe if it's not that bad, but... Mm -hmm. They're going to do it. He's he's discussing it. Is he going to do it? Thinking maybe it. not. He's giving it a once-over. There he goes. He was okay. in movement. Yeah, yeah. It's a warning. Let's get focused. He's giving him a safety. <laughs> He's giving him yeah. a safety. All right. Yeah. I'm liking it. You know, I, I, I think for, like, the nut shot, that makes sense. 100%. Oh. Thank you on a third one, though. Even, like, if it's accidentally, you got to take it at that point. Yeah, yeah. Now he's got to figure out how to push this. There's that up kick. The kick to the midsection for Barry O. Oi, oi. Anders. Good shots. Jumping in again. He just gets denied on that thing. Yeah, I, I think er Eric is oh. winning this round, though. I don't know how much he wants. I almost think he maybe th but knows he's not going to get it. Yeah, he's and he's just using it to create yeah, some action. He's just getting in to, like, close distance almost. Or see how easily he can get it. If it's not there, he's not really going to fight right. for it. Right. But we shall see. Look at that. The slap hand, slap hand, slap hand, push forward. Now this sucks because in, in these clinches, Barrio is like scared of the knee. He back, won't throw you know? a knee because he's yeah. got a dangling <laughs> foot every time. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Try to push, push, push. Look, he's kind of just sitting back there, slapping, slapping butt. We have to see what. Oi! Oh, you feel it 100%. Yeah. Set son. Set sonna. Yeah. I almost lost my right nut. So I definitely <laughs> felt. I, I, I had to get a morphine shot because my ball he was did it again. That, that was that body that body kick followed up by the right hand and it almost landed again. See, Wait, I like that on. when you, he you, throws you that. Missed, you missed what Jens just said. <laughs> yeah, you right. know, he almost lost one, bro. Yeah, what did you say? You got an injection in your balls? I had, they had to give me a morphine <laughs> shot. No, they had to give me a morphine shot and send me back home to the hospital. Oh, and it, the morphine was just in case it blew up on the way home because it got ruptured. It was getting, it was Jeez. swelling. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, Jeez. dude. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it luckily enough, I've, I've avoided all of those kinds yeah. of things. Uh, <laughs> knock, knock on wood. His first kick <laughs> moved my cup, which got it made the, the nugget kind of roll off to the side. And I'm like, I'm good, I'm oh, good, let's no. go, let's go. That, then he fired the second one straight up the middle, oh. all shin. The 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 big toe hit my hit me in the back, hit me in the yeah. It just boop and it and it smashed. Oh, it. Did oh. You, did you keep fighting? Oh me, I threw up. Can when once you puke, there's no can do. Then oh. I had to get put on a stretcher, and then they dropped the stretcher, and they oh put me in goodness. the back, and they've got all these people who are holding on to these my nuggets and passing them around and all this. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Oh, How you doing? <laughs> my name is Jens. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Whoa, y'all just yeah, yeah. I was like, slow down, slow down. They thought, yeah, they, it was going to blow up. 
and it was swelling. So like, I, I, but because I wanted to go home and I didn't want to stay there, they're like, oh, all right. No. So they hit me with this morphine and I don't remember nothing. I had a doctor's note on my chest and all I could do was point at it. I had no idea what I was doing. I don't remember yeah, nothing you, for two days. You're, you're a brave man. I'm not leaving the hospital in that situ situation. I wanted to go home. I was in Singapore. I'm like, I want to go home. You oh, know, okay. You, you, so left, you left that part out. Home. <laughs> you left that part out. I'm thinking yeah. you're in like New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got kicked. They got, I got kicked so bad I wanted to go home. That was it. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like, if it's going to blow up, I'm just going to blow up at home. I'm going yeah. home. <laughs> oh, big one, two for Anders. Oh, they were passing around and looking That's at it, good. and I had a steel cup, and it just, yeah, because the first one moved it. You can watch me try to adjust it. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good, and this kid fired it straight up the pipe <laughs> and didn't even try to hide it, just... <laughs> And I so, so, so on my whole said, hip. Someone on YouTube said, "Bro, that's a horrible story." I know, right? My whole hip caught on fire. It felt like it made my sciatic nerve burn. That's how crazy that was. My whole hip caught on fire. I never felt nothing like that ever. It was the craziest thing in the world. Oh, trying to oh, guillotine. That's a, all right. He's okay, trying to get a guillotine on Eric. Trying to take him down. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys think so far? I, uh, personally, I've been thinking Anders. I, yeah, I thought I mean, Anders is doing a good job around. of doing this right here, right? Controlling him yeah. up against the fence. I, I would say he's up two rounds, if not That's one. That's what round. I thought, too. I could see maybe Burial having the first. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I was judging, it would be two, though. But don't listen to me. They they killed me on Twitter when they, when I um I had um Kaya France winning last week. I mean, losing last week. Uh huh. I, I actually, I actually thought, um, what's his name, Amir? I thought, uh -huh. uh, I thought Albazi won the fight. You know, I, I put that on Twitter. They, they went off. <laughs> oh, you made a move. Hey. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they went the man, crazy. Dude. I think it rolled down. I think it rolled down to ring generalship again. I was like, yeah, I, yeah. He, there it is again. That body, dude. He, that that body kick. And that's the one yeah, thing for Bo Body, body right hand. Yep. It's, Eric has a real bad habit of leaning yep. over that way. So it's like there's a lot of things going on uh -huh. for that move to work. Either you're gonna get kicked in the head by accident, or he's gonna stand you back up and then you run into the right hand. Right. The one thing about Anders, he's doing a good job of cutting him off, staying in front of him. Driving forward, and then see, there, there it, is. it is again that big right to leg to he the midsection it. and the right hand by Barrio. Yeah. And that's the one thing is Anders is kind of sitting back and letting um, Mark yeah, land his couple Anders, of shots. He's slowed down here the last like minute or so. Yeah, he has. He has. He's a. Oh, yeah. And Mark's kind of picking it up. At least he's getting his, he's moving side to side a little better. Look at that. He's, he's bouncing up on his wheels, doing a good job, throwing that teep kick up the middle. Anders is kind of lumbering. Yeah. Wow. You yeah, know what I just realized right now? What's up? Eric, oh. Eric Anders is like a black Chris Weidman. You don't see it? Well, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. you, don't, oh, you, don't, no. you don't see Chris Weidman? All right, hold on. Let him turn around again. I just realized that right now. Eric Anders is like a black Chris Weidman. That's Chris Weidman. Unless I'm just off. Is that not Chris Weidman? I don't know. I don't know. You guys don't see Chris Weidman. I wasn't, but now you start now I'm maybe, starting to look for maybe, it. I, I don't know if it's like I'm getting gaslit and it's like I've seen it more each time you say yeah, it. Yeah, like, look, that's, that's what not, I'm saying. Especially from the left side, is that's a black Chris Whiteman. I'm bit I'm busy watching Anders try to figure out how he's gonna close the distance and Barrio's <laughs> up on his movement doing a good job landing that right hand. And I'm I'm like, yeah. There is Boy. like actually a little bit of resemblance, bro. <laughs> It's not a little bit. Watch it. And when this is over, I'm going to put a Photoshop next to them, right next to each other. And you're going to see like, oh, wait, yeah, that's a black Chris. Boom, Weidman. there's a jab. Good job for Barry OGG. We, we oh. should probably comment on the fight, though. Yeah, yes. <laughs> hey, man. Oi. Oh, oh that, hurt. that hurt him. That hurt him. Mark, push, push. There's a minute left. Keep pushing forward, Mark. Oi. Anders oh, doesn't wow. have enough left. Yeah, oh, yeah, nope. yeah. Then he fires the one, two, True. right when I say that. But that oh, kick to the midsection by Barrio. Body with the right. Popped him again. Bro, he needs to keep, he keeps on him. He needs to keep on him for these 30 seconds. Hey, shout out to Barrio for holding it down for the Orthodox guys, man. You know, we're usually the ones on the receiving end of that kick when it's Orthodox versus softball. Uh -huh. But Barrio is, is really getting it done. Work on that jab. They're coming forward. Let's go, Anders. Hey, one, two. 
Thank you, YouTube. My, 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 my fellow YouTubers see it. There okay. we go. There's, yes, <laughs> done it. There's a black Chris White. Oi, oi. Thank you. I know I'm not crazy. Boom. High kick for Anders at the end there. Oh, look at these two. Overall. Nice. There it is, dude. I could see this being a controversial split decision. decision. Split. It, it, I wouldn't be mad to at go either draw. way. I wouldn't yeah, be mad at I could draw, see it go so. either way here. One takedown for Anders with 86 total strikes. It, 67 significant. To 111 total strikes for uh, Mark Andre Barrio. 102 significant. Yeah, it depends on how big they think that um that drop in the first round was. I really, I think that's the only thing that will matter in this fight is if they think him getting dropped in that first round was big enough for him to lose the round. But I feel like it should be Eric Anders to the one. But I wouldn't be mad. This is one of those where no matter who wins, you shouldn't be mad at. at it's a score. good fight. They both put a, a good effort. A good yeah. effort. Can't complain. Good fight to start off the card. Chris, your boy, white man. <laughs> boy. Chris, your boy, white man. Oh, man. Now, now I must oh. take that to Twitter. <laughs> Who got hit in the sack? We had a couple of sack shots. Then that would have changed it up. Twice. If we taken some points away on that. Oh, yeah. If that take, then he gets this fight for sure. But I, I, I think split decision here. I could see it go either way. All, all three. What? All three scored 30-27. What? Oh no. Okay, okay. All right. Now I'm at now I'm upset because it shouldn't be a unanimous decision. Nah, hey, yeah. All yeah. Right. Not, oh, now dude. now I feel oh, no. cheated. Look at Cam like, saying, yes, we yeah, got yeah. five Surprise, in a row 30, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. That's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Cause <laughs> I, Eric Anders definitely won that second round, you know. All right, I like it. Yeah. The judges, wow. though, I mean, I like it. I like it. Chat, I, you know what's next, though? Oh, Ige and Nate the Train. Nate, Nate the, train. the Train. Get the. That's a lot of 30 20. So I can see some 29 28s, maybe, but all 30 27. At least they all were in a, at least they all agreed. Yeah, yeah. They were you all also I mean? Canadian. They forgot to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good fight, though. Not bad. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great fight. And, and in fairness, when I met um, Mark, he was a very good dude. So. You can't be mad at it. And then, like I said, it just... he def Definitely the way he picked it up, Andre, did in the third round, he, he picked it up, was moving more, bouncing on his feet a little better, doing a good job. And then, of course, with with Anders was... I Well, well not bad, not bad. Exceller, um, I don't play Fortnite. To be honest, the only game I play now is Magic the Gathering. It always catches hey, you let's off go. guard. Let's but go, Matt, dude. Yeah, Matt, Matt, as the gathering, I play on arena a lot, and I play paper with my friends. I and I was playing Warzone for a while, but I took I took like I took a break from Warzone. I, I've been I'm Warzone free for about five months. I was a Warzone addict. <laughs> He's Warzone. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Who is that? Whoa, John that's John Alessio. Couldn't even tell. No way. All right, Charles Jordan. Hey, Alessio, I haven't seen that name in a minute. Shevchenko, not there Shevchenko. as well. Shevchenko. Hey, Jens, have you ever, where is like the biggest place where you fought where you felt like the crowd was really behind you? Behind me? Yeah. Ooh. Ah, man. Tokyo Dome was so quiet, but. They were just going ham. So that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I liked the Tokyo Dome. It was a lot of fun. And even if they weren't behind me, they were cheering, so it sounded cool. You know what I'm <laughs> I like yeah. that. That was a lot. There was a lot of people in the Tokyo Dome. It was massive. Um, I don't know. That, yeah, I don't... I mean, 
Mandalay Bay, big, real big. This is going to be a good fight right here. You know, Taj Mahal, yeah. Mandalay Bay is real big, so. And then, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. They all seem to like they all seem to cheer for a little bit and then yeah. you know, I disappoint <laughs> them or something and then they're not cheering anymore. But, you know, the what the, the New Year's Eve show in, in the Tokyo Dome was massive. That thing was crazy. In Pride, yeah, that was Pride. that was something. That was big. I still remember hanging from the scaffold. I was scared to death. I'm afraid of heights. And I'm up there and I wouldn't let go of it. I wouldn't let go of it. I'm looking at Hendo and we're la everybody laughing at me. I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to wave. I'm afraid of heights. I'm way, I'm all the way up the top. I was scared to death. But I have an unhealthy relationship with Warzone. Whiskey wheel. <laughs> Whiskey uh -huh. wheel. Hey, I there's no no Magic the Gathering slander on the in the chat, please. This uh, Magic Gathering is, is for anti enthusiasts. If, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I won't explain. <laughs> but. but <laughs> I'll wait and see. All right, so then we must have a little downtime with. Uh, I never got into Magic, but hey, I grew up on Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. That was my yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So Magic is basically just like an adult version of Yu-Gi-Oh. You hey, know, because that's is, that was like the natural transition. Uh -huh. I was big into Yu-Gi-Oh when we was younger. I used to right. play the card game, and then I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh online Yo3, and yep. then Konami yep. shut down the whole the whole mm -hmm. thing and just took everybody's money, man. Konami's pretty trash when it comes to um uh -huh. like fan interaction. You said who do I have between Emmett and and Josh? Man, I don't know. That's a good fight. I feel like both of them kind of fight in a similar fashion, whereas a lot of knockout power and two short, stocky guys throwing hooks at each other. I want to lean towards Emmett though. I don't know why. What you guys seen in this one? I see e Jeebus Creased with the, he got 24,000 on E-Gay. What do we got over here? Yeah. Peculiar Stang's got 23,000 on Landwehr. I got to go with Landwehr because Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. <laughs> yeah, no, no, um, no biases. <laughs> no, I don't have a choice. I got I'm going Sucker Punch. I, 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 gotta do it. I love E-Gay, but Sucker yeah. Punch. Sucker Punch. Yeah. Oh, man. Night the train. Night the train. Oh, he cracks me up. And hopefully if I, and then, oh. I want to interview either one of them at the at, at, on Monday. Either I one. I do like Ige though. I do like Ige. Yeah, he got some heavy guy. hands. Good guy. Both coming off wins. Seventy-one inch. That, that right hand that he finished. Um, God, what was the guy's name? The guy was on like a pretty good streak for a while. I want to say Austin Lingo, but I feel like that's the wrong name. But he caught straight right hand. The guy threw, was throwing like a calf kick or something, and he just stopped him. It was like the first punch of the fight. Oh, like, hey, that, what? Was, yeah, was it his last fight? Who was that that he just fought? And they did. No, yeah. no, not not Demon Jackson. It was the... no, that was a hook on okay. Demon Jackson. The the guy was like it was a big name coming up, and he caught him first punch. I think he just caught him with a straight cross and 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 finished him. See, I'm waiting for chat. I'm waiting for chat to type it. All right, let's see if YouTube could beat beat the the Twitch. YouTube folks. chat cannot better not beat Twitch chat. Who is it? <laughs> who, who was it who that you talking about Twitch chat? Frogs? He had a lot of hype coming up, and then and then Ige Ige stopped him. Ige stopped him. Had a lot of had a lot. Of, it wasn't Hamzat. Dang it, Smoke stopped you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, YouTube's over there talking amongst themselves. They they're huddling. Patty the bad no, Brett. See, this, we got jokes. <laughs> 50K Ige coming in with the W. But who was it that he flattened that, that had a... Gavin had a Tucker. Sticker? Thank you, YouTube. Well, shout out to the YouTube guys, man. Shout out to John, John Gig. The YouTube holding it down. It was Gavin mm -hmm. Tucker. Twitch chat. Twitch <laughs> chat. I call upon you every day. Twitch <laughs> chat. <laughs> See, oh, see, see now, now the next time you guys got to go look at the YouTube comments and get the Twitch people online. They've been spoiled. Can you believe that? Look, you got Sadiq <laughs> saying that. Y'all need to go look at the. Uh, dude, I like on, it, dude. Ch chat, you cannot. Hey, we cannot allow that. We're we, we're gonna have we're gonna have wars between the Twitch chat and the, and the YouTube. Bro. My man says the, the, you guys the, hey, gotta I go like there and start idea. reading the YouTube Twitch chat to chat get your answers. Come YouTube. on, Twitch, Who stop will that. Win? Yeah, Twitch, Twitch been win. spoiled too long. You guys been showing them too much love. That's why they're making jokes instead of answering the, <laughs> answering the questions. <laughs> That's why they're making jokes instead of answering the questions. Oh, come on. Oh, my expectations of Twitch chat. Now, 
Man, I I love my Twitch chat. Come on, Twitch chat. I I got you back. I got you back, man. Here we go. Take the train. All yeah, right, he's, train's he's making his way. Train's walk, making dude. his way. What? Three fight win streak, fourth highest strike defense in UFC featherweight history with 86.4%, fifth highest significant strike rate in UFC featherweight history. What is that? 6.47 per minute. God, Nate the train. Let's go. Twitch chat versus YouTube chat five rounder. Man. We got to figure something out. We well, well, you head know head. what's funny though, but UFC fight pass Facebook is going, what about us? What about us? <laughs> I need to grab my other phone and open up Can the we, Facebook. Yeah, and see what's I, going I, on. Someone's going to have to get over there. <laughs> I don't have enough space on. I need a fourth monitor and I could, and I'd have it. But, um, but we'll see. Let, let's see. Let's see. Let me see what's going on with the. I'll be back, YouTube. I'll he be looked. Back. Oh, he went and looked. Get up. Get up. Odessa. What up, Odessa? How you do? How you do? Look at. I like it. Look at. I like those hands. I like his hand. For, he keeps those hands. But Ige, man, I like that Ige. But he just dad. The thing about Nate the Chain, man, he just don't get tired. That boy likes to fight. He likes to. Fight. You know what I mean? Johnny Blake, hire you for what? Huh? Wait, what? You in chat. What do you mean? Hire me too. What? You know what I'm saying? Ige tougher than nails. Yes, Ige is very tough. Very tough. Sadiq abandoned YouTube for Facebook. They had no, no. Faith hey, in I'm, I'll, I'll be right back. I, I, was said, trying, I was trying to find it. He I was, called I, the BRB. Right he called the BRB. <laughs> right well, UFC YouTube, fight I'm, I'm pass on, on my Facebook. way back because I can't even find the Facebook link. So I'm, I'm on my way back to YouTube. UFC fight pass. This is being quiet. I know. No, 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 no. He's thinking. He's thinking. What? Well, well, hold up. Did I miss out here? Oh, my, I'm no, sorry. you're golden. Ige, Ige by first round. Okay. What? Whiskey? What? All right. All right. We shall see. We shall see. This is going to be something right here. All right. All right. I'm back. I'm back, YouTube. I'm back, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Dan Ige coming in. Last fight defeated D. Jackson by second round knockout. Sixth fastest knockout with at 22 seconds. Ninth fastest sub at a minute 17 in UFC featherweight featherweight history and uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt as well. And he's got the sixth fastest and the ninth fastest. Yeah, I feel like that sixth fastest might have been that Gavin Tucker fight. Mm -hmm. We got to figure it out. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, on to you, the man, on. baby. Oh. Wait, who was in the red corner? Ige is in the red corner, right? And yeah, Nate the Train's over there. I see the blue prime bottles. I don't know. By I think Nate. I guess I'll know. Ige in yeah, the red. Yeah. I see red prime bottles by Ige. Mm -hmm. Oh, red tape on the gloves. That was just my way of saying prime bottles. But tell him, yeah. <laughs> Ige oh, in the red. Ige in the red. Somebody in the YouTube asked, what's your favorite UFC pay-per-view event? That's a that's a 20 seconds question. left, chat. 20 seconds left on, on the tough, bro. There's so many good ones. Yeah, <laughs> on yeah. Bench. I can't I can't think of a, a full card. Like I can think of individual fights, but not a full card, you know. 31 years old. Nate the train he's 35. But man, Ige's been around for a minute. He's only 31. Oh man! All I right. feel like we see Ige so much. You That's know? my That's point, right? He's just he's a he's an he's a veteran exactly. of the game. This is gonna be something. This first yeah, minute. this is gonna be a battle. It's gonna be a battle here. Red corner is four and two tonight. Oh, is that really Boru the Great? Oh shoot! All right. I I I I'll be honest. I'll be very surprised if Nate could beat Ige. I'll be very, very surprised. All right. All right. It's going to be a giant chain. Sure, Zim's got 60,000 channel points on Ige. Who got the 55? Peculiar Stain dropping 55,000 channel points on Landwehr. I'm just trying to make sure I don't mess up the fight clock.
Dan 50k gay. Oh, oh, he's officially changed his nickname. I always thought he was still dynamite. Mm-hmm. Or did I just make that up? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That up. I always thought his name was <laughs> Dan Dynamite Eagle. Or Dynamite Dan. Yo, all right. I like that UFC shirt, whoever that guy's wearing there behind Eagle. That's nice. Oh, dang, right oh, out there. I wasn't oh, ready. The, somebody said the first Izzy versus Pereira car was great. That is true. I saw that one live. I won't say it's my favorite, but it was definitely up there. All right, moving it. Movement. Look at this. Oh, look at them both. The one thing I like, look at their hands are both up right there trying to figure out who's going to come in and throw that big... Look at these two. Ego now, the, the thing is, um, Nate does like to, like, get the action pumping, but I feel like because of um Ige's power, he might not take that risk. Look, I like how he's just holding on to that visor at all times, keeping them hands up. Right, right. Both of them got that bounce going. They know they just one shot. Ige tried to close it up. One thing that Ige does do that he will run forward with combinations. Uh-huh. And that's got him in trouble in the past. You know, people keeping jabs and straight punches in front of his face. Well, I like how he just kind of fired that 2 1 right there. And it was, you know, Nate was kind of backing up and respecting it a little bit. But Nate's, man. Hey. It's... Try to team kick the body. And then right, that Nate, jab. Nate, Nate has to find some offense going on here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh. there it was. He tried to roll with that body shot by Ige, and Nate tried to come back with the right hand, counter-ish shot of that. Yeah. I like how he did that. He kind of rolled down with the body shot and came back with the right hand. Ooh, yeah. Ige's yeah, bombing. Ige's, yeah, yeah Ige's Ige. bombing on him. Nate, Nate got to give him something to respect, you know? Yeah, Nate's yeah, sure. just, yeah he's kind of holding his own hands out there, man. Captive. Looks like he's frozen out there. Yeah, Nate's holding his own hands captive, you know. You got to give him something to respect. Put a jab in his face, something. There we go. Nice. Ige fires the jab and Train fires the right hand back at him. He's starting to... They, oh, Ige moved in pressure forward. As I say, right when we started getting Nate to move forward a little bit. It's now it changed again. Now it's Ige moving forward. Uh-huh. Nate got to get his jab working, man. Ooh. Oh, good Ooh, level almost, change, yeah, buddy. He almost right. should, should Nate with the level change on that big shot it. by Ige, flirting with the takedown. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he actually wanted it. It's kind of just more of a give him something to think about, huh? Yeah. Those teep kicks up the middle for the chain. See, and that's the one thing I'm usually used to seeing Nate. Like I said, maybe someone was saying in the second or third round, 100% proud. They, like Nate pushing forward. That's, I'm not used to him sitting back kind of like this. Yeah. But you mm-hmm. see how he's kind of dropped his hands now. Now he looks more comfortable. Yeah. Like he, he moved it down just a little bit more. Now he's out right. of that shell. Before, I feel like he was just overly guarded. 100%. Uh-huh. What do you think happened to Linda? I didn't see he really do anything. Or did Nate's just kind of, he just getting warmed up? No, or? he connected. He connected with a good one too. And okay. that got some respect. So I, I feel like, like now, yeah, he's like, okay, I can let my hands go a little bit more. Oh, there we go again. Had the leg. I think you're right about him not really wanting to yeah, take I don't think out, he, you know? He isn't really committed to it. I think he's just trying to get in his head with it a little bit with it. Because it, yeah. it seemed like if he was going to commit to it, he would have got it on that first one. He timed it so wait, wait. well. Oh, man. Because I'm just sitting here, man. I'm like, someone's going to land a big shot. I just... <laughs> oh, both of them. When they keep reaching in there, throwing these punches, I'm just waiting for someone to connect. See, the few times that Nate has let his hands go with the jab, he's been doing very well, you know? I feel like he that should be his path towards victory, is trying to jab Dan as much as possible. Oh, oy. You don't want to have those hooking exchanges some... with Dan because that's yeah. when you're risking and getting caught with something big. Oy. Just getting out of the way right there. He gets out of the way of those two up kicks of the train. Counter shots. Oh, good high kick for... Oh, I think I think BC said um Nate's game plan was to just sit back and counter. Oh, two big right hands and a knee, but luckily right. he had his hands up. But that was countering right there. That was good letting you know what I mean letting Ige get in and he fired those two hooks and a and a knee. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I like the idea of the snap kick. I just feel like he just needs to hide it a little bit better. 
Uh-huh. Maybe maybe throw it after a right hand. Maybe like after a straight right hand, it might have a better chance of landing. I like that. I like that. We praying for the fences with that right. Hey, sheesh! Almost spun himself around. Ooh, oh, that's, that's, that's yeah, the just nailed him. Oh, I like that. I like that. You saw you saw what Nate did as soon as Ige came to finish. Yeah, he, fired he a big knee. 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 Okay, yeah. Ige lands a that big shot. That makes you think twice. It makes you think twice. Don't come in here crazy. Yeah, uh-huh. don't get in here crazy. You caught me with the shot. I stumbled a little bit, but I'm still, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. Round one, Ige, you say? Ooh, yeah. Could yeah, be, for could sure. be, for sure. I for mean, sure. I don't think 22 to 16. Yeah, it's definitely but round one. generalship, Ige. right? People don't like that. Yeah, generalship. Not, not even just a generalship. I feel like he landed more. Because remember, did, Nate yeah. didn't start fighting until he looked like, like he was in, He looked more in control. Absolutely. Yeah. And, he, he, and he got the... The knockdown at the end, right? So that was crazy. That's right here. Look at that big right hand. Boom. Boom. Big right hand. And I like how Nate just handled it quick. It's like you come at me, look at uh oh, big nice. right, big left hand. Sorry. Big left he hand. Staggered him. him. Stumbled him. And he just jumped up I for love a knee. That. that was yeah, tight. That was a good that's, way. That's, that's, that's being good. locked in right there. You know, you get True. dropped while going down. You're already processing to come up with a flying knee. True. Here we go. Here we go. And he just keeps throwing that kick up the center. Now I'll be curious. Like it, it, it just shows Ige needs to get in there, kind of mix it up. I know he doesn't want to get hit by Nate, but he was able to hit him. You know what I'm saying? When he was trying to throw that in the middle of punching, see Ooh. going inside. That was a good cap kick. By we're getting a lot more active this round already. A lot more active right from the get go. Is that what they're trying to do? Is stay out of the stay out of a scrap with with Landwehr? I mean, it seems like a good idea, right? I mean, Ige is the it seems like the better. Ooh. Yeah, good kick. Vanwer likes it. He yeah, go oh, drop nice. down a single leg. Nice. Ige. Nice. Nate's got, got a single. Got nice. Like, oh no, man. Let it go. What? It was more of a knockoff bounce than a knockdown. Oh, but did you see it the way that he his, staggered his three legs times fucking, and fell? No, that, no, was, his that, was that was a knockdown. Nah, that was a hundred percent knockdown. Yeah, it was definitely was knockdown. <laughs> And then with this side here, now you're just looking at Ige. See, right here, again, these two are just so close. Look at that. Big one, two for Nate. And then Ige tried to counter with the right hand. And it's already out of the way. It's just, man, these two are just, come on. <laughs> Nate trying to step in. Nate I like that. In. He's got a nice clinch. But I like that, right? He fired the right, got it close, plumbed the head through two knees. Ige lets a big right hand go. 2-1 for Ige there. See, I like that. If he gets inside, side to side, get inside. Nice. Nate got to stay off that fence, man. Yeah, yeah. This is a good spot for Ige here. Now, one thing I would note, every time Dan goes southpaw, you know that big left hook is coming. Uh-huh. Underneath, underneath. Nice wrist control. <laughs> Oi. Change it up a little bit with that kick, but nothing there. Nice. Hey. Ooh, That's that did. same right Dropping. hand he caught Gavin with. Oh, Ige throwing that. See, that 2-3. I like that. Ige coming in with that straight two and that left hand. See, that's the problem with Nate. Nate's trying to throw the one two, and it. I like that 2-3 is working. And Nate, Whoa, Nate he had, oh, up oh, man. Left, wow. side, Better, man. left to the liver, left to the head for Ige. Nate Man's trying to, pick- to find a home with those combinations, man. Yeah, that lead hand, right, Sadiq? He's, he's teeing mm-hmm. off that lead, and then he switches his stance here and puts it behind. Nope, now it's back out in front. He just looked like he's been in the control of this fight the whole time. There's Nate's maybe there had like go. seconds in, the, in this entire fight where it seemed like he's he's got something going. I like how Ige doubled it up. He went left to the liver, left to the head, doubled up. Boom, boom. Very but nice. When Nate starts, he looks great. He just, I don't, I don't agree with him trying to counter Dan, you know, uh-huh. yeah. like he, he has to start, start the combination. Being the aggressor first, first right? And that's yeah, kind right. of his deal and catch him with punches three, four and five, but keep the combination going. Cause he so, the one thing he is still doing a good job, Sadiq, is he is getting out of the way. Yes. After. Yes. 
And sometimes too, and I could say as somebody that's still like in there with them, we overthink our game plans, you know, and uh-huh. forget and forget what we so like what you don't need to be a counter fighter. Like you're a you're a pressure guy, you overwhelm yeah. people with numbers, you know. Oh. And I understand you're fighting somebody different and but do do what you yeah. do. You know, shoot yeah, and I, that's, yeah, yeah. it's funny Play you say that because I will go Play ahead. Play to your strengths, baby. No, you keep going, Jens. No, I'm just saying it's funny you say that, Sneak. Sorry, Chad, I got it on my feels, but that's it. Nate is so much more going forward. It's like that's the one thing he does is pressure, 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 and he outworks right. you. And he just goes ham, and that's why they loved him. But in this fight, he's just got so much respect. Either, like you said, the corners are telling him to counter, but Ige is he's throwing his punches, and then he's gone, and it makes the counter puncher look slow because yes, all yep. of a sudden they're not there anymore, and now you look slow. Yeah, you saw what just happened in that exchange with Nate going forward. It's like when you go forward, you land, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like, and of course, there's always the risk you might get knocked out. But hey, I'm gonna do my A game. Oh, right. I play, I-, I mean, play to win, right? Play to win rather than play not to lose. Look at aggravator. What fight are you all watching? Ooh. Look at Ige's face. He's getting beat. No, ah, Nate, Nate is crazy, doing better now. You're crazy. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You're are crazy. you playing with me, wow. aggravator? Aggravator. Now powerful. he's out on his feet. He's holding on to a single wow. leg. Ige is oh, starting to tee around. off. He's, oh, out. he's, he's on he's his hurt. feet. He's Big hurt shot, right here. short time. Short time. Ige winning for a big right hand. Up kicks. Oh, Ige, knee Ige's on the belly. Ige's going to doing the walk one, off. Ige, one Ige second. tried to do a walk off. Ige, Ige wasted about a second oh, and a half trying to man, walk he off. Tried to, man, I don't know if he's going to be able to walk back to his corner. He's yeah. Oh, he's yeah. getting there. Nice. Yeah, nice. aggravator. GG though. GG. Are you what fight are you <laughs> watching? Oh, are G-G. you watching? Nah. Yeah. That was a perfect time to read that. Look that at his face. I did. Man. You see the excitement in his eyes when he damn near knocked him out? <laughs> what? Uh. He's he's having he's 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 teeing off with that second and third shot. You know what I mean? Look at oh, boom. He come back and then here's this hook. Boom. boom. There it is. Every Money. time. That, that 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 tooth look he fires that right and comes back with Money. the left it's been all day we fired the left from the Money. belly left upstairs and Ige has been in control and he's just oh. kind of been doing it meticulously hey, sh- shout out to nate though man that was a zombie oh. get up no yeah. hate on nate man the kid is tougher than nails look at he used his feet he used his feet to block a lot of the damage of what Ige was trying to throw but that's just the problem right here is Ige Wait, just what got his number. going on here it's really the doctor needs to check him because he was out at the end of the round, right? Or no, I, wow. I not, not if you you got rocked. Why is the doctor coming yeah. into the? Hey. Oh no, it's it seems like Ige seems like he's such the fast. He's like such he's so much faster as a fighter. Yes, like, it's got to be so hard to counter strike somebody that's quicker than you. Like he's gonna get in, get out before you're really gonna be able to land those. Well, and that's what me and Sadiq were talking about. It makes you look slow because boom, boom, and then when you try to counter, he's already gone, so it makes you look right. like you're behind, right? But that's yeah. the one thing is Nate's always been a go forward fighter. Like yeah, he's starting he to now. Down this is what he no does. Option, right now, it's like he's got to do it. So exactly, he actually might do really. Exactly. He might do better in this round because of it. He's got no other option to stay back. Yep. And, and like we were saying before, Nate. you you always risk the knockout, of course, but uh-huh. yeah, you shoot your shot, man, you know? Yeah. I just, I don't like how high Nate kind of holds his chin. And Nate landed a couple of good kicks earlier in the fight, you oh. know, but right now it's all hands. We're just boxing. Boom. There nice. he cut oh. this counter shot. Oh, he there caught him. He caught oh. him. Oh, he's rock. He's rock. It's that 2-3, man. It's that, that left hand of Ige's when he keeps it on the front side. He keeps that hand, that right. He comes back with that that two three. Boom! Then he look at that. I like him when he keeps it in the front. Ige is just walking him down here. Think of he. Wow. Trying to oh, there's that lead hook, and it's he's just found a home with he's that lead hook because it's coming out of range, right? And it's coming off to the side. Yeah. And Nate, look when he fires his right hand, he's coming right over the top of it. He beats him to the punch. Every time, but Ige's just been kind of just methodical. This way he just comes in. To be honest, I feel like Nate is still hurt. Like he, is, he, he, he definitely he, is still hurt. Watching him, it, it looks there's multiple times where his balance kind of just doesn't look fully there. That was a great jab by Nate. Boom, boom. See Ige, I mean Landwer coming forward like that. Let's go, Nate. Come on. Now we got to try to figure out right here. See, 
Ige trying to pop that jet, that left hand out there. Now here comes Nate. See, I like that. Plumb the yeah. head. Oh, oh, wait. Where's that jab? Ige's got that left hand. Man. Look at, oh, yeah. oh. Nate was able to fall back and hit him with that right hand right there. He got him with a good that combination. Good that was a good and one. It's not Ige's just his power, too. The way Ige tucks his chin, and then he also has a very durable chin at, at that, but he also ducks his head very well where – he gets cut a lot because he takes punches like directly on the eye, yeah. but it's never really on his chin. Oh, pop net jab. Oh, Ooh, that was close. That, knee by Nate the that was close. Oh, that was. Now he gets, we got him in a body lock. He pushed up against the fence. We'll see if Nate's, Nate's got double underhooks. I like it. Now he's got to figure out. No, hey. All right, push oh, off. Good, good elbow. elbow. Good elbow. Another one. Look at these two. Now they're just pummeling back and forth. Now it's Ige got him pushed up against Fans Landwehr. Switches off. Much Landwehr better. Landwehr again, man. Fires an elbow yes, for Landwehr. Much better, much better round for Nate. Yeah, uh -huh. But you know why? It's because he's making it a dog fight, right? And he's doing yeah. what Nate does. Yeah. He's getting out there and just, and he's putting in the work. Yeah, he's yeah. fighting his fight now. That I mean, he he did was doing really well in that grappling exchange there. Like the clinch, like go back to the clinch. Who was drilling some elbows? Good try. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, hey, reset. Push up against the fence. It'd be crazy if we see some type of knockout right now. Right. Oh, don't. Yeah, Nate's got to land that shot. I can see a knee. Yeah, knee. That's what oh, I'm thinking too. It's some type of jump and knee. I'm just hoping that Ige gets... Well, I can't say that. It's because, I, I mean, I love Ige, but... I, ah, but with Nate, hopefully Ige gets a little too aggressive and Nate can, yeah, get that knee up the middle. No bias at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to see... on the leg. Land <laughs> See, it's a good right fight, there. man. It was a good fight. Good fight. I feel. I just feel like Nate might have had the wrong game plan in the beginning of the fight. You know. Yeah, I think so too. Well, we but hey, the, we're, the, we're the saying that he might. He yeah, that with the counter in. Like I said, he might have tried to fight his fight and maybe got knocked out. But... And especially like now that I'm like the the more it's been a dog fight and he's tiring Ige out and yeah, like how good his yeah. gas tank is. Like if he would have made this a fight, like by now he's probably beaten him up. Yeah, like, his gas tank is Ige no joke. Ige's uh, gas tank is probably, would probably be on E. Yeah. And Nate's still going to go, so it's like, man. Yeah, so I feel like Nate got this third round. but Yeah, for sure. Two. I would agree with that for sure. Oi, yeah, the first oi, two so elbows bad. back yeah, elbows and forth there. in the clinch. Oi! Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It, like, straight up. If he would have fought that way, it yeah. might have been a different fight. Yeah. Not bad. Good fight, man. Good fight. Shout out, shout out to the feather. I was excited game. for that fight. That was a good one. I'm glad it. I'm glad. I think it's a 29-28. Yeah. 29-28, mm -hmm. Ige. All the yep. way across? Yeah. Yeah, 29-28, Ige. That last round goes to Nate, but the first two is definitely Ige. I like how he pushed it. Fight of the night so far, yeah? Yeah. I can't think of a, a, of a better fight so far. Boom, look at that right there. You got to get credit for that. Man, I love that. Fight. I love that transition right there. The corner, the right? Christopher uh, Ripa, 24. He was saying, stay back and be the counter. You know what I'm saying? Be a counter. I mean, they're saying it, but we haven't heard. We haven't heard the judges' decision. I mean, I hope they don't screw. It they've got it. They, like the, the commentators <laughs> kind of have it on lock, but yeah, I hope they don't screw Ege like that. Ege, GG, little buddy. I like it. Ege just staying a lot more composed. Nice. His punches were sick. Yeah, the, the YouTube comments are saying um, ESPN didn't count the first knockdown, but that's not the judges. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't really? matter what ESPN say, the judges are going to count it. Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, and if there's case, always a 30 27. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep. 50K. Yeah. That 3027 would have to lock it up, right? But that was a great performance. For sure. Not bad. Not bad. EJ. No shame though, Nate. But I just, like I said, I wish he would have been more of the aggressive. Like you said, just make it ugly, you know, and just yeah, get in there. And that's what Nate does. And he, just, he, he hurts people like that. Yeah. If, if he made it ugly and he survives through the first two rounds, he might get a finish in the third because he, he don't get tired. tired. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta know your, uh, your strengths, right? It's like, Hey, if you're a brawler and you got a great gas tank, Hey, put it on him, put the pressure on him, man. Now I wonder who Dan is going to call up. Oh, good oh, question. No. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I know what we got up next. Mike Malott. Man, it, it, would that be, will Canada go 6-0? Six, six and oh? oh, yeah. They're undefeated right now, huh? They're undefeated. Yeah, so this is the undefeated. last guy. Mike, Mike got to bring it home. Pressure. I wonder, if, I wonder if they know this. None of us have lost <laughs> tonight. Do not be the first. You know what I'm saying? Do not be the first. Oh, no. Two in a row for Ige. It was. Oh, he wants September, October. He's ready to go. Ige's like September, October chat. Let's do it. Nate got robbed there. It was 308, <laughs> 10 each <laughs> down. That, All those right. Are some, those are some trolls. All right. Yeah, I'm that's what it is. I'm, hey. Welcome and hello, Exler. I appreciate it. Oh, Exler, what what Exler. a um what a traitor. Exler, you left us. Exler left and came <laughs> over. Exler, yes, Exler. Us. Much love. What a what a traitor. All Exler. right, I love it. We got Exler over. That's how we do. Welcome. Welcome, Exler. He was holding it down for the Yuzu chat and he, he betrayed us. He needed to come check it out. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? Nothing wrong with that at all. Love it. Where is, I'm trying to find my, oh, the, the, the five minute clip. There it is. Fugit, Malat. I don't know what they do. If they have, I may have something. Let's see. Oh, they got it. <laughs> Exler is back on YouTube. He said, he said, no, Sadiq, I'm still here. Uh, you're you're double dipping, forth. man. Excellent. Hey, you're, du you're, you're, du you're double dipping, Exler. You got you got to pick a side. Exler. <laughs> Exler. Come on now. What are you doing? You got back and forth at least. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at smoke. He's got. <laughs> Come on. What is it, AK? Man, oh man. All right. It's Adam Fugit and Darius. We got the Darius. Interview. Wait, is that what it is? Are you sure? All right. We should have enough time. Okay. Feels like it was a while to get to this point. The fight is finally here. What is preparations for this matchup with Charles been like for you? It's been a lot of the usual, but also, you know, Charles has an unorthodox style in, in that he he will throw wild things. So I've had to bring in not bring in, but like I've had guys basically do that to me, and uh, th that's one way I prepare it. And then just a little bit more grappling than usual, just because I know he's a good grappler. Yeah, he certainly is. I was going to ask you about that later, but let's get into it. In terms of the grappling matchup, obviously both very high-level black belts. Where do you feel like you're superior on the canvas? Uh, 19 is good. Oh, we find much of an appreciation. Also, let's go to support the American Cancer Society. I I don't put myself in danger in order to go for a submission which obviously is the reason why he's so popular. He has so many finishes, I get it. But uh, when you go against a better guy, that, that, that kind of style is a little bit harder to pull off. Is that where your use of the word responsibility this week comes in? Yes, well, that, that and just being a father. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I just gotta be disciplined and responsible in this fight. Uh, no stupid mistakes and, uh, and honestly, I really believe I'll have a pretty smooth night. You know, we talk a lot about the grappling matchup, and rightfully so, but what about what we could see on the feet? I mean, where do you potentially see threats and holes? So the the threats are all, obviously he's he's a wild man, and he'll just kind of throw at anything, and he mixes it up really well. And, um, you know, my opportunity is, is to take advantage, because 
if you're not setting up all these things and if you're not doing them the way, you know, uh, with something behind them or in front of them, it's a lot easier to see and a lot easier to take advantage of. So I, I'm, if I'm prepared properly, I should be able to take advantage of these things he does. You know, you talk about being ready to face the best version of Charles, but what does the best version of you look like? Ooh, that's a that's a good question. Honestly, I think the best version of me is just discipline because I can I can do just about everything. But sometimes I get so excited to be in that octagon and just to have that freedom, I uh, I, I I go into just one one thing or, or or I chase things like a dog and 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 you know I get too uh, obsessive. So I think just being disciplined and patient that that's that's the best version of me. Listen, we love to watch every version that shows up into the octagon. Good luck to you tomorrow. We look forward to it. Thank you Thanks. Very much. Guys? And we're back. What? I'm loving this card. Kidding me? Oh, yeah. I like this card. This Mike Mallet. My Malat and Fugit, right? Sick. They're both six one, which is crazy. Malat's the uh, the Canadian, you're right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's a great card, man. Trayshawn Gore, Trayshawn. Let's see. The bull command is gone. Is it? Did Malat just fight? I swear he just fought. Well, let me just no, I think I think these he was this actual fight was scheduled to happen is on that a different card. Yeah. So filling them in on this one. Look at all the lights of Vegas. Couple of weeks. Running amok. Running amok. This could be worth it though. And then we got the two big ones. Chat, how y'all doing? Chat, you doing all right? We definitely need some YouTube versus Twitch activities for the future. Y'all got <laughs> I ideas. Let's, hey, put them right ahead. Ideas, let's throw the DMs YouTube, out there. YouTube is, YouTube is down to, I mean, it's up to O right now, so it's not <laughs> looking very good. You know, you know what you should do is host, like, hopefully when you have me on next time, we could do like trivia or something and see who could, who could answer first between both chats. That would be interesting. We're going to have, we'll have to figure out something. If y'all got ideas, Twitch chat, YouTube, hey, and UFC Fight Pass Facebook, they're like, don't leave us out. You know what I mean? And Twitter. Have them all go ahead. head to head. Let, let, let we'll go out there. We'll get it figured out. In a chat battle royale, <laughs> who will win? Step into the arena. I we got it. YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. It. Let's have a show now. 100%. Mike Malott. Mike Malott. Battle of the platforms. Oh, that'd be sick. That would be. But you should be able to put Twitch and YouTube chat on screen together. As oh, oh for sure. Don't know how, but yeah, no, I just don't mess with it because I'll get, I'll get, I'll get overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube's the Dagestan of chat. <laughs> oh, they're saying that on Twitch. See, look, they're already defeated. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, they're already defeated. They're, they're, they're already defeated. Jolly Buddha Force is already like, man, look, I'm cool. And, and, and over here on YouTube, YouTube guys are bragging. They're not even considering Look at Bob with people. cheese. Look, Jens, I'll put a YouTube chat on a guillotine. I'll ride into the YouTube. <laughs> Huh? Favela well, um, on horseback and strike down any man who I don't see who I don't oh. see fit. Wow! wow, wow. This guy Twitch hey. getting KO'd in the first round. Ten seven YouTube. Love you, Clay Bouquet. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love it. Oh, but, somebody asked, in what ways can MMA jiu-jitsu evolve? Like a calf kick for striking. What technique do I think is next? I feel like a, a long time ago. People thought it was going to be um, heel hooks and leg locks because heel hooks and leg locks got so big in the jiu-jitsu community. Right. But it's one right. of those things where, like, it's so dangerous in MMA, you know? Uh -huh. Like, I feel like... Involved and whatnot. I wouldn't change. say, I wouldn't say jiu-jitsu has been maxed out in MMA, but I feel like people are good enough in jiu-jitsu to stifle it. I feel like right. the evolution of jiu-jitsu in MMA is, is probably those Dagestani wrestler guys that are kind of doing almost anti jujitsu except back takes and choke you out, you know? Right. <laughs> so I, I tie your legs up and just beat you down. Yeah, just beat you, yeah. beat you to death, you know? So I don't, unless if we have some guy, and then 
we had Con Gracie show up and decides to use all jujitsu, no wrestling. You know, yeah, you, can't so that, anymore, <laughs> you can't do it's that what anymore. You said. When someone has like another, like so you go have two jujitsu guys going against each other in an MMA match, like it really cancels each other's out. Yeah, quite a bit. Because yeah. I feel you like have a big, a, a two good jujitsu, like a really really good jujitsu person and a decently good jujitsu person, they could stall out long enough in an yeah. MMA fight to where yeah. other things start to factor in. You know. Like mm. your jujitsu has to be world ahead, like the Johnson mm. Almeidas, you know, like yeah. guys like that that are so drastically ahead of the guy for it to for it to really yeah. matter. I think wrestling is kind of where it's at right now. I think wrestling the biggest thing is adding it in. It's the best time to mix them together with your yeah. takedowns, your controls, because you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna catch people in these scrambles. You're gonna be able to catch them when they, you know, what I mean, in in those situations where. Yep. You're both shooting in, and as you're hitting the floor, boop, 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 you get the better yep. position, and you're going to catch them in a scramble. Once they get locked into a guard, or you get locked into side control, or locked, now it becomes now it's a struggle yes. because they're so heavy. But exactly. it's when you catch people in those scrambles, and if you catch the jujitsu practitioner who doesn't really know how to do anything other than fall into the guard or fall into a situation, yeah. you start getting in there where you can inflict on the on the underhooks and the takedowns and driving in, lifting up, and as you're dropping them. It just helps you so yeah. much more jujitsu wise to catch people in the uh in the scramble, in my nice. opinion. Shout out, shout out to the OG Jens Pover, man. Mm -hmm. you, you, you might know a little something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I I, I 100 percent agree with what you're saying. So I guess an answer to your question, I forgot who asked that question. It's probably getting better at transitional attacks. Like Jens was saying, I feel like mm -hmm. like hey, I'm gonna sit on my guard now. I'm gonna grab the arm. I'm gonna go over your head, switch to an arm bar. I feel like those days are slowly dying. Yep. So you yeah. have to get good at the, the only position that still works like that is back control, yep. where these guys are just strangling you out. But the ones where we're going step by step in a guard, those days I think everybody's good enough to be able to stifle those. On to keep you heavy. And so what that takes is that takes conditioning takes you to get back in shape because now you got to create those scrambles. Uh -huh. And the idea is to burn them out, right? Be able to burn them out. And you see a lot of times, like in what's happening now in a lot of punches, people are doing duck unders and taking the back and little yeah. things like that. And see, now these wrestlers are starting to learn how to grab these submissions in that AKA with that catch wrestling, right? Or falling off to yeah. guillotines and things like that. And they're leaving the arm bars. You look at the, the market champs and stuff when they pressure down and get really heavy and they start getting into that, that arm triangle is another one that's really scary. The wrestlers constantly getting that cross body because we like to sit on one leg like a leg ride but that's yep. our version of it ak slew gift and no subs much love and appreciation robert rust gift and no subs much love and appreciation all subs go to support the american cancer society not some subs all subs go to support the american cancer society much love and appreciation hardy down under much love to y'all f cancer ty thank you for the 12 months my friend all subs go to support the american cancer society point is getting it back to those Whoa. situations. Whoa, did you see that? That guy just jumped down out of yeah. the crowd behind him, didn't he? And and a lady screamed. Somebody jumped jumped out of the crowd and jumped over him. Did he fall? Yeah, like jumped like literally out of the crowd. I don't like know. <laughs> I don't know. I need he... a replay. I don't wow. know if he fell. It almost looks like he just jumped yeah, over. Like, back, like, like security's <laughs> probably back there to put him in a rear naked choke right yeah, now. Yeah, no, something's like that. definitely happening back there because they're all looking back. And <laughs> so is that whiskey like... whiskey wheel kicks Alexa Grasso and the Shevchenko? That duck under to the back, right? Yes. Duck you under boop. That's one hundred percent. Go ahead, one it, more it, really quick. Deezy oh. with the twelve months, much love and appreciation. All subs go to support American Catch Society. Go ahead, City. I, I don't know if you keep up with like um the strictly um submission only scene or like uh -huh. ADCC. Yeah, yeah. Exactly it's exactly what, what you're saying. A lot of guys are going like they're not even shooting doubles. They're literally doing straight duck unders. Like, because uh -huh. those doubles kept getting our asses caught in guillotines and it yeah. drives me shit yeah. house nuts. A single will get you into a triangle. Sorry risky. for the cuss, but risky when someone's really it's good. better to duck under yeah. and take the body, take they're, a they're body doing, lock yes, and, exactly. and, and hold it. They're, you know they're I mean? going duck under, body triangle, duck under, body triangle, duck 100. under, body triangle. 100. Because that was my downfall in my era. I'm still shooting the double, but I'm punching my way in and closing it. Boom. Hike. 
and I'm getting caught. And that's why in the first minute of a fight, I would get in submitted because I'm shooting. But the way I drive with my head, I'm leaving it wide open. And it's like it's that fine line of when I'm getting the takedown or when they're jumping the guard and squeezing. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. why it's just let's just duck under and just cut it out altogether. That's why I say Greco-Roman wrestling is a lot is is where I would work on a lot more than diving down in on those legs right. like in collegiate freestyle greco is all upper body all upper yep. body same thing with judo a lot of that yep. with the high trips you can't touch the legs it's all from the hips above you know what i mean teach yep. you how to pummel heavy on the head and start doing things like that that's another thing that comes into yep. play if i were to mess with any jujitsu practitioner now i'm grabbing that cow lick and i'm not letting go and i'm gonna hold on to that thing for two minutes and i'm not gonna let you take me down and i'll just sit heavy on the back of that head until your neck gives out and then we start playing but like little things right uh -huh. working out the arms and stuff like that to open things up and looking for that scramble that you can boom absolutely what that's it Go ahead. The kind of when it comes to that in traditional wrestling, like you said, so many double legs and you're shooting in so much. Like when you got knees coming at you and you've got all these different strikes and whatnot, like it gets negated a lot more where you, the Greco Roman style is still super effective. Yeah. And it's one thing that they don't, we don't, it don't get the, the amount of love, ironically, that all the other wrestling does. True. You know I mean, the collegiate True. and the freestyle, there's plenty of, but it's hard to find straight Greco and stuff. And it's still, to me, that like Randy Couture, one of my heroes, Greco, Greco, everybody, that upper body, learning how to pummel, pummel, pummel the whole time, you know? So, is this, oh, this is welterweight or lightweight? This is welter 170, right? Oh, I was about to say, yeah, these are some tall lightweights. I mean, they're still tall for welterweight, but I was like, wow. Oh, look at My him. train, I do jiu-jitsu. I've not never done uh, MMA. I used to wrestle and do. I currently do jujitsu. We need and this. We need this to let me. We're gonna go train together. I gotta come hunt. Yeah, I would love it. I would we'll love train it, bro. Together. Hey, let's and, get us both the PI. And that oh, same 100. topic we were just talking we'll about. Be there too, all week. I feel like guys like Al Jermaine, and, and it's funny. I guess we're still not answering his questions because we keep circling back to wrestlers, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like guys like Al Jermaine, like. The people yeah. that are so good at that body triangle on your back yeah. and MMA is like, as soon as they get to that position, even if they're not good at submissions, you lost the round. <laughs> like depending yep. on when, when they, yep. when they get the position, 100%. like the round is already done. Now you're better off just surviving and hoping you make it to the next one. Well, we did answer the question. I think it would just be adding more wrestling into your jujitsu, adding more jujitsu into your wrestling. And it's in learning how, if you haven't gotten to that point yet, even on the MMA side of it, you can do MMA and, and with striking to your to your takedown, but adding the submissions into, you know what I mean, into your wrestling or having, if you're a jiu-jitsu practitioner, very good off your back, how to keep it where you can get into those scrambles, takedown scrambles, and then it's going to open up so many more catches that you can along the way. Oh, Ooh, big kick by Malai. That was yeah, hard. Hard. I heard him. That yeah, hurt him. That body key. Oh, look at him. Oh. Malat's just in his fields right him. now being the aggressor. For it. He went back for it, too. Ooh, oh, that Malat's right. Just, Fugit's getting in the distance in the right hand. Wow, who is this? Oh, big Mallet overhand guy? right. This guy is good. Big overhand right from Mallet. Oh, he's really trying to cover that he, up. He's loving, that body is not feeling so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. He, gets, he needs to hit him there again. Go up top. Go, leg kicked up top. See, I was wondering why this was the third fight, but I, I see maybe the UFC likes this guy, man. I, uh -huh. I, kinda, I like what I've seen so far. He's aggressive. He's tending to, now he's going to stand back a little bit. Fugit looks like he's probably he's getting his bearings back underneath him a little bit. He's starting to be the, the attacking. Oy. Oh, man. Good right leg for Malat. Malat definitely with the power shots right there of the ten that there's ten significant strikes. Here, here's a question: like after you've hit got hit the body like that, and you've really hurt someone in it. Like how long can you go back to it and get it again? Like could it be ten minutes later and it's just as bad? Or... Uh, no, I I feel like what the times when I've been hurt to the body uh -huh. towards the end of that round, it's kind of okay. Gone, you know? So it's like a few minute thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you can get your breath back, and then you don't really get, you won't get stung in it again because your body be ready to go. So you might have to right. set it up, faint to the body, and then blast yeah. it again. I mean, you can hurt them while, if it's still tender, but yeah, right. once they finally get their bearings back, it's kind of like with the knockdown too. It's tough to get knocked down twice, right. like in a hard way, right? You can, you kind of, 
Oh, my lot just slipped a little bit, but he looks to seem like he has it back, but just getting kicked in the body just in general. Sucks. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, right there. Right that was oh, to wait, the cup. Was that a low? Was that a low shot? Oh, he doesn't even want to pause. Hey, He's Adam, said, a Adam said, fuck it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> He's been waiting. He's I brought been it waiting. back. I brought it back. I brought it back. I brought it back. <laughs> That's a that's a dad joke right there. <laughs> I liked it. What up, the great bomb? On, uh, he's oh, Malad is yeah. He's their sixth. I think what that's the sixth one on the card, six and eighteen on the card, and they're five and zero oh right now. Ooh, oh, that's a great big yes. throw, oh. Malad power. Jeez. great takedown. Shit, talk nice. about Greco. <laughs> yep, no, exactly. Really With that body lock that and the step really around. Back to the guard. It's going on, almost a rubber guard here, too. Now he's doing a good job of trying to look at Fugit trying to make sure he gets his get the guard back. Malat's going to sit on it. That's, a, that's another thing that I felt like it had, like, maybe a year in MMA to rubber guard, but it just was never able to pan out, you know? Right. And, yo, he's got him back again. He did a good job of getting this back. And that's, ironically, the hardest part is you still see a lot of the issue of when, when a fighter gets on one leg, they get in that half guard. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fighters have a very hard time. Whoa. Oh, wow, that was cool. Whoa. Nice was way to great, kick dude. off and knock him off balance. Pummeling back inside, turning in, and, and getting back to their guard or to their base. I think that's something that you don't see that much is that about the kind of the jujitsu talk. I think people's like when they're on the bottom and getting better at their positioning, often people you see get, get stuck so much. And then they turn yeah. away, they turn away from thus giving up their back and then they're figured, then they got the figure four yep. without even turning into them. But that's again, yep. you see some, they'll just sit there and grab oh on the head. Goodness. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. They grab up on the head instead of pummeling inside, getting inside position, creating space to turn in. Nice catch by oh, a lot with the trip. sweep of the nice. leg. Good but take down. It's right here. I, uh, hey, Fugit I looks like, really comfortable yeah, here. Yeah, on the bottom. Cool, yeah, Fugit, yeah, Fugit looks really good. And the last yeah. time, too, he got his hips on the knees. He used a butterfly hook and then pushed yeah. off the knee and was able to get up pretty well. You can well. see, too, he's, he's like starting to mess with that arm. He's isolating that arm. You can maybe see like a sweeper freaking arm bar come up. Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's going. He's going. It. He's going rubber guard. Let's, let's go. Oh. I feel, I feel like you got to be so flexible to work that position. You, bro, you got to have some like, <laughs> flexibility. Like, but those guys that can do that stuff. Scary, yeah, man. I, I, I see them on, on Instagram doing like all that craziness, man. Uh -huh. I feel like something has to give. Either you, you're super flexible or you have like good like power in your legs, you yep. know? So yep. it's like, yep. I feel like I find a balance. Not bad. Good round. Good round. Now, will yeah. a lot tire? Good question. A little bit, or we'll cardio. see what happens. He caught a, a lot of good body kicks, man. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, that, 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 the toe right on the wow. liver. Yeah, look, that's on the where the side. Wow. The, the toe slide side. right on the liver. Edson Barboza stopped on um, oh. Evan Dunham with that, where oh. it's just like your toe just slides across the across the body. Look at that big trip. Oh, I love in, that. Huh? Nice. Good body lock, good trip, good throw. The lot's not bad right there. The Somebody said they feel like combat jiu-jitsu will help MMA athletes at effective ground and pound at a high level of grappling transitions. I don't think the problem is ground and pound. The problem is the opposite, is the person on the bottom. I feel like ground and pound, people are kind of already doing pretty well with that. Yeah, they do pretty good. Here we go. Here we go. Man, Matt Mallard loves that body attack, man. He's I'm glad he's utilized, utilizing it with that open stance. He's got that right leg putting it right in the middle. This Set is the second hands. fight we've seen with the orthodox guy attacking the body more than the southpaw. Then that straight right, if he can, if he can catch it. See that, that, that jab hand right there playing that lead hand, constantly jab hand and jab hand and teeth kick up the middle for him a lot. Fugit's moving forward, though. Oy. Mm -hmm. Let's see that left leg. Oh. oh. He went back to LA. I think he heard him again there. He's like immediately oh. starts. Oh, oh. Right, left. Fugit. 
great. Oh, oh, jump, 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 he's going to sit jump, back jump, on his jump, headlock. Jump, jump, jump. Armin guillotine. He's got the Armin guillotine. Yeah, he sat down all, hard on it. He's going to try to fight it. Then yeah, he got him. Once I'm out. Oh, over. Malad went ham. He threw the that kick. Then he well came back done, and he fired a man. right was, left. Dude, dropped him. That, that jumped on the neck. That was nasty. That's 6-0. The, he did like he hit him in the liver size so he 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 hurt him immediately goes up top after that because he dropped his elbow stuns him boom yeah. takes him I, down I like that that was a I, I don't think I've ever seen that grip before for the guillotine oh gosh I, hold on let me join you guys back with my camera but the guilt the guillotine grip like I think his hand was like almost out on the other side of his neck right he didn't waste That's any it. time. He just said, no way, and just dove in. Quickly locked it up. The camera, they're going amp. Boom. Look at that. Teep really kick right to the body. I think that was the first time. Around. And then he, look at right here. Look, he stepped in, fired Boom, right, right hand, left. left hand. He just stepped in. And Solid. That was the problem, right? He was expecting to get kicked in the belly again. Then he and stepped then immediately, in and locked it up. As soon as he had that front position, he was going for that, bro. Just immediately went for it. Yep, he knew it. He knew it. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. I like how Malad just stepped in, keep, 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 and, it, and my man was expecting it. That right, left chat, and it dropped, and he just jumped on and locked it in. Quick. Canada's not playing around. They 6-0. and oh. Dude, yeah. They're killing it tonight. Killing it. What? Very top-heavy card. Needs to do better than prelims? Please. I loved it. You kidding me? This card has gone by just smooth. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me look real quick while they're calling this hey, one up. Man. Dare you show me Dara coming up. Here this we go, Blake man. Milder and Kyle Nelson was this Vorak and Urseg. Urseg went in this split. This guy took it on short notice. What? Deanna Belbita? You didn't, I like that fight. What? The Belbita fight. But this fight was nuts right here with the Vorak and Urseg. That was, I liked it. Kyle Nelson, Blake Builder. Look at Zahabi and Arichi Long with the KO. That was filthy. Then he had, of course, Jazz. And then Jazz Sudavicious. Sudavicious, the way she just decided to go just ham, right? And just bolowed on her and just charged her down. Boom, boom, boom. And that just came forward up. like a Terminator. Oh, she just went nuts, right? And then, of course, Imavov. And then the scratch. That was the only one that was kind of, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, but the clock's still going, but the fight's over. But then, of course, this fight was, might have been. Oh, look at him. Dude, he's getting pumped up, and he's it's true. Dude, all the Canadians won every this single fight Canadian tonight. Canadian show, they went ham. Ham. Do I move it to, I can't move two. I don't have an AK. No. But just stuck in with that right, right, left. Boom, then he just jumped off. And right here, it's funny. He fought it, fought it, fought it until yeah, right roll. about Yeah, he got taken by the YouTube yeah. chat. He dipped. Boom. <laughs> Look, I can hear him, but we can't see his camera. No, I, I, I think, yeah, I gotta turn my camera back. I don't know what just happened. My YouTube chat. <laughs> that's what, that's what I think. <laughs> don't worry, I'm still here. Yo, what up, metalhead? How you do, metalhead? Hundred percent finish rate. Six submissions by this man. That was all right. Look at him. He's in the fields. He loves it. I like it a lot. Now, you know what's next. You know what's next. Yes, sir. Do I have a video that we want to play? Oliveira Darius. Where is it? There it is. All right, we got a cold main for y'all to check out. We'll see y'all in three minutes. <laughs> Benil Darius is one of those guys that I've always been a massive fan of just because he goes out there and does his damn job, shows up and fights with every ounce of his heart. And he's a guy that could be complaining, like, I've been on this massive win streak. I, I haven't gotten these massive fights yet, these big money fights, the title shots. Most guys at that with eight fight winning streak in the lightweight division, you would be calling for that. But he doesn't care. He just keeps plugging away. He just knows that he's got to go in there and keep winning fights. And eventually, you can't deny him. I'm not a beggar. 
I've done everything I, that I need to do. You said fight in here, whoever you put in front of me, I fought whoever. Here's what I will tell you. I don't care if I have to win another 10 fights before I get this belt, I'll do it. They could circle that belt around me all they want. They could try to avoid me all they want, but my day will come. What God has planned, no one will stop. Oh! Huge left for Darius! What a performance by Benny Darius. Taking out a surging contender. And I think that you've got to give him a number one contender fight, if not eventually a shot at the belt. O Ben é um cara que merece todo o respeito do mundo, é um cara duríssimo, né? Mas uh, eu acho que a minha sede vai falar mais, sabe? Quanto que eu quero. Eu tinha que dar um passo para trás para poder mostrar mais uma vez que eu sou iluminado, que eu sou um cara diferenciado, eu fui escolhido por Deus, só aqui para fazer história. E aí depois o Neve ainda continua faminto, continua rugindo e tal. E passa a grande guerra. His name is plastered across the UFC record books. One of the most accomplished mixed martial arts athletes of all time. He has the most submission wins in the history of the UFC. He's got the joke. It's over. It's over. He's phenomenal on his feet. Oh! Chandler's in real trouble. Charles Oliveira is something special. He's the number one contender. He's ranked number one. I couldn't ask for a better fight. And I think it's going to be a war. Daniel Darius fights with unbelievable toughness and heart on display every time we see him out there. Oh! oh that's it! What a knockout! Every fight, his mentality is fight or die. Benil's in real trouble. Oh! 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 oh my goodness! I feel like every one of my fights makes a statement, and I think this one uh, will put it all to rest. I mean, if this doesn't get me a title shot, I don't know what will. I think this fight will be very good. At the end of the year, I'm the next one. If you believe in the truth, it will happen. Everyone knows I'm going to go inside, I'm going to kill this guy, I'm going to do it. It will happen. I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'm going to prove the world who I am, and I'm going to finish the fight. of all time. What Amanda Nunez has done, it's truly amazing. I'm the biggest in the game with a point to prove. She is unquestionably the best. I'm the champion here, Amanda Nunez, the lion. Who's going to rise to challenge Amanda Nunez? There is a new Bantamweight contender. It's a Rene Aldana. Oh! Nobody's gonna take this belt for me. Amanda Nunes! The greatest women's mixed martial artist of all time. She is just next level. We are here, making history again. Double champion, baby! For Rene Aldana! Her boxing is crisp and clean. This is a big time challenge to Amanda's title. I'm chasing the belt, LB champion. So much anticipation for this fight. Charles Oliveira is the most technical guy in the game. Most submissions and finishes in UFC history. Benil Darius. He's on a tremendous win streak. I'm going to take him out and set myself up for that belt. The UFC has landed in Vancouver. The always excited fans inside of Rockers Arena. Let's go! It all began 30 years ago with an idea that the most skilled, most fearless, most ambitious fighters in the world needed a place to meet, a place to test themselves, a place to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see something that you have never seen before. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighting Championship World. Thirty years later, the result is indisputable. The Ultimate Fighting Championship has redefined the landscape of sports and the world's idea of what it means to be a fighter. Define success however you want through longevity. Oh! 
Generations to come. Oh, my God! Brandon Moreno has done it! Mexico! You have a champion! Oh! UFC history! 30 years ago, it began with an idea. 30 years later, it's still leading the future of sport. The Ultimate Fighting Championship. The fight has just begun. Yo. All right, all right. Let me get this adjusted. Let's do it, baby. Now the one thing is right. What do we got over here? Look at that. Salamander UK on Oliviera. Jordan, look at that. Alpha One Kenji with the Darius. Well, we got, who, what's chat thinking? Oh, dude, it's pretty even, actually, huh? It is. 53. Even. Well, they got 92 over there on Oliviera. 987. But, yeah, points-wise, points-wise, it's... We got 938,000 points right now on Dariush and 987,000. One milli. One milli. Dariush, second longest active win streak in UFC lightweight division. Eight. Tied third most wins in UFC lightweight history. 16. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Let the battle of the belts begin. We're bringing That's back great. Sadiq. He can hear us. Oh, wait. No, probably not now. Can you hear us now? But he was. There he, oh, look at him. Welcome back. Let's go. Welcome back. Welcome Let's back. Let's go. Volume, though. Yeah, we. He muted. Look at him. <laughs> I don't know. You're muted. You're going to have to hold up little signs with writing on it. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Yeah, he was, he was beating the heavy bags up, man, and then, like, just something crazy. He just hit that bag so hard, it swung into the, the, the camera, took it out. Yeah, that's crazy. One point one milli and one point one. We're even. One point one milli on both sides. Yeah, he muted. You get it figured out, but he's in. He's in. 72 inch reach, 74 inch reach. You want both guys to win? Hey, there can only be one, baby. May the best man win tonight. May the best. May the best get her down. Yeah, there can only be one. Oh, man, I'm pumped. I'm not going to lie, Chad. I'm motivated. I'm, a new, I'm motivated. Did you, did you say who you think is winning this one, Jens? You said Darius? I'm going with, I'm going with Darius just because, okay. man. Darius... My man did something one time when he seen me, and I, I forever, forever, I'll never, uh -huh. I'll never root against him ever. Hey, love. Unless he fights Sorukian, then I still can't root against him. But am I, am I back? There he is. Let's go. Oh, look excellent, at him. excellent, love excellent, it. love it, man. Yeah. The the you the YouTube you guys kidnapped you. me, and they find they finally let me go. <laughs> oh boy, they shut, jacked shut. you up. <laughs> uh -huh. Shout, shout out to you, too. I appreciate you guys releasing me. Right in time for the co-main. Excellent. Right as Ali Vedder's walking baby. his way out. Excellent. It was just for dramatic effect is all it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just to put some more tension on, man. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, with this one, though, man, I'll tell you what. 
I could see it happening like really quick too. That's the other crazy thing. Like, yeah. I could, okay. Uh, if it's quick, who who would you think, who would you think got it done? Here we go. We got Charles Oliveira, former UFC lightweight champion, most finishes in UFC history with 19, and most submissions in UFC history with 16. Currently ranked number one in the division. I I, I hate to say it, but I think Oliveira. If if someone was gonna win it early, yeah. Oliveira. That's that's what I'll say too. If it's very fast, I'll, yep. I'll lean towards Charles. But I think the grind uh, and just the overall Darius. I think the his path for a quick future would be a KO. Because Darius has gotten, you know, he's got kick a leg and hurt. Like he can do something kicking the leg. You know what I mean? The heavy body. Because he's got heavy, heavy, heavy kicks. And that is just, it's, I mean, he just kicks with reckless abandon because he don't give two shits if you take him to the ground. So why not kick as hard as possible? You know what I mean? What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to go to the floor where you're the submission king? (laughs) All right. You know, so that's one thing that's always made him very, very dangerous as a stand up fighter because he doesn't care. And he'll snag it on the way down. But I think Darius, hey, I'm saying Darius, I'm saying Darius wants it more, a hundred. But if it were to end quick. Man, you know, that and it's hard to root against Darius, man. No, you can't. It's hard to root against. Well, look at that though. My man's over there paying respects to his corners. They hugged it out right there. The respect yeah. for these two. It's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah it sucks. Darius. This is one of those fights where it's like, man, it sucks that somebody has to lose. Right. But at the same time, I think this was the definitely the fight that like needed to happen. Oh, this fight's fights. incredible. This is a great one. We will have to find oh man. What do you think? Oh man, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. That's something right there. That's no joke, Bowman. Bowman, it's amazing they never they haven't fought to this point. It's crazy. This is their first time fighting. <laughs> 33 and 34. Man, this guy's too fast. It's one. Someone must have had him down here somewhere. So, so someone said Charles likes to give up is what Islam Makachev said. That's why I would always say, like, it's hard for a lot of fighters to forget about younger Charles, you know. But I feel like he's done enough to show that that's no longer him, especially no, with him getting sure. dropped in, the, in all those fights and still winning. But yep. people are always going to remember that. I'll tell you what, the confidence of him being the champ, I think has changed him. Yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? That's one oh, thing yeah. I noticed about Oliveira is the, him being the champ, man, something just done, you know, and he just, he feels it. Different mindset. Yeah, he said it also happened when he had his kid, right? Is what they said too. That's what I kept hearing is that when he had his, his kid that he really changed him and he started believing differently in himself. I love it. But Darius has just always been so quiet, man. Just oh. Oh. I can't believe this. 1.4 million points on Olivieta. So 1.3 million on Darius. This is insane. This is only three rounds, huh? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is. Well, you know, what happened? Uh, you remember? It was because it was if a main made event? It for a BMF belt. Would it have gone five rounds? What, <laughs> uh, hey, who knows? They just, well, who was it? Muhammad and uh, Burns. They decided on a five round, even though it was a co Yeah, it was co Yeah. Because it, it, it was supposed to have been like a main event or something. Like, Yes. They were supposed to do a main event, a card before or something like that. So they kept it at five rounds. All right, I'm just I'm paying attention. Here we go, Here we go dude. Let's go, man. It's gonna be a good one. I like the way Charles just gets in your face, man. High right guard, bringing those bat. knees, yeah, bringing those knees up, throwing and we hooks. Got, look at that, righty versus lefty. High guard, knees up, hooking, hooking, hooking. Already oh, upstairs with kick. that kick, but Darius oh. fires back to the body with a kick. Yeah. What balance to. Be able to like be on one leg and then fire back those shots. Kick. Those hands right there, Darius. Oh, oh watch yeah, your balance yeah, on that left leg. I like how he caught that kick of, of uh Oliveira's and spun it off, and then those straight hands. Let's now, see if Charles pulls guard. <laughs> right, we've got this pummeling right now pushed up against the fence. 
See, situations like here, this is something that could change. You're talking about with the jujitsu practice or even the rest of the dirty boxing right in here. Learning how to hook, score into points in here and beating up that body. Great body lock. Oh, pulled him down. Oh, he did, he did pull guard. He's got the leg, too. Yeah. See, now we're going to see the difference between, uh, like, points jujitsu and submission jujitsu. Because yeah, sometimes yeah. The, the point guy does a lot better. Like, a lot of times with RDA, like, when RDA gets on top of guys – like he's constantly focusing on position and just stifling them. Yeah. And just holding on to that position, not really going anywhere, not really looking for anything because you want to just mm -hmm. keep it, you know, make them work, right? Oh, Boy, nice. He That'll tried to do a sweep right there. Look, again, yeah. Look how Dar used to be really busy with these hands on, but again, yeah. Oliveira's not, he's not, he's throwing and he's doing his shots and everything like that, but Dar used to really. At any point, you can see something get snatched up. Well, that and you got to wow. look at it like this with him on top. Is he winning? He's got to be winning this, right? Yes. He's, oh, yeah. He's for definitely sure, winning. He's on sure. top here. Now he's going to go after the leg. Oh, yeah, he's got his wow. leg. He's got his leg. Oh, yeah. He's got oh, 50, 50. going for a leg. Inside right. That's oh, a good, no, that's no, a good inside right. Too. He's oh, got the wow. heel. Oh, the, the knees popped out. That and yeah. see, this is what is the difference between um Islam and their use compared to everybody else. Is they're gonna keep working down here, whereas everybody else is so panicked of trying right. to get out that it kind of gives Charles a big advantage. Yeah, a lot of people you, you throw that leg lock on. I it love there, like, that. Oh, yeah, he's trying. He's staying in here and fighting. That's what the one thing I was kind of excited to see these two go after it down here on the ground. As Benil, look, he tried to kick away for a minute. The up kick almost landed for Oliveira, but he's still trying to pass the guard off to the side. And again, and see, I like that. He gets, Benil gets into the half guard, but then, of course, yeah, look at Benil's that. Benil's going right back into yeah. the guard, you know? Boom, quick. But now I wonder, and that's the other thing, being as comfortable as he is down there, sometimes that's kind of the downfall, right, of the black belt is, like, but you're not winning. You you're gotta get around. up, even though you know you're yeah. safe down there. You're not getting submitted, but I don't know if you're winning, right? Yeah. But look, wow. I mean, he's got yeah. literally got the body figure forward from from the bottom. Yeah, and right there, you're kind of trapping yourself on on, on bottom position. Yeah. Oh, good. Nice up kick. kick. Nice yeah, job. He gets realized back to his feet. Up. He realized what you guys are saying. He got up out of there. Yeah. Over under, pushed back up against the fence. I'll be excited to see the gas tank. You know, I wish this was a five rounder. Yeah, it definitely should have been a five rounder for sure. I like Benil doing a good job of keeping those elbows in nice and tight on that head plum. Benil's about to go right back to the body kick. <laughs> head kick, body kick. Oh, oh, oh that's the oh, second man. time. Hey, that, with that, that, that head, head kick, kick is good, it. man. Yep, uh -huh. he's got the hands. Oh, lands on that hands. Oh, he's dropping. He's dropping. Oh, wobbled him. Oliveira had him with some heavy shots. Oh, he shoves the drop down on the leg. He's trying to roll Oliver out. Oliver hurt him. Oh, this head kicked him out. Wow. No, wow. no, there he is. Oh, no. There he is. about to go out. Yep. There he is. about to go out. Oh, he's going to carry out. There he is. about to go it. out. Wow. Wow. Hey. Charles dude, Oliver. Oliver is a bad some, man, Sometimes, dude. man, when you put that hand up, it does nothing. Like, the kick uh, literally goes through your hand and it hits you in the head anyway. Right, sometimes you know? if that hand's right here, you punch yourself yeah, and it you hurts you. Yeah, you punch yourself. 100%. That kick will be so hard, you'll punch yourself. Yeah. If, it was, if the fight happened early, who was going to who, who was gonna win? Charles <laughs> Oliver, yeah, like Charles. you said. Dang, dude. Man, he's just... That's... This kid just is not going to be denied. Charles yeah. Oliver is not going to be denied. He is yeah, a beast. I see, yeah, I see a, a rematch maybe coming in the future. I, I want to see that kick. I'm pretty sure um Darius had his hands up, but it just didn't he matter. Did. I think it went right through it, or maybe snuck in around it. He is a yeah, lot of fun. I, he's, man, come a long I, he way. Is, he's, de he's definitely fun, you know, because he's willing to die in the fire. You know, that's mm. one of those things about getting into UFC at what 2021 20, is like at this point, it's is yeah. what you do. You got so much experience over the years. We we kind of were talking about that on the, some of the previous podcasts with like, uh, you know, the, these young guys like like Raul, uh, Raul yes. that just got in. It's like, man, you get in so young. It's yes. like I, you got to really have some like smart uh, some smart coaches or people in your corner to like really plan out how many fights are going to take a year and how you're going to progress. Because yep. it's like you got a, such an opportunity going in, but you see a he lot of guys sometimes go in and they go in too there. early and. 
They have a See, lot of fights. That right hand just right, got out the way. He moved his head back. See, yep, he and just like himself. we said, the hand hits your it hits your hand, and your hand hits your own head. Yep, and then that right here, and then boom, that right hand, another right hand oh, caught nice. in there, trying that, to back that out. Wob that wobble, but I'll tell you what, there. it catches that, you when you're like this, and you don't expect that kick. You don't see it. Your yeah. hands always be up. Boom, you tag yourself. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, wow. you just. And he found himself in a bad spot on the ground and worked his way back up and got the finish. At at this point, I think it's time for like people to let that um like then about the, Charles Quentin like yeah, die out, you know? Yeah, it's like that's on. yeah, that's long gone. Told gone. you, champion. The, the once Abby. he won that belt, champion Oliveira is just no joke. Yeah. He's a different bird. He likes this stuff, man. He's dangerous. He's confident. And, and you know throws. what else is, is good about watching him fight? He's always in trouble in all his fights, which is, like you said, the heart of a champion, you know? Yeah. It, like, he, a lot of these fights, he's he works himself back into the fight after getting into some trouble. I love him. Man. What a shot, though. I like him. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't be mad at that man. Oh, but yeah. like I said on a personal, I got to stick with Darius every time. Always, always. Is this the real fight? He just fought right there, Jake for a Tester. Mm -hmm. Oliveira looked phenomenal. It, 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 it sucks. It sucks for Darius because of that the streak, you know. But hopefully he could get back in there against maybe like Gaethje or one of those kind of guys. Right. There's a lot of fun fights for him. Well, and then it's like, what do you do? Like, obviously, that belt's going to be a while, but you just enjoy fighting and just keep fighting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's he's only still like, you won two wins, and you're right back in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Or you never know. Somebody gets hurt, man. Yeah, dude. Jump somebody right gets hurt, in. you get a, a win, a good win, boom, you're right, right in the contention still. Like that's the the other thing is I mean you don't you don't really lose too much losing to Oliveira. I mean the dude's the number one ranked guy, so exactly. it's hard to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna kick him down the rankings. Yeah, no, you're getting booted down to the bottom. Like, There's plenty of fights right in there. No. Yep, I love it. All right, all right, Chad. I got a main event video for you to gander. As soon as I can find it. Oh, we'll see y'all after. Check it out. <laughs> Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. This is a big year for Mexico. We have now three Mexican champions, Alexa Grasso, Brandon Moreno, and Jay Rodriguez. Another one for Mexico! We're finally getting there. We're getting noticed, and I think that it's just the beginning. I'm going to bring the fourth belt to Mexico. Irene Aldana proudly representing Mexico. She has that Mexican fighting spirit. She can crack. Her boxing is crisp and clean, and she has one of the best left hooks in the game. Oh, that left hook was nasty. Could be the end here. That'll do it. Irene Aldana. She's a ferocious woman, and she believes her time has come. I have been in the top five since 2019. I'm learning new things every time. You don't know where I'm going to bring into the next fight. Oh, an up kick to the liver. Wow. wow. I have fought the best of the best, and all these fights have prepared me for this point. All the training, all these years since day one. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to go for all. We're going to have fireworks in there. I love this. I love this sport. I love MMA. I become a champion. I become a double champion. Amanda Nunes is the hammer, ladies and gentlemen. That lady has power like we have never seen in the women's bantamweight division. I just want to fight, fight, defend, defend, get better than better. Oh! She got hurt bad. The knockdowns are piling up. Our page is bloodied up bad. The greatest of all time came to fight tonight. Congratulations on oh, reaffirming your position so as the greatest woman so fighter of all time. I want to defend my belt, and no matter who is going to step in front of me, I'm going to fight. Aldone is very, very tough, but I'm a double champion for a reason, baby. I say cheese, oh! I can't read nothing. Chess player, I'm sorry. That's oh, it. I should be fine. That's the chess player.
I do have both. I'm Compared better. Me. They hurt everywhere. I'm better shot. I have better wrestling. So much I'm better grappling. Yet Not more right. history for the greatest of all time. It's a big challenge, but I definitely know that I can finish the fight anywhere. Oh! A Rayman Aldana! Oh! oh my goodness. Slept her. She had knockout power, but this is the kind of opponent that I like to fight. I just gotta be ready when she make the mistake and then capitalize. Oh, that's it! She did it! I don't fight if I think I'm gonna lose. I'm going to give it my all. I already promised Mexico the fourth belt, and I know that I can win. I'm gonna push the pace, take her apart, put everything that I have out there, and I'm gonna finish the fight. Nobody's gonna take that belt for me. Yeah, 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 for, for sure. sure. 100%. For sure. 100%. Right. That, that's got to be the performance no, I don't of the night. Know. Sorry, it, we're muted. Wait, L3. hold on. Oh, oh you know another L3. one? Um, The Ariel Hawani, the guy he knocked out hadn't been knocked out in 33 fights. Like, that's that was cool. his first that's finish in 33 too. fights. All right, hold on. Hold on. Take it back. Wait, let me. I'm going to bring up. I'm going to try this new seat here. All right. Let's see here. While we're thumbing through there, let's. Who, what, who fought? So All right. He, it was Ariel, Ariel, Ariel versus and Ar Ari Long. Quilling. Yeah. Arichi Long. He had 33 fights, never been finished, and Ariel knocked him out with a left hook. Okay. So I, that could get performance of the night, too. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? I like that then. I like that. That could be our, that's definitely a performance. Yeah. That's our performance. And then and I, think, got... I think it was pretty fast. It might be like maybe like a few, like, 30 seconds, 50 seconds. It was like a minute and four seconds. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was pretty fast. A minute and four seconds. It was a quick one. And then I think performance and then fight of the night. Is Ige, Ige and Nate probably. That's... Because they might not even give a fight of the night for this card if, if it keeps going like performances. They might just give all finishes performances. There you go. And then we got to You got to give this performance, right? You got to give this one's got to get in there because I yeah. know we're going to be doing... Um, Cause we don't get, we got. Um, They're gonna show love to the Canadians, you know, the Mike Mallet, Mike Mallet. That's hundred percent. There's gonna be a lot of performances. My man stepped up. He had pressure. He yeah. go closes it out with six. I man, I oh. Man, I like the way Irene Aldana like boxes. Man, I do Just like her hands. Her the uh, their boxing's really good. Yeah, I do like her hands, and that'll be the one thing. And then we have extra rounds right after this chat. There will be extra rounds straight after this. So we kind of got to be, because we have to move quick in here. So we kind of got to keep it with us. But I do like, we'll go three performances so far. Three performances. Wait. Man, she, yeah. Yes. Three performances in our fight of the night would be Ige and Landwehr. Yeah. Ah! Until the, then the, main, the, the last fight, they don't count. Cause they're champions. <laughs> they fight. The they fight. The they fight. The they get. No, I'm just kidding. It could be yeah, the best fight of all. So we'll find out for sure. All right, move it back over here. Check it out. You know, but they do. They sometimes they're um a little biased towards the main event. You know, they if the main event does oh. good, they give they give them that belt. I mean, they give them that bonus. Yeah. True. True. I like to go with the other. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, trust me. I I I like I like it better for them to show love to the younger the, guys. The ones that aren't getting that the, the pay per view, for the sure. title points, and yeah, man, all that, right? Man, yeah. I, I was. That's I thought, kind of always been. I just like you make enough at the main event. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the other undercard. Yeah, <laughs> it was Stipe Stipe versus DC, and they told us at the fighters meeting, they was like, "All right, we're giving out guaranteed um three performance of the night bonuses." I fought. And then another guy fought. We were the only two guys with a finish. No, no, it was, they were giving out. Yeah, they were giving out two. 
And it was me and the other guy were the only guys with a finish. And the but last fight was Steve A. Steve A versus DC. And we were, the, remember the first one, DC was already winning. It was the fifth round. I yeah. was like, come on, DC, just hold him and take him down. Let me get this bonus. And then yeah. Steve A caught him with a body shot, you know? Yeah. So they, I... they, gave, they gave it to the gave it to the champ. I was like, man, the champ don't need freaking 50k. Like, I think right. that was like maybe like, like my second, my second UFC fight. I was like, yo, all hundred percent. Polar bears, by the way, with the seven months, much love and appreciation. All subs go support the American Cancer Society. Of course, now they're showing the video I just played. Timing, timing, but that's all right. So, what do you think in this fight, chat? What do you all think? Let me move. Let me change this up. By the way. Salamander UK with the 250,000 and the other 143 of you with 1.4 milli. GG and good luck. Now let's see where we're at with the next one. Aldana Nunez. All right, we got 150,000. Delta Hedge 150,000 on Nunez. We got over here Salamander UK 250,000 on Aldana. Those hands. Look at those hands. Look at those elbows. what What are the actual odds? It's probably Nunez by a lot, isn't it? I thought it was like 275 underdog for Aldana. Uh, is 320, that is it I plus thought. 265? This says for Aldana. Negative 320 for Nunez. Yeah. First egg, I would you say know, like, fighting the number 10 guy and taking it on short notice, that actually is pretty gangster. I'd have to give him something. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it. yeah. I think uh, because it's flyweight, they're not going to show no love. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say, you know, they discriminate against flyweight. <laughs> They're not going to show any love. Yeah, uh, I could see Aldana like catching her with something and maybe stunning her and hurting her. Like, oh, I just don't see another path of victory other than that, though. Yeah. I like, honestly think as soon as the fight man. starts, Amanda might literally just drop down for a takedown. You yeah, know, just go in, just grab her, take I her down, and beat her up on the ground. Schmidt 511 just asked a good one Does Oliveira stay in the division if he loses to Islam again? Of course. I mean, what's yeah, he going to do? Go to 170? No nah, way. He yeah, he's not he going to 170. 170. Was he done trying to cut the 45? Yeah, I don't think he can make it anymore. Yeah, I don't think he makes 145 either. Yeah. He, I mean, he could bulk up and go to 170, I guess, but man, he's going to be 170. Undersized. Yeah, that's why you run into all those wrestlers, you know? <laughs> so just, nah. just, just leave me. Leave me. Yeah, leave him alone. And some of those wrestlers are starting to get knockout power, too. I got my Sarukian making his, he's running again. I can't, come on. Sarukian is going to be the one. Now I, I oh man, got to get him back up there. We'll have to see. Huh? But we'll have to see. I don't know with this one though. I'm pumped. I'm pumped with Taldana. This is going to be, I, I don't know. I feel it. I feel it. Look at, what's that? A Green Ranger, a Kush, Nunez all the way. I Man, I don't, y'all don't feel, you don't feel the, the, is it just me? The upset? I bet. I I don't. Know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. see it. She's. I don't. She's... I don't. I don't see it either. I don't see it. Either. Mexico is very in right now, though. Mexico is so in right now. So, may maybe, but I I'm think I'm gonna Amanda's get a lot of heat taken. on what just changed my mind. But yeah, no, I can't say it. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah, I can't say it. But how close? Because I know, um, and now to say, what's um, the Venezuelan Vixen? She the, wants, yeah, but it wasn't even that first fight that she won. She wasn't like she just kept on catching Amanda with these because Amanda <laughs> but, was just super tired. You see those punches, yeah. those punches were horrifying. They're arm punches, like they're amazing. I'm not being negative. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I, I, I try to describe arm punch, it instead really, of saying it, but really, I'm glad you said there's no it. I'm glad you said it. Turning of any kind. They were straight windmill <laughs> hey, punches. Hey, and it was and she hey. just capitalized and giggled on it the second time. But the way she's talking, <laughs> she's like, We're one and one, we're running it back. I was like <sighs> I don't know. She kind of, she stomped a, she kind of put the boots to you. I, I always tell the younger guys, the amateurs, if it works, it works, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, hey, she she hit Amanda with this combination a good 20 times in that fight. A hundred percent until <laughs> Nunez came in in shape and then she just capitalized on it. And yeah, it was like, yeah. but it, it worked because she was smothering her. She was charging her, yeah, was getting right yeah. in her face and right to the grappling and, <laughs> All that, but the striking was oh man, it was it was it was air dot. It's air dot hey, where you're hey, just man. arm punching. 
And I'm not hey. being negative, but it was. It was just on hey, point. Hey, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, and it, <laughs> it worked, worked the first time. It the second time, I was like, man, I don't know. Is it like, <laughs> but I mean, I forgot. I forgot who said it. Um, it, it was mom cardio boxing. <laughs> it, was, it, was mom, it, was, it was a mother's cardio. Oh boxing. man, man, but it worked. Man. Hey, it you worked want a on the first one because she wasn't. She just wasn't. But now. But again, her mind was else. Her mind was somewhere else. She wasn't training that hard, and she got she got exposed. You know what I mean? And, and that's what the, can this happen this time? Or Yo, has if, Nunes if Aldana, had that one time, and, and and like she's done? You know what I mean? She's never gonna step back in there. I'll tell like you she what, did Jazz, that first time. If I see Aldana do this one time, I'm picking Aldana right now. You know we can't bet anymore, but if I could, and I see her do this one time. I'm betting money on Aldana. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. The one thing about watching Aldana, her, I do like her punches. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she can clean. turn that body. She, she looks clean. Clean. And her lead hook, man. Her her left hook is something. Yeah, she looks clean. Oh, is this me? Nine this first round finishes. Second most significant strikes in UFC Bantamweight history with 73, 773. Only up kick knockout in... No, to the body in UFC history. Yep. With against Macy Tasson, 9, 10, 22. Aldana. We shall see. We shall see. All right. But Yo, Nunes not coming out here soon. It really does. Like, if Nunes comes out like I'm the lion, the goat, and just trained, uh -huh. oh, forget about it. It's going to be, it'll be, like I yeah. said, that's what's going to make this fight, in my mind, so much fun, is if Aldana can turn this into a scrap, and then we get to watch to get Nunes level up. Oh, I'll be pumped. She's going to have to get her respect early. She's going to have to hurt her. Uh, Real Life Pena says, um, Oh, real life says Pena was landing a lot of jabs. It's just that her follow-ups was ugly. So if Aldana can land technical jabs, then she'll be able to do well. From from remember that fight, I, I think like it was that. like Nunez was you kind of doing her typical, I'm gonna stalk you down and hurt you. And then Pena got her respect with a couple shots. Yeah. And after she got her respect, that's when like she I don't know. She Nunez got putting, so tired, it's like she didn't even train. And that yeah, she had that yeah. going. And I'm not knocking it, but that that's literally one of the biggest things. Obviously, in the second fight, it showed it. When she came in ready to go, pff, whoa. You know what I mean? But absolutely. But that's the one thing is, but she did. And she was she was so aggressive, it worked in in that fight. You know what I mean? But look at her. See, she's serious. She's scary, is, man. She's yeah, scary she's, right she's here. scary. Yeah, she's scary. Does Aldana have a have a ground game? She's got that well. She can definitely. She fired that kick. She's got to have a semi ground she's game. Business. She's coming out there mad. Yeah, she's pipsed. You know, she's like she actually mad right now. I'd almost be a little uh -huh. intimidated right here. It's like, damn, she kind of angry. Like, who did this? This you is know? what happens when it's like I had to I picked the wrong walkout song. So you gotta put on some, like, you gotta put on some, put on some headphones. Oh, I oh. wonder what company that is then if they're letting her wear that for the UFC. A hundred. What was the one that you said? Lioness. Used to have to wear all oh, the that's time? probably hers. Yeah, it says oh, Lioness. Her own brand there, maybe or something. I don't know. That's oh, she got Lioness by Beats. What's up? Yeah, the UFC is not gonna just let you wear anything. So it has to be somebody that's <laughs> Something that's going there on. There used to be a pair of headsets. They had everybody wearing their, what, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. right? I can't read it. I'm trying. Yeah, it says Lioness on the top, Lioness on the side. On the ears? All right. Yeah, it says Lioness on the side, too. Dang. She going to wear those right into the cage. Nope. Yeah, right. Yeah. Them up. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, I'm telling you what, though. Here it goes. Man, she, man. This girl, oh, go ahead. We got Amanda Nunes here, UFC Bantamweight and Featherweight Champion. Uh, tied most wins in UFC women's history and most finishes in UFC women's history as well. Yeah, you forget the fact that she still holds both the belts. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, they just don't have anyone in that division. 
See, and Herb Santa's tone, I can tell by the look on Nunez's face, W. I yes, I'm a little I'm I'm in Tim this is the this yes. <laughs> she looks she looks lean too, you know. Yes. She's um that, that fight you were talking about with road work. There's been a yeah, lot of training. She looks lean. Yeah. Aldana's gonna have to get her respect early. And I get it's gotta be with that lead hook. Bip! Oh, it's gotta be quick. Oh, I can't wait to see the first 30 seconds. Come on. This is where you get this is where you get a little fired up. This is where you get fired up. Do we have the uh submission? You have that's not a bad too. that that prop bet is not bad for um submission. Nunes went by submission. Plus four hundred. Ooh. Wait, it's plus four hundred. Yeah, that's I, I'm, that's very surprising because I would think Nunes past the victory is to go straight takedown and look for a submission. Look at the know? great Bombanga. What does she retire tonight? Does she? The question that is, does she retire on top no, with the W no tonight, way. or is no there way. more? Is there <laughs> more Amanda to see? With, with the amount, of, with the amount of gap that Amanda has between her and those um the other fighters, I will fight forever. You gotta wait uh, until somebody uh, catches you. Yeah, you go for like yeah. the you go for the record most title defenses or something. Yeah, or just set know, one that no one's ever that, gonna though. match. No one's ever gonna you know, but she's got to go back and start over. So, so you got to get at least a, get tan in there. But we shall see. We shall see. By the way, UFC YouTube, love and appreciation at UFC Streams on Twitter and UFC Fight Pass on Facebook. How y'all doing? Oh, he kept his feet firmly planted. No, no hop. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. He still got to do the it's time. Yep, yep, yep. But he, why did he yell the now? Well, he yelled that one for, and now. Oh, here it comes. All right, he's yeah, just yelling yeah, for the yeah, shits yeah, out. Yeah, he's I'm in his fields. He's jumping. Shit, he's jumping. You're on the big right screen, here. Bruce. You know, he, be he better not jump. Yes, uh, he did. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, a it was, it was a hop. safe. It was a safe jump. That was yeah, a was double a... bunny hop. I got, hey, both feet left the canvas for a, a split. But it, man, he started off with, and now he's been in his fields. Yo, where can I find the fight? Uh, I wouldn't. Don't ask that. <laughs> yeah, at, somebody asked. Somebody asked for a link on YouTube. At, the link at, is at yeah, UFC.com. That. See, that'll <laughs> get you banned just like that. This is the official UFC stream. You can't ask that. But you can do exclamation watch Crazy, UFC yeah. on how you can find it. Crazy. All right. Acting like y'all are excited over this. You think this is a weak main event? You're crazy. You are crazy. Hey, man, I love all fights, bro. It doesn't I love matter what all it is. fights. That's what I I'm love saying. all fights. It doesn't I'm matter like, what man, it fighting is. Fighting in general. Fighting in general. Lays <laughs> AB's like, huh? I'm not acting. I'm enjoying this. You a one dimensional fight fan. <laughs> the fun thing about this is it's like, hey, something crazy could happen. Everybody, oh, thinks, everybody thinks it's gonna go well, like and that's the same thing what the, everybody thought with Pena, and then we're like just blows you away. Defending. Oh because hey baby, it's fighting. A hundred percent. You never know what can happen. happen. Yeah. It's MMA. You never yeah, know that's what they're saying. They say, "I never heard of Irene. Do you think she actually has a chance, or the UFC just doing a great job of promoting it?" She absolutely yeah, has. Yeah, a it's chance. MMA. And like but, we were saying before, on the feet, I definitely give her a chance because she's a lot cleaner than Amanda. Although Amanda's um straight punches have a little bit more power on them, but Irene has definitely better um like strikes coming out hands right. only. Who's oh, the Irene, looks, Irene looks big favored. too. She looks the heavily favored fighter though. Nunes. She's the heavily favored favorite one. And she should be. But, it's up to Aldana but, to go out there and shock the world. Yeah, but you never know. You never know, baby. And she could shock it. Maybe yeah, ish. Mexico yeah, is so in shot, right man. now, man. Let's it's see. True. Let's see if she can get yeah, it done. You're, you're so right, man. Like, there'll be <laughs> another one. Uh, Amanda is about to die yeah, for a double A. <laughs> what, that's right. what everybody said about Alexa Grasso when she just fought Shevchenko. That's 100%. We're going to stop everybody right there because nobody even expected. I didn't. I never no expected did. that with Grasso no and Shevchenko. We're like, yeah. ah, Shevchenko just made her way out of the out of the super cloud. She's going to show down there and just show all these mortals. And then yeah. all of a sudden, wait, what? Never expected that. These kicks, though, by... 
by Nunez. That was a great, great calf kick. Snap kick, calf kick. So this is that's one of the things that happened with somebody that's so boxing heavy that yes. they almost stand sideways. When I fought Mike Davis, when I was watching a film on him and I saw how boxing heavy he was, I was like, man, I'm just going to calf kick him. That as lead much leg, as 100, right? Yeah. 100% all day. Kick the inside of that thing, kick the calf. Yeah. Especially the ones that still stand like with their legs turned in. Yeah. You know, it's like you're not going to be able to turn your leg off fast enough to check it. She's doing a good job. I like that Aldana's circling. Yeah. And she's um, opened up her foot, her foot too. You know, it, was, it wasn't as turned sideways as it was before. Oh. Ooh, don't oh, do that. She sold the knee. I don't like how yeah, she dropped that hand. Yeah, don't do that. But we shall see. We shall see. She nice. blocked it. Now, the only problem with the way that she blocks that is the punch that might come up, that might come right after by for mm -hmm. Nunez, right? Because she kind of blocked it with both hands, that deep kick. She grabbed it. There we go. Oh, okay. she stepped <laughs> Wait, back. Wait, why did she let her, her back up? All right, to let her know I can snatch that leg at any time. <laughs> oh, that is surprising. When she, like, she just dropped it. down and snatched. She did a quick single leg snatch and dropped her. Now, look, there's a one, two. Oh, Nunez is gonna. Yeah, I love and it. Like, like you said, now Irene is like changing levels. Every time she see Nunez drop down, Irene is nervous. A hundred percent nervous. Yeah, nervous. She, she, yeah, hundred percent. Think uh, she's almost like overreacting to these things, right? Yeah, it's yep. all of it's her strike. She's it's, it's too much. Ooh, those snap kicks are dumb. So you're trying to force things right now. Yeah, even Cormier just said it too. Yeah. It's like overreactions, man. Yeah. I think Aldana's trying to catch an uppercut. <laughs> you know, like the, the old boxing rhetoric. If she you likes try to take that me down, uppercut. uppercut. She you. likes that rear, but, you know, I think, yeah. like I said, the biggest thing that would happen is here she is on the main stage fighting for the world title. And you just get those jitters. You know what I mean? It just, yeah. it happens. And you yeah. just kind of, you don't want to make a mistake. And you end up just trying to be too perfect and catch everything. And you forget about your game plan along the way because you just don't want to make a boo boo and get caught. And then yeah. look at the lioness is just hunting you. Like it's, it, it's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Irene is just stuck, man. Irene is stuck. Mm -hmm. She needs to have a conversation. She get through this Almost round and open like conversation with the corner. Sorry. Like, yes, exactly. The same way Nate yeah. started. Kind of yeah. having your hand hands up too tight, all shelled up. I, Irene got to do something, man. She's just watching and, and blocking. I'm not sure if she's throwing a punch yet. There, okay. See, that that's what I like. She needs to start establishing a jab. Otherwise, Nunez, you know how that is, Sadiq. You start, everything you do just starts landing, and you just, all of a sudden, that momentum just starts rolling. Yeah. She's got to throw a jab and start getting this back, or a Nunez is going to run right over the top of her. Mm -hmm. And in a situation like this, this is what you should do when you're the champ, is go out there and catch them while they have those, those nerves in the beginning. You got to jump yeah. off real quick and establish. Man, she's trying let to get your her hands drop go her hands or something with like how she keeps going for this. Oh, uh, this nice forty-five for or Nunez. And she's like already. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the idea is behind that. Yeah, like she keeps grabbing the her. snatch single and then letting go. Because she's able to do that right there. That dip down open gets her to drop the hands, and so she uh -huh. can catch up. There we go. Oh, oh she, she caught her, and caught she her. caught her. That's hey. your respect. You got her. Yeah. Her respect yeah. now. Go, yeah. go attack. Hundred percent. That was one punch too. That was the only punch she landed, and it did and it did numbers. Maybe that's what she wants. Maybe she wants to try to counter strike. That was a good moment right there. Look yeah. at it, froze her. Look at that. That yeah, one right hand. Now punch. look at. Guess who's yeah, not one moving punch forward? Yeah. The whole game. And now she's sitting back and trying. Now she's going to try to go toe to toe a little bit and try to catch. But that just that one punch changed it. Yeah, her corner is gonna have to um get in her mind, man. Get in her head. Like, hey, you could hurt this girl, you know? Uh -huh. Let your hand go. And she's really got those hands up high. I like that. Getting them back. One hundred percent out. Two hundred percent back. There you go. Leg kick a piece. Leg kick a piece. Uh, oh. Do Lebowski? Yes, Adana is a replacement. Um relatively late not late you know but she is a replacement. Uh -huh. i'll say she had about what like a month a yeah for this fight yeah mm, yeah something like that i like what maybe a little it. more but somebody needs to get in her ear and hype her up man you know it's like you're you're doing good just let your hands go 
Yeah, this isn't one of those, I went five rounds with the champ kind of attitude. Nah, yeah, man, I'm going to go out there. I'm yeah. going to take this belt. You got to you gotta, you gotta get that inner gangster and just what? You know what I mean? And go out uh -huh. there and make the most of it. I think that that was actually the biggest thing with Pena is like she came in with a mindset was like, I'm going to, I'm going to beat. Oh, she minute. just walked in like I a boss that, and I'll give her I that. I think that was probably no like one fear. of the biggest things because yeah. I, I think most of them come in with the mindset of like, I got to be real careful. I got to be real safe. Cautious, you know? safe. Don't get caught by anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. All right, let's see. Now we'll see. Like, and that's the thing, Amanda's. You know, she's not running over. She's not running. She's not running. She's not running away with it. Is what I meant to say. And then see how mm -hmm. she, see how Adonna keeps selling that rear uppercut. She sells that rear uppercut for the over aggression side of it, but that jab. Nice job, Nunez, with the jab. Don't let those don't let that stance get too far apart, Aldana. Yeah. There she comes. Aldana, you gotta let your hands go, man. Uh-huh. And it is is she I'm not sure if I remember her being finished by knockout, but she's so guarded, you would think like she's worried about like getting like a being chin. KO'd. Yeah, you know, like but I don't think she has like a chin problem, you know? Like shoot the your shot. Only the only thing I can think is that their their game plan right now is that Nunez is eventually going to get tired gotta of this. Slow and down. To, and no, oh. I, I don't think it's slow down. I think it's like they're eventually she's going to get tired of this and try to walk her down and finish the fight, and maybe yeah. they can counter her. Like that's the only thing I'm I'm thinking at this point because otherwise this she's is just... popping her with that jab. She's got to stay in there after that jab. Aldana does. She's just holding on to her visor, doing the right thing, and then yeah. when the punch is coming out, she closes her hands up. She keeps that visor going, but she's got to stay in there for more than she can't just sit back here with just one. Look, now yeah, she's, you gotta throw she's your flinching. Hands. You got to start throwing because here comes, here she comes, man. Here comes Nunez. She's going to just kick loose here in a second. Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't think that they would think she was getting tired, would get there tired, right? Because I don't, yeah. I don't think Amanda's really ever had a cardio issue in any of her fights. No, no, she she used to have a bad cardio issue. Oh, did back she? In the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very so bad. maybe, maybe. So it it just went away until the Pena fight. But early I on see. in her career, she would be dominating females and then gas out at the end. Oh, see, oh, there nice. it is. I told you she's selling that yeah, snatch to the leg, right. and then you got her to over. She it's overreacted. And she popped up and threw those two hooks. And this is the problem: is Aldana's going to sit back and end up watching too much of this fight. And by the yeah. time she wants to get into it, the 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 momentum train of, of Nunez right. will just be taken off. She's yeah. already dropping right. down to that leg a little bit, and when she kicks back, came up firing. Aldana, you got to throw something. You got to, you got to, you know, that's the other thing is she's trying to be too perfect. She doesn't want to miss yeah. at anything. Now you've got her, you got Nunez literally coming in and throwing two Throw elbows. elbows. Yeah. Yeah. Throw you throw elbow. in with the oh. She grabbed your single leg. You got, you got her doing pads on you. I'm just like, hey, if you can chuck her down so easy, why well, would, I think she gets on toppings, round Stay and bounces this and ends yeah. this. Yeah. Playing with her food, maybe. <laughs> like, well, she is, but that's you know, and that's the thing is, but what it does is make sure Aldana doesn't step forward with any type of aggression because wow. this happens. You're gonna wow. have to walk through this initial shot and give it back. You're gonna have to get it, in this, this phone booth and start fighting. To get bad. Yep. I mean, she's not taking a lot of damage, but she's not really fighting back. She's hey, not doing that anything. calf kick, that calf kick, um, I think hurt Amanda. Yeah, or pissed her off. <laughs> hey, I think it hurt her because her manager like literally reached down to try to grab the leg. Yeah. Yeah, when you go that low to block. Yeah, something's going on. Come on, don't just sit here and watch. She's aiming way throw, too much. Throw, 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 throw. There we go. You see? You see the calf again? Yeah. She reached down again. Mm, She's got to like... be more offensive. I, I think she's starting to see the calf. Yeah. Oh, and we Amanda got a stance. Did we just switch up the stance? Yeah. I think Amanda realized it too. It's like, okay, I think she's just trying to go after my calf now. Swap back. Is there again? She keeps those hands up. She keeps weaving in. Oi. Why is she throwing? Good head movement. It's crazy. But 
So the same thing. She's just kind of walking forward. Nunez is kind of just plodding backwards a little bit. And then when she lets it, decides to let it go, she went back to her right hand. So that would kick that calf. There it was again. Now here comes Amanda charging forward a little bit. But. Nice. Get, oh, big one, two for Nunez. All right. This is getting, I got to see what the strike count is. They got to hype her up, man. Give her some coffee or something. Yep, do something, man. Show her, man. Go out to that calf. Give her a direction. Let her know she might have just gotten lost in the situation. What's she doing? She's too busy. There we oh, go. Okay. Oh. Hey, I'll take, take it. I'll take, I'll take it. it. I want to see how she pushes away. And she does. Uh, she pushes oh, away. Man, Amanda don't want to be on the ground. That's, that's funny. Hey, that calf is doing good, man. Oh. And a now calf she's doing back. Uh -huh. A calf of peace right there. Amanda is switching stances. I think, I think her leg is hurt. So there we go. We found something. Uh-huh. Started corner. loosening up a little bit. Yeah, corner got to let her know. It's time to start spamming that. She needs to get that. She needs to get that rock going, Aldana, so she can rock that faint. Boom, boom. And then faint. Just kind of get that that forward, just that little faint motion. Boom, boom, boom. And set with, it up. With, with how good that head kick it. was, I could see Aldana getting a head kick knockout, man. I don't know. <laughs> Surprise. Hey, it could yeah, happen. Yeah, I could see Aldana getting the... Because if Amanda keeps reaching down for that calf kick, man... It could get it could get ugly. All right, all right, chat. All right. Round three. Well, that's another thing. Do you worry about it? Five rounds. How many times has Aldana gone five rounds? She worried about her gas tank. She trying to is she Maybe. trying to save it? And that's another thing, right? You kind of just gotta let it go. You know, but again, rookie, not rookie mistakes, but first time mistakes, the nerves, the jitters, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And then you want to make sure you can make it all five rounds that can, yeah, it's so great, you know? Yeah. If she turns it up here, then you're probably right. More commentary, it's please. Deep. We're working on it more. All right, here we go. Right back out to the center. And I like it, but. See, this is the thing. Amanda Aldana's got to stop trying to block everything and start countering. Does that make sense? She's got to yeah. start countering instead of blocking. And that's the one thing. Look, she's making sure she blocks everything, gets bullied all the way out of the situation, keeping her hands up high. And here comes Nunez. She's going to run over the top of her until you fire that right hand and throw something back. Even though she's like trying to block everything, she's it's really not blocking much. No, at the same but time. then yeah, but the point of not, what I'm saying is, yeah. but she's spending so much time trying to block, she's got no offense. She's not throwing anything anywhere in the process. And then she gets Amanda gets to step back, reset, and start over. I mean, we're look literally yeah. it's sixty four to fifteen total strikes. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Come on, Donna. You had something going with the kicks. There, keep moving uh, forward there and faint back and now rock right there. There was hey, the job. I'll, I'll tell you what. Fire. I'll tell you what. Amanda, she's not she tired, so but it, it is, it is, yeah. Amanda is starting to look a little sloppy. Yeah, um, she's throwing big shots, and it, those are the ones you get her to miss and you capitalize. Yeah, Amanda's starting to look a little sloppy. Now Irene just got to fire back, man. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, hey, look at that. This, look at Amanda just on her feet. She, she's almost backwards. shot off her best weapon, which is boxing. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. And I just like want to know what the game plan is, too, because it's like you're just going to cover up and walk forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, nice. At what point? Nice takedown for Nunes, but Aldana gets right back up to her feet. Nunes yeah, is going to lock that like, right, right, takedown don't again. Accept it. Don't it's accept time. It. Don't accept it's, it. Don't there accept she goes. That. She's going to go for yeah. half guard. Now Donna's going to try to push on the leg and get the knee, try to get her guard back. Here we go. Ground and pound. She has a decent underhook, you know. Oh, no, she let it go. There you go. She's going to oh, get that butterfly. leg back up, try to push yeah, away. GG. There's the knee shield. We'll have to see. Look at that. She's doing everything she can. Nunez doing everything she can to hold on to that. What a lot of pyro. She's going to hold on to that head. Oh, no, it is. Smash past that knee. So that's the one thing right here. Pushed on the face. She just. Just, just manhandling. Yeah, for lack she's of a better just term. Yeah. Right now on the see, like, I, 
I feel like at any point she could have just done this and just dominate the ground game right here. Yeah. Doing a good job. There Obama we go. Good, good butterfly. Watch, out. watch her you knees. Go. Army guillotine again. Oh, oh nice. Right big trip when she released the head and then went for the trip. I like it. I like it. Very nice. Held on hey, that yeah. head and then when she popped up, boom, let her go up and took her straight back down again. Heartbreaking. Now she's going to step off to the side Stand and let her up. up. Not ish. Take her, back. take her back. Belly to back. You won't do it. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen any um, female fighters do that. No. <laughs> Try to turn it. Nope. Oh, now she's going to oh, take her back. Oh, Dang. She under. just did that to you. That she just quick. tripped you down to the ground. That. Now she's going to try to look like you got Aldana on all fours trying to fight the hands. You've got Nunez. She's up a little high, but going to try to get the feet in, get the hooks in, for and take the back. She's looking for a triangle. She's looking for a triangle. Is she going to try is, now? Aldana's oh, going to come out oh, the back arm to the armbar. Arm 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 she's got, she's got that fence. Like she that. can't flatten out. Yeah, yeah step up. Uh oh. She had it. Stay oh. on her. Now you got to stay on her. Don't oh, let Donna, her up. You let Don't her up. let her up. You're not even going to oh. throw punches. You just took two shots. Oh. All right. Done. Yeah, I think Aldana's starting to... Um, I think she's... Yeah, yeah check done. out. Yeah. She looks tired. Look at that. She looks... Yeah. That's what Cormier just said, too. Her, 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 her yeah. base... Oh, her base doesn't look strong at all. Come on. There you go, man. At some point, you're just going to have to bite down. And either go for the win and just let it uh, all, let it uh, all. Annika saying the um the look in her eyes when she was walking out looked like she didn't believe in herself or something. Those oh, going composure. after that title, right? Just being on wow. the main event, going for the yeah, belt. It's, it's like she's actually getting a fighter, and that this could have be could be a way better fight. It's yeah. more like the moments big, too big, you know. Yeah. Right now, like oh, it's the minutes. there we go. Oh, now she's big fighting right back. Knees to the head. Oh, right, go out on your shield. Back. Exactly. Yeah, Tough enough because here comes Nunez. Yeah. Go out on your shield. You have nothing to lose, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's almost it's she could actually, you know, be exchanging with Nunez and doing decent. I, it, she's a better fighter than what she's shown so far. Yeah. Over But hey, sometimes yeah, it's the it's more on the mental side of things, man. Fight for that belt. Deer in the mm. headlights. Yeah, the moment for that belt changes you. Though. A huge Ooh. moment, main Press event, main event, event is title pressure. You're, you're 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 fighting at twelve forty five in the morning. You know, <laughs> it's like hey hey. Sometimes it matters. I remember uh, um, one, one, one of my amateur respect. fights. I fought two o'clock in the morning. It was the trippiest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're you're like, ready to go to sleep. Especially yeah. like weight cut two days before. Yeah. Maybe you didn't sleep well. Now you have to be up till two. Like yeah. Thank you, corner man. <laughs> You're not punching her. All right. Now you kind of want, want to see Nunez like, put it away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to see if yeah. she can. You I know what I mean? That. I get that. Now, now if Aldana and see somehow if Aldana get will this try win. to fight back. You know what yeah. I mean? There we go. Come on. All I right, want to yeah, see if go. Aldana will try to fight back. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad even if she got knocked out, if she, if she goes for it, you know? There we go. Or maybe she's this bad. is what she was saving her for. She was saving her for the championship round. Exactly, because she knows she's got she made it past the first two. Like, all right, now I can't sit here and worry about my, my cardio, my gas tank, because I'm in the last two rounds. But like hopefully her corner told you you can't just sit here and what and do nothing. You've hey, got twenty eight total strikes. Twenty eight total strikes. She's attacking now, though. Much uh, better situation. And I hope she just keeps going. There's that rear uppercut that she likes. Absolutely. You need to start there with the jab. Boom. See, I like that sell. And then come back with that cross. Man, I get okay. in close. And... Oh, oh nice. Nice. boy, oh, look at those jabs. Nice. Oh, look at that. There's that phone booth. Stay in there. Stay nice. in there. Watch Stay Nunez go ham. Yeah, oh, she here is she too. comes. Another big left jab. Another jab. Big jabs for, for Nunez. Another jab. Man, Not Nunez is a boss. Trying to get bloody up a little bit. Yeah. Come on. Nose bleeding. Come on. Look at that. Arena is taking jab. them all. The jabs jab, are jab, just jab. crazy. For Nunez. Another jab. Boop. Oi. Wow. Yeah, now it's just boop oh. on her. 
Double leg, gonna go in for the double leg, but she was able to fend nice. it off. Here she comes. Just walk her down, Nunez. Make a statement at this point. Aldana, you gotta have to do something. Oh, get up a cut try. Let's we'll see right there, buddy. Sorry, I'm watching chat. Uh -huh. See that? Do you see that? The, the, the 30 seconds of downtime. Uh huh. Oh. We're in for a takedown again. There you go. She blocked it. There you got go. Oh, yeah, she held defense. on too long and took three shots from Nunez after she got the failed takedown. She was holding on yeah. to that arm, thought she was going to get a couple of knees off. Tyrone Israel yeah, said Nunez is bullying that, yeah. her at this point. And yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty Do much. It. Do it. Run her over. There you go. That level change. Pop it. Pop. Go. Come on, Eldana. If you're going to just sit there and she can't just, she can't. It's like she can't just let it go. You know what I mean? Just get quote unquote sloppy. Just start firing. Boom. She steps in. Double leg for the nice. third. Oh, it's a good try. Try to snatch that arm up. Uh, Yeah, Ghost, I can see her retiring. But with the gap she has, it's like turning down free money, you know? So I don't, yeah. I don't know why she would retire. Yeah, I, I she almost seemed like she wanted to a while ago, though. She was talking about it after. Oh, push, 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 push. What, do I train at all? I just lift weights and run. That's about it, yes. <laughs> look, look for the head kick, Aldana. Right? It's like, who was just saying that about, like, poor Leon? Poor yeah. Leon. I'm trying yeah. to think of who was just saying that. Leon and we're true. Oh, Hugo likes cakes. Aldana needs to, needs to pull a Leon Edwards at this point. A hundred. But if she's not willing to go for broke, that's the problem, right? You get kind of into this momentum, and you can't get out of it. She's just so busy trying to stay safe oh, that yeah, she's right. just half-heartedly throwing one shot out there. She's got to just somehow let go of that and just bite down and throw down. Boom. Nice. Even though man is going to crack you with rights, but you got to come back. Boom. There it is. Side Look, coach. nice Ooh. knee. Got to fire a knee up the center. There you go. Look, now she's going to – now you got to fight. Look at that. She's changing levels and makes you it. flinch. There we go. Nice fight. Take it to her at least a little bit, Aldana. Come on. Yes. For sure. Yes. Look at that big right hand wow. right there for Nunez again. Her, her She's nose stepping is in that jacked. lead elbow. 100. Pop, pop, pop. Come on. Look at Nunez. I like it. Just a boss. Boom, boom. Uh, I no, like it, man. I no, like it. I don't think it's a bad leader. fight for whoever wrote that in the comment. I just oh, think big right man hand. is just ahead. Another Nunez. Oh, another Nunez. Uh -huh. Boom with that jab. 132 yeah, total is... strikes to 37. Oh, holy with hell. With five takedowns. She just froze. Oh, 132 to, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my. Boom. Ooh, Rips her right to the body, body shot. Body shot right there. Yeah, it's like now she's like practicing on you, you know? Yeah. Boom, oh. boom, boom. Yeah. Right. She just Big did a two, hand. three, two. Right there. For she not no, oh, now she's trying to spin off the elbow. elbow. Yeah, you see, like Let's this is go. when somebody starts doing like Yay. practice moves. They start like training on you. Like they're uh -huh. <laughs> throwing body shots from 10 yards away, spinning elbows. I like, like that a... she's making kind of a statement-ish. Yeah. On the idea. Yes, Pena has definitely got she's got that wrestling factor and she's just got that. She just got no fear. She'll get out there. But I yeah. like what Nunez is doing Absolutely. right here, which is, oh, I'm gonna go all five rounds. I'm gonna get better as I do it. So, you know what I mean? She just she's taking these fights serious. There's just nothing she can do to get out of this rhythm she's stuck in. Which is true. Whenever she cut, um, let her hands go, she's doing well. And she's got to get into it, though. You know what I mean? She's got to she's got to get in there, throw one, two, eat one, two, one, two, and just got to get in a phone booth, right? And just start brawling. That's the only thing she has to do. You know what I'm saying? She's yeah. got to just get this thing brawling. Tell her to go for it. Go out on your shield. What do they say all the time, right? She's very scared of the knockout. She's wanting to make yeah. sure, like we were saying from the yeah. first couple of rounds. Sometimes I wonder, like, sure with these corners. Everything. It's like, what, why, like, why weren't you, like, telling her more of this stuff, like, already in, like, the second and third round? Boom. Come on, come on. 
Her manager is in cruise control, just keep it going. Now, Donna, look, she's moving forward, but not with the jab. She eats one too as she moves forward and then the jab. I know she wants to get comfortable and she's nice. worried about that shot. There was nice. a good knee. Following up, she's gonna try to get this takedown. The up trip coming, trip coming. We got a takedown. Yeah, we got a this takedown. is what I figured. She's gonna try to ride a takedown to a win. Should dive in on that leg. She's smothering it, smothering it. Yes, yes, one hundred percent. So and yeah, man, is she just it, she was in control from Jump Street, and Aldana just couldn't do enough to get her to back her up. We shall see, though. I like it. Nunez is going to out here control her on the ground in the guard, yeah. start throwing left. Yeah, beat her up here. A hundred to smother her. Safer, you know, safer. Oi, let's go. You got to try to push away, push away. Can she yeah, try to get I, up? I, I think the, the story happen. of this fight is over. <laughs> but yeah. I, I would like to see her try to exert something. Just kick away, flail, do something. Exactly. Yep. Yep. I, it mo I think they fight everybody else hurt. like a boss, but they don't fight the yeah, champ. Yeah, they don't they fight freeze. her the same. They freak yeah. out I mean, they fight the champ, but it's for that belt. I'm telling I you. I think that is one of the biggest things for not just Pena that she did, but what Grasso did against Shevchenko. They come in and they have a different mindset. They're like, yes. I'm going to win this fight. Yep. They, I'm gonna, I mean, they, they expect to win the fight. I'm going in the deep water right off the bat. I'm willing to risk everything. Yeah. I'm do everything it takes. You know what I mean? To go out on my shield, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do everything I can. So when I walk away, I'm like, did I just make it to go five rounds? Yay for me. Or did I actually go out there and try to do everything I can to win it? Not be sloppy, but at the same token, not be so cautious that you just get beat up in the process. Mm -hmm. It's got to be one of the worst ways to lose because you, afterwards you'd be like, why didn't I just like do more? Why didn't I try more? Like Even if I get knocked out, even if I... Well, we could say guaranteed this isn't getting any bonuses. No, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think the bonuses are going to the undercard guys. Yeah, but you know, I the, the one thing though is I think Amanda did. I think Amanda did good by just going. Oh yeah, five of rounds course. And controlling. Man, I'm yeah. never mad at the winner. Yeah, <laughs> I'm never mad at the you winner. You know, I just body think shots, again, body shots, dude. Those gotta be body nasty. shots. She's in the I mean, mouth Those position. are nasty, dude. Over and over the body shots. Nunez, yeah, now she's gonna sit up, try to put her away. She could. If she wants to. She can start posturing up and dropping. Fight of the bottom. night. We were going uh, Ige and Landwehr. Yeah. And then performance. We got a couple of performances, but we'll break that down really quick after this fight. Because we got to do the fight of the night and all that. Yo, she she she's could. She's got man. full mount. And she's able to sit there. She's just keeping it smothered. And now she, she can just try to sit up and look for that arm triangle. Amanda's smiling. No, right? <laughs> We're not even watching the fight anymore. All right, wow. I want to. Yeah, yeah, hey man, I, mean, we, I get it. I get it. She's gonna turn her over. Don't turn over. over. She's gonna try to get guard Arm back. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, no. She had it if she wanted it. Now she's back to the mount again. Nunez back in the mount. Boom. I, I, Irene is gonna feel very disappointed with herself. That's oh, for fight. sure. It's gonna suck. It's the worst way to lose is going out there and realizing afterwards that like, man, I, I, I didn't, I didn't shoot my shot. Yeah, know? exactly. Legacy like I got chat. Who's winning this fight? I haven't watched it. any of it. I'm guessing Nunez. Nunez is dominating. Yes. Yeah, she just dominating. She's got the mount right ball. now with 43 seconds left. I mean, she and is she's like just, giving she's her just the ripping arm body shots. Right now she she's it. beating her up. She's looking for that arm triangle still. Yeah, and there, there it is. is. If she can, she's not. She doesn't even want to go for it. She doesn't even want to go for it. She just got now. She beat her up. Thought about for a second. 20 seconds left, sitting in full mount, smothering, back, and just dominating. Dominating, dominating. Six takedowns, 194 punches, and counting. Look at that. Ripping elbows. Wow. Yeah. All four rounds. Look at that. Just ripping body shots. Oy. Bombs. Just throwing bombs here at the end. Yep. Sitting oh, up. Wow, just that is bad. Done. Wow. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah. I truly thought 100%. on the all down side that she would want it more. 
But yeah. maybe she just got beat up in the process too. There's nothing you can really. Yep. You know. Agreed. There's still that little part of me that doesn't want to see women get beat up. <laughs> and I start, I start feeling sad. You know, I feel bad for Irene Aldana. But great yeah. performance by Amanda Nunes. She did great. She looked good. Really good. No, oh, I, I hope she's not I talking she's about saying, retiring. Yeah, I she's think she to just Dana. told him. I think she just told him she's done. Oh wow. I'm pretty sure. I'm and pretty that is sure. very surprising. If I'm her, I'll just keep collecting uh, these checks. Wow. Until, I, I, I think she. I think she isn't. Uh, I think she's like I'm good. You know. I think yeah, that's yeah, where she's at. Yeah. And she had already talked about retiring like a couple fights ago, and then she lost to Pena. I think she planned on it when she lost to Pena, yeah. and then she lost, and then obviously she had to do the comeback. Remedy, the comeback, remedy. Was supposed to do the trilogy and it was like, all right, this is probably my last one. Uh-huh. I think she's gonna hang it up. I think so. Pain is like that. She's gonna go right back in and give me that belt. Give me that belt. Yeah, right. Let's yeah. Go. I mean, because if Amanda leaves, who's the next in line? You, you know? Yeah. No way. Is she retired or she hasn't retired yet. So what do y'all think while we're waiting? And they'll call some things out. What did we say? For the uh, fight of the night, uh, Nate Nate versus Ige Nate performance versus of the night Nate. was um, yeah, it was good, man. Um, Ariel oh, let and let me go big, Mike big, big. Mallet. Boom. There we go. Oh, Chuck. He also had a good finish. I forgot who. So it was. yeah, Nate Landwehr, Dan Ige would be the uh, fight of the night. Fight yeah. of the night, one hundred, and then the performances, right? Mike Mallet, you got it. Yeah. That was nasty. Uh-huh. Oliveira, Oliveira, well. yeah. Sorry, I, I I can't believe I forgot. I'm like, man, who am I forgetting? <laughs> yeah, then, Oliveira. <laughs> do we have anything down? Oh, Zahabi. Yeah, yeah Ariel. Was it Zahabi? Ariel? Gosh, y'all keep throwing me off, and you keep calling him Ariel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. The Andre Barial and uh, Anders fight maybe we even wouldn't find that night too. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, did. that fight started off very, very. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, the first two rounds, well. the first, like, the, all yeah. of them. Like Anders just got tired towards the third. All right, but we have to know these things. You know what I mean? 50, 40, 40, 50, 40, 50, 43. 50, wow. 10 80. Wow. 10 80. Oh, she's not retiring. You don't think so? Heck no. They're going to put him back on. She's going to go run laps. Yeah, or or, or nope, she said she, she was gonna retire and Dana, oh she wants the gloves she off. She wants the gloves off. No, Dana's like Dana's like don't take them off. <laughs> Dana, Dana said don't you just take wait. them off. You wait. Dana, Dana said don't take them off. <laughs> she gonna yeah he's pretty late to talk her. Don't don't, don't you leave don't, yet. Don't you dare take them don't off. You don't you don't you dare. Don't you dare leave yet. Where's the scissors? She's trying to do this. Oh, she's trying to. She's trying to do this. Cutman need to start entering this case. She's putting the belts down. Oh wow. She's doing it. Yeah. There we go. Hey, that's that's a lot more badass than gloves. Leaving with two belts in there. That's dope. Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's dope. That's dope as hell. I'm not gonna lie. That's a great way to retire if you're gonna do it. Double champion forever. Yeah. That's a great way to do That's it. That's how you do. Uh-huh. So now is a perfect For night me. to retire. Live happy forever. Uh-huh. You're okay. You don't got to take off that part, cut, man. Dang. Get the out the way. Apparently, she wanted it. She wants this. Dang, dang. Dana's like, well. <laughs> he he really didn't want her to. I think he went in there and was like, no, don't you dare. And she freaking did it. That's that's a dope that's a dope scene right there, man. That's a great that picture. That is pretty sick. That's a great picture, man. That's impressive. That's impressive. And oh. hopefully, she finds that there happiness. Is, and she's good with it. The crowd is, look at that. It's 
Sudan. Sudan. Ah, oh, that's crazy. What a savage. Uh huh. What went into this decision? Man, the moms uh, keep the taking moms. them from us, dude. No yeah, Amanda Nunez, Khabib the Rocket Man off, man. She's going to travel and she's retiring, chat. She's retiring. Wow. So what else here? I feel rude speaking while she's talking. I can't do it. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. I love it. Thanks. She's just thanking everybody right now. Uh huh. It's impressive. Said I came from a small city in Brazil and I made it all the way here. Oh man. What now that Amanda retired Valentina can finally become a double champ? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not so far fetched. belt back first, man. That's not so far fetched. She's Definitely amazing. Good. She's amazing. What a boss. What a boss. To go out like that, that's pretty cool. Seven time world champion Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. All right, chat. So here we go. Because I got to go. We're going to have extra rounds here in a minute. But so we did the Friday night performance of the night. Monday, we're going to recap the fights we just watched today on Saturday, and we're going to have an interview. Don't forget about Tuesday, Tough Season 15, 6 p.m. Eastern, and Friday. We'll be watching main card fights of fighters fighting in Saturday's fights. Next Saturday will be Vittori versus Cannoneer. Sarukian, oh wait, who's my, yeah, Sarukian and Silva. Socials, exclamation gens in chat. Exclamation this in mm -hmm. chat. This is YouTube. Exclamation Sadiq in chat. Sadiq's YouTube. YouTube. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for coming to. Yeah, it's been great, man. Yeah, man. I had a good time. I hope y'all have hey. me back again in the future. Dude, Sadiq, yeah, you freaking kill it on this, man. That was awesome. You kidding me? That the way you thought about bringing in the other chats you made. You made it all happen. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was awesome. Shout, shout out to my YouTube folks. There it is. Shout out to the YouTube folks. Much the man. You said, I'm telling you. Um, hey, y'all, make sure you stay tuned for extra rounds with TJ DeSantis and Ray Longo right here on the UFC Twitch channel immediately after this. All right, chat. Y'all be real. Y'all be good. Y'all be real good until next time. I might hit something crazy. I don't know. <laughs>